Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. He's got less time than everyone else. Oh, well, <laughs> Bruce, your microphone can't be switched on. It wasn't. We were live when you were chatting and you were doing this oh, and you were saying that's no thing to say about hello. job. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had no Bruce, you see, so we so it was like, and we just chatted away and thinking this advert's taking a long time to get through. <laughs> and then I looked up and there we were. Just why we did anything rude. Not that we Is would. It? No, no, not that we would. We never say rude things. Anyway, welcome to Biscuit Day. <laughs> National Biscuit Day. It's, it's at 10. No, 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 Hannah. It's, Biscuit Day's not at 10. Today. Biscuit Day's all day long. Oh, <laughs> she was marking me. <laughs> Give me my. Anyway, should we do the. Uh, let's do the early bird. Let's do the early bird. Let's do the early bird. We've got two early birds. I am sporting one. This is Hayley. I'll make your apron for you. I'll make the apron for you. Don't worry, don't worry. She gave me the bag on, she, the bag was here on Friday, right? I opened it, there were bits mangled to, anyway, I had to take it home and try and salvage it. 14 99 Look at the size of this. Grab hold of that, would you? Yeah. Look at the size of this panel. So you get now. Uh, are you excited already? What? It's not till ten o'clock. Look at him. It's it's risky day. Yeah. It's a day, John. All right then. It's not an hour. All right. Anyway, so this is it. Fourteen ninety nine. Where's it going to? <gasps> Here we go. Crashing, crashing. Only till midnight tonight. If there's any left. 
I was crashing. I was, he's in a funny mood today. <laughs> I just better warn you. He's been well. All weekend he's been in a funny mood. Have you been with Hannah all weekend then? Yeah, work it out. Been in a funny mood. <laughs> there may be a connection. Oh, Who knows? Who knows? yes, Who knows? of course. Anyway, you're going to buy this. Eleven ninety-nine. Go through, go through, go through. Oh, here you go. Both my beautiful boys together, says Hillary. Oh. oh. Here we are. I would say I lower mine so it's the same height as yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've no one. <laughs> I did warn you, he's had too many numbers already this morning. I'll it's hold decaffeinated that tea, John. Oh, yeah, oh, it's a whole new choking on a biscuit. Can you hear her? Um, they had to have decaffeinated tea. Oh, she really is. Drew, so you're all right in there. Slap her on the back. Yeah. Eleven ninety nine. Oh, message on the bottom. Morning, both. You happy people. Looking forward to today's mayhem. What do you mean, Heather? We're, we're highly professional. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, chances? Chances, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, who was that from? Uh, Heather, Heather, my love. Anyway, look, 11 19 till midnight. Quarter stock's been checked out. Check it out, baby. Check, 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 it, check, check out. it out. Have a nice day. You don't have to have that if you don't want to. You can have. <laughs> You can have the what? What's the matter? What's the matter? We were doing our makeup right earlier. We we're in the dressing room. We we're doing the makeup, and he muttered something under his breath about me, right? And I didn't quite catch it. And then he started giggling, like to himself. There were only two of us in there, right? And he couldn't stop. He had his brush, and he was like this. He couldn't. And I, I still don't know what he said. But John, if you can't make anybody else laugh, make yourself laugh. Exactly. I mean, put be that a on clown. An apron. Be a clown. Exactly. All the world loves a clown. Exactly. Message on our bottom. Good morning to you both. You're in a funny mood. He is, isn't he? I don't know if that was necessarily referring to Looking me. Looking forward to lots of laughs during the rest of the day. Yes. Do you know what? We've got such a... Amanda Little's here as well, right? And Mad Irene will be here later as well. <laughs> I know. Have you met Mad Irene yet? I don't think I've had the pleasure. <laughs> if, you used to watch, ah. if you used to watch Sound Quarter, you'll know who I mean. Another mess. Uh, ce celebrating my first ever retirement hey, by watching your gorgeous pair. Now I have the time to complete projects in my stash. Julie! Happy retirement. Okay, I'm doing what? Oh, we've got a slide. We've got a slide about biscuit day. Let's have a look. Oh, that old thing. I thought you meant something special. Don't look at me when you say that old thing. <laughs> uh, what is it then? National Biscuit Day. Join us at Sewing Street. Uh, right, it doesn't tell you what it is, does it, right? S yeah, so, no, no, there was meant to be, did you get an email, did anyone get an email about the 10 o'clock cup of tea? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. No, that's staff, we'll have got it. I mean, talking to them at home. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got that one. So at 10 o'clock today, we're not gonna be doing any sewing, any selling or anything, right? So, no, I'll explain that. Oh, she's very loud today, she? I'm just gonna turn, turn it, it down. Turn it down, turn her off. Oh. Um, I've been trying to turn it off for five years now. Do you know what? The very first time I saw her when she came to work at, at Roxon Car, I went, uh, Cherry was our boss. I went, do not put me with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked into her, I've seen you on the telly. No. And then she sat there for Lovely. six months with a notepad, just writing, like, didn't say anything. Coughing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so at 10 o'clock today, at 10 o'clock today, we're not doing it, only for 15, <laughs> 20 minutes, right? We're all going to have a cup of tea. Uh, did Ian bring the mugs down? <laughs> Ian's name will be Don't mentioned quite start. a lot today, just to warn you. <laughs> um, so, uh, we've got having a cup of tea. You join us, you send in your questions and we'll answer them. Stuart says he'll do anything you ask, whether it's a tap routine, when he used to be a burlesque dancer. Songs from a show. Songs from a show? Yeah. Songs from a show he can do. Yep. You might not recognise them. <laughs> we were just discussing, before you, when we were coming on air, we came on air and we didn't realise we were on air. We were just talking about, I said, he's got a lovely voice, right? And I said, mm -hmm. you, he said I could be in the West End. He said, well, could you get, anyway, what he's going to do is going to cut an album, songs yep. from the shows with Stuart. Yeah, but, but all sewing themed. Oh, no, yes. we didn't, didn't mention that bit. Yes. I don't remember any sewing ones in Oklahoma. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. No, that her sewing machine, a sewing machine, a girl's best friend. No, wasted. no, I think I'm wasted more than that. on you. Right, lot. okay, second early bird. Second early bird is this panel here. Now it's to make, it's to make a mug rug set 
Right, hang on. Yeah, but you'll need extra fabric to make the coasters, unless you make two double-sided coasters, wouldn't you? Look. Where are the... So that goes on the back of your mug rug there. And okay. Then, Where's no, the bag No, no, from? that's Rebecca Reed. Ignore her. She went and got a bit carried away. Oh. So I'll show you. I'll show you what it is, oh. right? So you can make this mug rug. I haven't got an overhead, so I can't show you overhead. Right? Biscuit pile. My biscuit pile. <laughs> type. Well, that's hardly room for a pile, is it? My party rings. Yeah, exactly. They are there. Now I did ask whether they'd got they'd got um permission to re reproduce famous biscuits. Yeah. I don't know if there's patents on biscuits. And then she's used the back for the backing, you see. But then what you'd have to do is you could make two coasters that look like this. You know, double sided, because she's she's put extra fabric in hers like that. So you could make two like that with yours. Have we crashed the price? Oh let's crash the price then. Three ninety nine, three ninety nine. What Rebecca Reed's done is she got extra fabric and made four coasters, but she also used another panel to make this, right? So that's your mug rug bit there. There are your four coasters. Then um, this bit here is from the panel. Then she put this fabric in, and then she had this fabric at home. Mm. Anyway, three ninety nine. But she John, you could put your mug in there, couldn't you? Well, if they'd been brought down from the top office, I would do. Are you sensing a slight atmosphere? I'm just saying, Ian didn't bring them down. Oh. We started a whole conversation up in the office and uh, uh, um, we, Hayley pointed to them and I said, we'll need some of those mugs. Hayley said, yeah, I'll get Ian to bring them down. Pointed to them. And then Ian said, yeah, yeah, I'll bring them down later. And I said, put them in the bag with the biscuits. And he was like, won't they crush the biscuits? And I was like, it's four mugs, Ian, it's fine. He thought we were talking about two sewing machines, which you've got on, on Monday. So he was going to put the sewing machines in the bag with the biscuits. Anyway, he's brought neither of them. He's brought neither of them. Good morning to the Morecambe and Wise of the Sewing World. Brilliant on a Sunday morning from Sue and Ken and Eric the Dog. Oh. Oh, in Ronda, Siontaf, Wales. Welsh. Another message very quickly. Oh, it was like I was in the valleys then. <laughs> you transported the us all, time. John. You it's a mad, mad world. Look forward to today's show. Yes, because he was in the Ice Deadford, weren't you, when you were a child? With I the was. hat and the apron. That's Singing, what would you be singing? Ha Men uh, of Harlick. Yeah, oh, are you supposed to play that on the recorder? So I used to on the organ. Yeah. Right, morning boys. <laughs> morning boys, loving the banter, what a lovely start to my day. <laughs> going to get stuck into lots of sewing and biscuits from Liz in Essex. Liz, you're uh, not going to get any sewing done, we're going to distract you terribly. Yeah, exactly. So that, that early bird is three ninety nine. Oh. let me show it to you again. Obviously over half it's the, the stock's wrong gone. side, John. I've got it upside down. <laughs> You're just showing, showing yourself. <laughs> and I can read upside down, you see. <laughs> oh, is it still upside down? No. What's it say across the bottom? Well, you can read My upside biscuit down. pile, time for tea, coffee break, hands off, biscuit addict, biscuits, biscuits, keep Sub calm and Sub eat Sub biscuits. <laughs> These biscuits belong to, yeah, really, Hannah? Why don't you put your name there? Now, Hannah, right, just <laughs> came on air. <laughs> Hannah said to her, to her talk about, it. oh, how do you spell biscuit? Then she had to Google it, right? It's how many times is biscuit written on this panel? Yeah, she still got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is one of those words, though, when you look at it often, then mm. it looks odd, doesn't it? Anyway, we've got to get on, we've got loads to do today. Should we do today's menu? That might be a good menu. Coming up today, we've got Creative Grids Rulers Masterclass with Stuart Hillard. Then we've got Trip Around the World with Amanda Little. Oh, it's gorgeous. The Trip Around the World, I love it. I've been around the world and I, I, I. I can't find my baby. Oh, there you go. Nine o'clock then at 10 o'clock. Right now, at 10 o'clock, join us for a cup of tea and a chat. We'll all be here, all four of us will be here. Nobody will get a word in edgeways. Tools and gadgets with Irene. She's not called Mad Irene, she's called Irene Colesby. Plus, join us for a cuppa and a chat at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Moda Lovey Dovey quilt with Stuart Hillard. <laughs> well, it could only be, couldn't it? And then at 12 o'clock, a William Morris oscillating lines a quilt with Amanda Little. It is a huge day today. Fantastic day. Love it. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Get your questions in for 10 o'clock now. Put question in the subject line. <laughs> 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 when you... 
<laughs> when you said that, Hannah said, question, oh, did in a Beyonce Noel style. Oh, don't you don't know the song? No, I don't know if you Tell like it, put a ring on it. Question. Have you never? Oh, Destiny's Child. Come on, John. No, after the show. After, after the show. Okay. Uh, then the second way is by Facebook Live, which the ones I, oh, I haven't been shouting them out, have I? Hang on, let me see if I can find them. Right, uh, morning, John. Uh, hang on, let's see. My beautiful. Jan says, I think the pajama game had a, mach had a machine, sewing machine song in it. Mm -hmm. Can you top, can you top stitch this, says Sally Ann. <laughs> I've no idea what's that got to do with that's brilliant who's that from Sally Ann Sally Ann you have made my day can you top stitch can top stitch this oh that um, song I know that no, song no 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 it wasn't that no no it was it was Wendy Orlando was here yesterday oh yeah. and she was she was doing the bugs in a bag game yeah and she kept on saying don't but don't top stitch this whatever you do do not top stitch around these these tiles these game tiles I was like, why? And she said, because children will memorise the shape of the top stitching and they will shade. And it was like, they'd like criminal masterminds. <laughs> They're like, definitely don't give them your pin number. No, exactly. Let's clean your bank account <laughs> Oh, she's a strange Sally Ann, that's brilliant. Carol says, morning, you're both making me laugh more. Oh. It says, Stuart sent an email with my mate from the class. And after your calming influence, I bought your sock wool and have started oh, says morag fantastic morag. well have a look for it morag mo. there's loads of messages mo it's great yeah yeah send the pictures in it's um, in it's in hannah's just looking for it now morag came to my workshop last weekend oh, in scotland, scotland. Oh, yeah we had, we had a great time uh, amanda says morning to the best two men on tv you're so funny lots of amanda and mabel the wire oh. fox terrier lynn eccles says good morning to my favorite two men on the telly love you both that's so sweet oh, it's so. lovely Thank right you. okay so i've done third way third way is go to the website www.sayingstreet Dot com. What you do is you go to the website, you click on the show live, and then on the right hand side, there's a white box there. You can write a message, and that will come up on our bottom later. It's wide enough, eh, Stuart? Speak then, if you scroll yourself. down the page, you will see that there are two columns today's show deals and the pre order. So, everything from the next five hours are all there. So, they're the rulers that Stuart's going to be showing us in the first hour, some fabric to make different bits and bobs with. And some nice fabrics there. Then we've got Amanda's trip around the world. We've got it pattern on its own. We've got a bun and two bundles, a blue and yellow bundle and a lovely <laughs> bundle there. <coughs> and then there's other patterns of Amanda's that uh, if you've missed them in the past, they're there. And the tools that she might be using. Then we've got, oh, here we go. Mad Irene's in with her needle threader. There's been a bit of an issue with that. We've got the glasses holders. We've got the clip lamp and we've got the picky uppy tool very very good for picking up your keys i don't quite know what that was i just went past there but anyway i will be in at 10 o'clock but from 10 till quarter past we will be having a cup of tea and a chat right then we've got oh there's Stuart's lot now that is gorgeous isn't it lovely it's called love Lo doves. lovey dovey lovey dovey lovey dovey lovey dovey uh it's a beautiful quilt kit there that Stuart's going to be demonstrating it is gorgeous at 11 and then uh then at 12 o'clock Amanda's back and she's doing her oscillating lines using, now it's the William Morris fabric that we had in 10 inch charm pack on Friday. We've now got it in the design roll. Now I don't think I've got the design roll on its own. The only we can get it is in the bundle. Only in the bundle. Right, uh, so that's your pre-order. So shall we start? Shall we start? Right, okay, so before, oh, I've got to also tell you, slide, May Day slide. May Day slide. Everybody who shops in May, on each day in May, your name goes in a hat. Now, is it, who's on tomorrow? Is it you or Rebecca Reed tomorrow? Me. You're presenting tomorrow? Yes. Right, so tomorrow, Stuart will have the list of people of all won in this past week. Today's prize. Here you are, fabulous for your holiday. Do you know what? What was that Dick Henry character? Oh, it's like Sophia Loren oh, in the oh, studio. Oh, thank you. You're saying Sophia Loren. I was thinking about, hello, honky tonks, how are you? Do you remember? <laughs> hello, honky tonks, how are you? Do you remember? <laughs> anyway, no. that's today's prize. But that's when I'm trying prize. to get to sleep tonight, that'll be all I can think of, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> hello, honky tonks, how are you? How are you? Um, anyway, that's the prize today. So now I've got to introduce you to two bundles before, uh, before Stuart starts his demonstration. So... The uh, which one, John? Purple and green. So we've got, I'm going up, uh, now I'm getting overhead camera. 
We're getting overhead camera on this side. Oh, lovely. Good. Yeah. Don't know when. Oh, there you go. 19, 19. So you get half a metre of your pebbles. You get half a metre of your bright green. That's obviously not cave. That's uh, Rose and Hubble. <gasps> half a metre of your rainbows. Mm. And half a metre of your purple. Saving £2.50 on that bundle. Already selling. Already selling that one. Beautiful, isn't it? 19.99. That's... Oh, Cave's coming to um, uh, Chipping Camden in September. Uh, loads of people's wishes. Happy morning. If we're, happy morning. Happy Good morning. If we Happy morning. If we don't read yours out, we do apologize. There's just so many. I'll just do a couple here now. Uh, Karen says, morning, John. Just up. First thing I do is pop you on my phone. Love your show. You two are hilarious, says Julie Vaughan. Thank you, Julie Vaughan. Right, the other one is this one here, which is your turquoise. Oh, sorry. I'll wait for that. No, no, Hannah's too busy. Watching. Hannah forgets and she thinks she's at home watching the telly. She says, oh, this is funny. Forgets that she's the one in charge of these, you see. <laughs> so, this one does get nice with my shirt, yeah? Turquoise. These are obviously the Rose and Hubble colours. Oh, I love that one. Mm. Is that Rose? I think that one's Rose, isn't it, that one? And then you get rainbows in a different tone and pebbles in a different tone there. Already selling. 19.99. Before we get into rulers, I just thought we'd show you those because they are selling very fast. Uh, now, can I just explain, right? So Stuart's going to do rulers. If you like any of the fabrics he's doing, uh, using a sample, shout out and I can show them. Or they're all available on pre-order. The two bundles, all the solids, are all available underneath us on pre-order on today's show. So... What ruler are we concentrating on first? Well, we're going to have a look first of all at the Flying Geese ruler. Perfect. Which is absolute genius. Now, before I get into the sort of meat and taties oh, yes. of that, I just wanted to draw your attention to this quilt behind me. Yeah. So this quilt demonstrates the sort of the versatility really of the half square triangle, the quarter square triangle and the flying Geese Have you brought unit. this off your bed then? Is this one one on your bed? Why? Because it's covered in cat hair? No, no, cause <laughs> no, no, because I'd love that. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, thank you. It is covered in cat. No, I did wash it actually. Um, Big I've been washing, washing quilts machine. this week. I saw yes. on your Facebook. Yes. Um, no, but we, yeah, we do use this on the bed quite a lot. And um, what this illustrates is the versatility of those units <coughs> because. Um, I've literally used half square triangles, quarter square triangles, flying geese, squares and rectangles to create this whole quilt. And I could have made it a hundred times the size. That's how many blocks there are that use course, those yeah. units. So with this Creative Grids ruler, you could make this, not only this, but you could make it in, get this John, 11 different sizes. Oh crikey. Because we can make 11 different sizes of half square, quarter square and flying geese with the ruler. And it makes cutting so easy. One of the things that puts a lot of people off with patchwork is the maths and the cutting. Uh -huh. And the maths are easy because all of our strips are either whole inches or plus a half. So there's no seven eighths, there's no quarters, there's no three eighths, nothing like yeah. that. So let me just show you the ruler first of all. Oh, no. there we go. Be careful got stretching I've got, it. I've like got that. it. I'll do myself an injury. Yeah. <laughs> so what you've got on the ruler, if I just show you here, all right, is at the top, you've got the flying geese section. Would you like a plain fabric yeah, to let's put underneath? So what colour would you like, Hannah? I'd like bright oh. yeah, green. Oh, you're going to take your own, are you? I'm okay, just going to, I'm just going to decide. <laughs> there we go. Right, there we go. Right, so um, along the top, this part of the ruler, this is your quarter square triangle or your flying geese. Right. Okay, so this part here. Uh, this part here is your half square triangle ruler. So you've got them both combined. And then what you've got along the side is, in black, you've got the size of the finished unit. So um, this says here, uh, three by six, okay? Now that's not a half square triangle that's three by six. Always think about your flying geese. Right. So the flying geese that you use would or make would be three inches by six inches finished. Right. So if we were to just make half square triangles, they would be a three inch finish. Right. Because that's the smaller number. Uh -huh. Flying geese units are almost always twice as long as they are high. 
So three by six, four by eight, six by 12, and so on. So that's our half square triangle. This is our quarter square triangle here. So again, we've got the finished size along here. And then if we read straight across to the white markings, this tells us what size strip to cut. Six and a half inch strip, six inch, five and a half, five inch. Oh, so, so the size of your finished thing is over there. Yeah. And then the size of the cut strip you cut to make them is it's on that side. It's over there. Brilliant. And it's exactly the same for the half square. So it's so easy. You don't even need to use the instructions, but you get brilliant instructions yeah, yeah, yeah. with it. So let me show you how it works. So starting off, I'm going to make quarter square triangles. So I've laid up my fabric and I've got a lovely bit of kaif on top and then I've got a lovely deep charcoal grey underneath. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim, I want a three and a half inch strip because I'm going to make three inch finished unit. Okay. The dark grey that she's using is in the bundle that's a grey, green, pink and cream bundle we've got coming up later. Okay, so there's my strip of fabric. Now this could be width of fabric. This could be scraps, this could be jelly roll, mm -hmm. this could be, you know, however you want to use it, because we've got on our markings, we have got a two and a half inch strip option right here. So if we wanted to use these for jelly rolls, we can. Okay, and you know, be efficient with your cutting, lay your fabrics up so that you're cutting, you know, both fabrics at the same time. So I want to make a three inch by six inch unit or a, well this is my three by six so i've cut a three and a half inch strip so you'll see here that the top of the triangle is actually blunt that's so that our um doggies are automatically trimmed off brilliant so what i'm going to do now is just trim either side this is when your rotating cutting mat comes in really useful mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've got now are all of my triangles cut ready to create a quarter square triangle or an hourglass unit. So my top tip when you're making any of these units is always to lay them out on the cutting mat next to your sewing machine so that you can see the order you're going to sew them in, okay? How easy was that? Yeah. Super easy. So I'll just whiz this together. Now, um, We've all been trained, I think, into sort of cutting, oh, I don't know, for this, for example, you would cut uh, four and a quarter inch strip squares uh, and then sew them together, diagonals, cut apart. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. And so on and so forth. Um, the idea of cutting out triangles and sewing them together for half square or quarter square triangles scares a lot of people. Really? Yeah. yeah, because we've cut the fabric, so now these are on the bias. Uh -huh. But there's absolutely no reason to be worried or concerned about those. I mean, you'll see what I'm doing here is simply, I'm not sort of fiddling around with my patches. I'm treating them kindly. I'm just being very gentle with them, John. Yeah. Like I always am with you. Very gentle, very soothing, very soft. Yeah, on air. On air, yeah, on air. But once also, the yeah, lights I mean, with go it, with down. Spice, you just don't want to pull it through the machine. I just want the machine to let it take it. Yeah, let your feed dogs do their job. There's yeah. no need to pull it through from the back. Press everything nicely, okay? Uh, and once you've done that, you've got two units that look like this. Fabulous. Okay. Just pull those over. Okay. And then I want to match them up. And you'll see everything's going together beautifully, isn't it? Yeah. There's a real benefit to cutting individual triangles and piecing them. Well, several really good benefits. And one is that you can use up your scraps. Yeah. Um, because you may only have enough fabric to cut one flying geese yes. centre. Um, now, your make two at a time method doesn't work <laughs> if you can only cut a triangle yeah, exactly. because you want to cut a square. Um, so, so it's really good for that. If you've got smaller bits of fabric, if you've got jelly roll strips, it's also absolutely brilliant for that too. I've got a request for you to interrupt. Okay. Morag says, Stuart, can you say good morning to my granddaughter, Caitlin, please, who is watching with me? 
Of course I can. Caitlin, good morning and good morning to Mo as well, of course. Uh, Stuart, uh, Susan says, not Stuart, Susan says, love you too, having a really bad week. Oh, oh no, my hubby suffered a stroke oh, and my dear. fur baby is poorly, but you two are making me smile and giggle. Thank you. Uh, it was Dick Henry indeed. Really looking forward to the show, says Andy Lynn. Morning. Uh, have these. I have these and need to make more use of them. I've, I later to start to work this morning, so I'm going to do some housework. You're not going to get any housework done. Jill says, I've got a feeling there won't be a lot of sewing going on this morning. Chantelle says, my two favourite people. We sat outside Mum's caravan in Sunny Dorset cooking bacon. Oh, oh, there's nothing nicer than bacon cooking outdoors, is there? Let's be honest. Stuart and John, lovely to see you both this morning having such a laugh already. Question. Does it matter about the grain direction when cutting? Good question, Anne. It's a really good question. Really good question. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you this before before we move on. Yeah. OK, so let me just move that into shot fully. You got all of that? Yeah. I just want you to see six and a half inches square. OK. All pieced together so this was using the three by six finish uh -huh. but of course because I've done four of them together it's made a six inch finished quarter square triangle cut on the bias it pieces together absolutely perfectly okay just and then I didn't have to spray starch the fabrics or anything else uh -huh. okay so now that's one of 11 sizes so look at the other things you can do quarter square triangle this isn't by any means all of them john yeah yeah, yeah. this isn't at someone's all been of busy them. even down look Teeny. to a one inch finish oh but easy peasy easy to cut easy to piece yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's some quarter square triangles so yes to answer the question um, grain line does matter so when you've got your piece of fabric if it's straight off the bolt then chances are you're going to have I've cut mine off yeah. so that's good like another piece <laughs> of yes please chances are you're going to have a selvage all right so the selvage on your fabric and if you've got two selvedges, edges, it's easy, because this will tell you, run in in the same direction as your selvage. this is the lengthwise grain. This is the most stable grain on the fabric. It's got minimal stretch, almost no stretch. And if you snap the fabric, it's got quite a high, tight sound, yeah? Right. Now, Running this way across the fabric, this is the crosswise grain. Uh -huh. Okay, if you give that a tug, John. Yeah. Yeah, much softer. And it's a lower sound. Mm. Listen again. That's high. Yeah. This is low. Okay, high. Low. Yeah, then, if you've just tuned in, good morning. Good morning, welcome. <laughs> then here, this is the bias. This is the bias, this is the diagonal. Look how stretchy that is. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you're cutting things like squares, half square triangles, or any patches really for your piecing, this is only really relevant when you're using your scraps. Yes. Check the grain line because the last thing you want to do is to cut a square here because this happens to be an odd piece of fabric and there's no, no, um, Salvage. Salvage is on it. So check the grain line before you cut because otherwise your fabric could stretch out of shape. So try and cut when you're doing things like borders on your for your quilts, try and cut them on the lengthwise grain because then they'll be really stable mm -hmm. and not stretch. Most of us cut most of our strips on the crosswise, that's cool too, mm -hmm. but only use the bias when it's to your advantage. Exactly. Okay. It's the same in dressmaking as well. When you're doing a dressmaking, you, on the pattern there will be a line with an arrow on it at each end, and you have to line that up with either the, like you say, the most stable line goes up and down the fabric. You can do it across the fabric, but if the line's going on a diagonal, it means you have to put the whole pattern piece on the diagonal, because they're, like if you're doing a cowl neck, you want the centre front to be on the bias, so you cut the whole pattern sideways, basically. Yeah, right, sometimes what you cutting next? the fabric on the bias is to your advantage, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. It's what you want to do. Okay, right, so let's do flying geese. Now, I've already made a few flying geese here just to show you the 
size differences that you can make. So using your Creative Grids ruler, the largest size flying geese unit that you can make is 12 inches by six inch finished. So 12 and a half by six and a half um, unfinished. So that's our large one. So you imagine, for example, this center star right here, this is using six by 12 flying geese so although on its own it can look a bit like gosh that's a bit large when would i ever use yeah, that oh yeah actually for a big star block and combined with smaller flying geese here and here half square triangles you know it's really really effective mm -hmm. big baby quilt something like that not for a big baby a big quilt for a baby that's or a, a bit for, that's a for a big, big baby. That's a big baby. Have a big quilt. Big quilt, big baby. Right. So that's um well, so we can do six by twelve. We can do um I'm gonna grab the ruler so I get this right. Uh right. Six by twelve, we can do five and a half by eleven, five by ten, that's five by ten. There. Yeah. Uh, four and a half by nine, four by eight, that's that one there, three and a half by seven, three by six, two and a half by five, two by four, two before, yeah, bit of two before, one and a half by three, and one by two. Aww. So our size range goes right from the big daddy, six by twelve, right down to the baby bear, yeah. which is just one inch by two inch, oh sorry that doesn't help, one inch by two inch finished. Aww. Easy peasy. So let me show you how easy it is to cut and piece those. Okay, brilliant. Let's pop those out of the way. So what I love about this ruler, John, is it's a kind of one-stop shop for the most commonly made units that yes. we have in patchwork. So I've got my K fabric. So let's make a flying geese that is three and a half by seven. Brilliant. Okay, so this is my finished size, three and a half by seven. So if I read across, I need a four inch strip. Okay, right. and I'm gonna need a four inch strip for the geese and for the sky. Okay. <clears throat> so. Your voice going there? Is it, it breaking? It did just go. It's finally breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's, it, it, it always, it, it upset me greatly when my voice broke because, you know. Because well, um, you were such an angelic singer. I was. I was in the school choir and I sang in the abbey and yeah. all that kind of thing. And <clears throat> I can remember it just kind of going and I just couldn't reach the high notes anymore. Oh. I know, I know. Imagine being Alan Jones. Well, yeah, well, uh, my uh, uh, godson, he was a uh, Westminster Abbey chorister. Right. But then as soon as you voice, you go to they the school. They kick you out. They, well, they kick you out of the choir. They don't kick you out of the school. Oh, they, they kick don't. You out of the choir. Okay. <laughs> just imagine they just threw your satchel at you and said, get, get out. out. Take your deep voice with you. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so there's my... There's my four inch strip. Now I'm going to keep this gray out of the way because I'm going to use that for my, um, the ends. Yeah. And then grab the ruler. Okay. Now obviously I've got this strip doubled up so I'm going to end up cutting two, but that's fine. So I've got my four inch strip. So, whoops, there we go. Four inch strip to make my three by seven. So I've cut that as precisely as I can. So we'll cut there and there. And obviously these pieces that I'm cutting off, I'd cut my half square triangles out of those yeah, for my yeah, reverse yeah. block. Okay, so I've got my geese uh -huh. already cut, nice and easy. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with my other four inch strip. So turn the ruler around, four inch strip, there's the line. Okay, wait a minute. That's it right, there we go. So what you should notice is that your line lines up along the bottom, so I'm making three and a half by seven, so there's my four inch strip. And then the top of the ruler, which is blunt, will meet the top of your strip of fabric. Now if it doesn't, you've check done something because wrong. you've done something wrong, exactly. So I've got two of my half square triangles for one of my units. And then all I need to do is flip the ruler around so if you're making a whole bunch of these, or you wanted to make something like, 
I don't know, loads of half square triangles, the thing to do is uh, just keep flipping your ruler back and forth and just cut, cut, cut. Okay, mm -hmm. and so it goes on. Right then, so let's just grab my geese. And these are always, even one is called a flying geese because. rather than a goose because the shape, this shape here, is not a goose, it is a whole skein of geese. Is that what you call a, a gaggle of geese? A gaggle is geese on the ground. Right. A skein of geese is it's geese in flight. It's shape in flight. Oh, wow, I didn't know yeah. that. So then literally, you want to make sure that your little uh, chopped off part, trimmed down part, is at the top. So when you're layering up your fabric, you want to fan fold your fabric. So right side, wrong side, right side, wrong side, yeah? If you want everything going the same direction, then you have to stack your fabric. Right. So layer those together, quarter inch seam allowance, and so. And again, the benefit, there are lots of benefits of doing these one at a time rather than the no waste method, which most of us tend to use. Um, you can use your scraps much more effectively. You can get much better use out of your fabric. Uh -huh. It also <coughs> allows you to create exact placement of fabrics. So for example, sometimes in a quilt block, and I'm just looking for an example, Sometimes in a quilt block, you'll want very specific fabric placement and it's not symmetrical. Right. You'll have, you know, maybe a light triangle on one side and a dark triangle oh, on the okay. other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That then creates a pattern. Um, and if you do your no waste method, it can be done, but it's such a faff to try and work out what goes where. Um, it's more of a headache than it's worth. Whereas cutting individual patches, much, much easier. Okay, so I've just popped the other triangle on the other side. They line up beautifully at the top. Again, quarter of an inch seam allowance. Straight across. I'm just gonna trim that thread off. Top tip is always trim your threads as you go. Yep. Don't leave them for a big haircut at the end. And then I'm just finger pressing that triangle back and then giving the whole thing a press. Okay, last little job, I'm just gonna trim off these tiny dog ears at the side, and there's my finished unit. Okay. There's my finished flying geese unit. And right here, you can see you've got your quarter inch seam allowance, so that when that's all stitched together, it'll be perfect. Fantastic. And so this is what I've used on this uh, quilt for the border, right. just to kind of highlight all those flying geese that are used in the um, quilt itself. Um, this is what I call, John, a natural fit border. So if you use elements from the blocks as a border, they naturally fit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they fit in terms of style, yeah, yeah. Because you've used them here, so it makes sense to use them there. Yeah. There's also a natural fit if you use the same size units as you've used within the quilt or a sort of compatible uh -huh. size. And I don't mean by that that they will just fit, whatever, yeah, however yeah. many blocks you put out. But the maths is going to be easy. It's going to be much easier if you use units from your quilt. So, for example, on this quilt, I've used flying geese, but I could have used half square triangles. I could have used this unit here. This would be a natural fit. This would be a natural fit. So I could have created lots of those blocks and run okay. those around the quilt too. Okay, I've got a quick question. This is just me asking cool. this, right? Okay. When you showed us the big um, flying geese earlier, yeah. there's the baby one like in the middle of it. How did you, do, how did you put that in there? This in here? Yeah. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm going off kilter because we're supposed to go on to the next ruler, but I'm just fascinated about how that gets into that black triangle. Sure, so what you would do, I'll just describe yeah. it. So what you would do is you would make your flying geese, this flying geese in its entirety, yeah? Okay. And then you would add, so this triangle here and this triangle here are exactly the same size as this and this. Right, oh, okay. So using your flying geese ruler, yeah, yeah. yeah you're gonna cut your flying geese, yeah. you're gonna cut two of those, and then you're gonna cut another two, two of, of the these in your ones. background. Sew those on. Right. Okay. This is exactly the same size as this. Right. So you cut another one of those. Isn't it funny how your eye 
because your eye it looks much bigger it, uh, on to, to the eye color yeah black yeah yeah you know the pink's going to pop forward yeah. the black's going to recede mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the same size as this. So you sew that on next. So you end up with this big triangle. So this now effectively is the goose. Yeah, geese. The geese. geese thank geese, you. Yeah. And these are the sky. Oh. So you then sew here and here. And that's it. That's, that's the unit. That's so made. effective, isn't it? It's brilliant. Cool, isn't yeah, it? no, it's and it looks. You can't, I, the whole time I've been looking at, it going, "How's he got that in there? I don't know how he's got it in there." Yeah, that. brilliant. You look and you think, "Ooh, are there sort Ooh, of Y seams and yeah, things like yeah, that?" Not but that. Really easy. Really right. Easy. So what are we moving on to then, Han? Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So this next ruler I'm going to show you. Let's just grab my yellow, my uh, green fabric. This uh, ruler here really was the precursor of the ruler I've just shown you. Right. So this one cuts quarter square triangles, half square triangles. Right. And this will make units up to five inch finish. Right. So if I grab these back down for a second. Okay, so you can make the full and the half sizes of these. Right. Okay. So these are your quarter square triangles. Uh -huh. So you're going to use this part of the ruler here to cut all of these triangles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I just show you here, like this. Okay. Yeah. And then this side of the ruler, right here, you're going to use to create half square triangles. So let's do a couple of quick half square triangles and I'll show you how okay, they brilliant. go together. <clears throat> okay. Now on this ruler, you don't get the markings for the size of the strip that you need to cut. Right. Okay. But it's really easy to work out. You do get a set of instructions as well. But essentially, um, uh, just to, hang on a second. So for your two, for your three, for your four, you're just going to take that size and then you're going to add half an inch. Right. And that's the size of the strip you need. So again, it's exactly the same as before. It's four and a half inch strips, three and a half inch yeah. strips but and the other so ruler, on. I'm, don't, I'm not trying to put one up against the other ruler, but the other ruler tells you all that. So you haven't got to think about it. Whereas this one still does the same precise yeah. work and everything yeah. but you've got to then work out how big your strips are and things you like just that. you decide on the size yeah. that you want and then half add half an inch right. okay and that's your cut strip so it's really really easy um let me see then uh could you tell me what the rotary cutters you are you could you tell me what the rotary cutters are that you're using from marianne in york you, this is the Alpha one. This is the one I've got at home. This is the one, well, one of the ones I've got at home. <clears throat> it's brilliant because it's actually got a lever on it, a um, handle on it, that you can pull. So when you finish using it, you haven't got to worry about putting the blade away. The blade pops back itself. You see the little red dot there? That's a locking unit. £19, £19 is a 45 millimeter. You can make it left-handed. You can make it right-handed. And it's got soft touch on the handle. <clears throat> um, Joy Evington first made us get that in when we were at Sewing Quarter. And we've uh, sold a 1000 Thousands of them since. Yeah, it's my favourite kind of rotary cutter uh -huh. because of the safety. Yeah, it's comfortable as well in your hand, but it's also that safety that when you put it down, it shuts automatically. Yeah, you, do, you don't. Even though we say every time put the blade away, you don't. You don't. Your brain no. get, goes on to the next thing, doesn't it? Okay, so I've got <coughs> my strip of fabric cut. I've cut a four and a half inch wide strip. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna be making four inch finished units. So I'm laying the four inch line on my ruler along the bottom of the strip. Now what you'll see at the top is that although the ruler extends beyond the strip, there's a little white dotted line that you might just about be able to see. That should run along the top of your fabric. Right. That's gonna oh, so this cut one hasn't off. got the corners cut off like the other one? Well, it is gonna still do it because oh, it the strip is oh, here. Oh, because you put it above it, yes. But yeah, yes, yeah but course. just don't worry when you're cutting this out yeah. at home that um, your strip seems too small uh -huh. so if you lay your fabrics up <clears throat> excuse me if you lay your fabrics up so that you've got right sides together they are pre-stacked ready for sewing so as you're cutting your units out try not to disturb the fabrics try not to 
Oh, because they're, they're lined up ready for you to do the They're lined the up stitches. ready for sewing. How so brilliant. you can just keep cutting down your strip and then you've got that pile right next to your sewing machine and you can just chain piece them. Brilliant. June says, morning, handsome boys. Fiona says, we need more of you two special gents together. One giving expert knowledge for quilting and the other expert knowledge on dressmaking. Just perfect. Dolly Dot says, absolutely brilliant show this morning. Rebecca Harrison says hello john and stuart oh, derek morning. says at morning at uh, hannah bruce stuart john and cat loving the morning show with the hinge and bracket of the sewing world i don't know what you mean lo says look at the comments i've missed lots of fun and there's more to come lo uh jan the other jan's just realized she's already got this ruler well get it out and use yes. it jan and kath says uh, great show this morning shame i've got to go out put it on record exactly so i'm just chain piecing Funniest story I ever heard about chain piecing. Oh, yes. I don't know if there are a lot of stories out there about chain yes, piecing. Yes, yes. But um, um, a very, very famous author and quilter who should remain nameless. Um, when she discovered chain, or she heard about chain piecing, you know, and you don't have to stop sewing. You just get the patch and you just, you know, carry on and run it through and all that sort of thing. So there she was with her pile of patches. The first time she did it, she's sewing and she's like, and you don't stop sewing. So she's a bit like Lucille Ball on the chocolate. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Grabbing and trying to feed them <laughs> through with this machine that's just going <laughs> until she realized she wasn't allowed to take her foot off the brake. Oh, it's very sweet, isn't it? Um, but yeah, what well, you're of not the naming names, most published authors. I shan't name names now, right. but you know, during biscuit hour, people can ask anything, so of you course. know, uh, right? Bundles <laughs> while Stuart's pressing that the purple and green one, and they're both level pegging, but excuse me. Yeah, yeah, my, my miracle pills aren't working today. I've got hay fever today, which is really odd. Anyway, so you get half a metre of your pebbles, half a metre of your green, half a metre of your rainbow, half a metre of your purple. Cat whistles while she breathes as well. Cat's away on a romantic weekend. Do you know what? If he doesn't propose this weekend... Oh, no, he's not. He's not going to... Oh, no, they went on a romantic train ride, bike oh, ride, they've been ped paddling in the sea. Yeah. They go, oh, cat, cat, yeah. Yeah. Booked everything for a romantic weekend. And then the first afternoon, she messaged me going, well, we've arrived. I'm out in the sun. He's sitting indoors reading his book. Anyway, uh, the other bundle is your turquoise and your rose. And then you've got your other rainbows and your other pebbles there. 1999. Well, it also, she was upset because Poppy got engaged this week and lovely Helena from Rocks & Co got engaged this week. So that's why little Paul will be in hiding because he'll be mortified that oh, she's gosh. got engaged. So, uh, so she was like, things have to happen in threes. She's, so she's hoping. They have to. Yeah, they have to. So the law a, of the universe. Well, they've been together for over 10 years now and they're only, what, in their 20s, aren't they? 27, yeah. So I just wanted to show you here I've just done this quarter, half square triangle. Now, I know that a lot of designers, yes. authors, um, say in their patterns to make half square triangles a bit bigger than you need them and then trim, trim them back. Them down, yeah. Now, I honestly believe, I do honestly believe that if we put a little bit of time and, and energy- And that song then, in every raindrop, I honestly believe that every rain that falls, a flower blooms. What's that? I don't know. Are there any pants for the quilt behind Stuart? <clears throat> okay, so the centre block is in That's a little curtsy you did that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, plié, in... ballet. Oh, I can't get up. No, I'm Somebody I'm get me right. a chair and a paracetamol. <laughs> I'm quite um, fluid. He's yeah, all goes horribly wrong. Right, right so where's that then? Where's um, that? So that is in You Scrap Sew Blocks Make 100 Quilts. Uh -huh. The whole quilt is pictured in the book. You get the pattern for this. Yes. The thing is, these are all just 12, traditional 12-inch 12 blocks. Yeah. So you could mix and match and do whatever, yeah? And then a flying geese border. Yeah. So, so yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, but, but if you put a bit of time in and use the ruler, you can make perfect sized half square triangles every time without having to trim anything back. This is meant to be a four and a half inch square. It's a four and a half inch square, no trimming required. 
Yeah, it's Perfect. just about cutting accurately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was pre-stacked. I chain pieced it. And then I can never do this first time without having to stop and think. But you can see how then, once you've got those units, yeah. see, told you, <laughs> there you go. Fourth time lucky. Um, there you go. And there's your little pinwheel block. So you can see super easy. That once you've got those building yeah. blocks, um, it's very, very easy then to create modern traditional somewhere in between jan hill's woken up everyone hey, she says morning. good morning boys what day were you last on together as you are today i remember half watching but can't find it again i'm sure it was last week we haven't been on together for ages have we? it's been a little while it's been a little while yeah dresden ruler very quickly because we've only got literally two minutes left yep dresden oh the song i was singing is called <laughs> i believe <laughs> cheryl says good morning john and stuart i slept in thank goodness i've set it to record yes just as well there's loads of tips today Bless lulu you. says loving both of my favorites on sewing street this morning stuart you explain quilting so well answer a lot of questions for me thank you very much oh you're indeed. very welcome thank you right thank you. uh claire says morning john stewart all oh, lovely shirts right okay oh sorry okay so this is come come this away this way. Right, not that. No, not that far. Get back. <laughs> Get back on your own side. Okay, so this is Dresden plate. Okay, this is using the poppy cotton hopscotch and... Which we've got. I've got. We've got. Uh, uh, they're on, they're on pre-order. They're on pre-order. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. So this is the Dresden plate. Okay, something I would only ever consider making using a template. Perfect. So we've got the template. Let me show you. Do you oh, fold I'll that nicely, please, yes. darling? I'll, I'll be you. the assistant. Jolly good. Thank you. Right. Do you like it with the right side in or the right side out? Right, uh, side, in. right side in, please. Right, so I'm going to use this glorious rainbow from CAFE again. All right. Um, with your uh, Dresden ruler, you've got options to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen uh, different sizes, I think. Uh -huh. Sixteen different sizes of Dresden. Um, but I'll make the largest size, okay? So let me just check the depth of the strip, nine inches, okay? So you start off by cutting a strip of fabric. Whoops, so let's go nine inches. Now, even though this shape has got a pointed top, we don't have to do um, applique or we'd have to turn the edge okay right. it's all done for us in the method oh, okay okay so I'll just lay that down like that I'm gonna pop my ruler on top now this one because I'm doing like sort of full size if you like goes top to bottom on my strip but if we were doing a smaller size then we would still put the bottom edge on the bottom of the fabric but the top edge would be on one of these lower increments right, yeah okay okay so easily rotary cut okay so I'm just going to turn this around and then I can cut the other side and we've got these big rotary, uh, rotating cutting mats in stock at the moment oh they're out of stock at the moment okay oh we see Bruce is trying to buy one at the moment and he can't because that's a stock. No. For his mother-in-law, I'm presuming. Yes. So you just keep on cutting out your blades like uh -huh. that, okay? And then what you're going to do is fold the top edge, the wide edge, right side to right side, and you want to just finger crease down probably about two inches or so, something like that, uh -huh. to give that a little massage. There we go. Right, and then with it folded, and you want the folded edge going through your sewing machine first of all quarter of an inch seam allowance and stitch uh -huh. and of course you can then do a whole bunch of these and just chain piece them and through they go now when that comes out the sewing machine you want to grab your scissors and again from the folded edge you want to just trim a little bit of the seam allowance off uh -huh. just here at the at the fold and then turn it through to the right side. Now you want to use something like a pokey tool, a point turner. I've got my little clover point turner here, which is useful for this job, just to push that point out so it's nice and sharp. Then what you want to do is push your seam allowance to one side 
and then line up the seam allowance or the, the seam line rather with that fold with that finger pressed fold so uh -huh. I've lined that up I can see a little bit of my fold here line that up and then I'm just going to take this to my pressing surface and then just give that a little iron just give it a little press and try to press rather than iron so you don't end up <laughs> sorry it's gone completely I've gone and back and back there we go and so what that then creates is you've got your turned edge so your edges here at the outside edge are all turned for you. you've got that lovely point mm -hmm. and then what you'll do is you'll just carry on and you'll sew blade to blade all the way around alternate your fabrics you know however you want to do it this would look amazing with purple yeah purple blade and then purple and keep going around like that um, sew them all together and that creates your plate lay that onto your background block um, and then you're going to applique zigzag straight stitch on your machine I straight stitched mine uh -huh. all the way around I'll just show you from the back so look you can see where I've just machine stitched very very close to the edge all the way around my Dresden uh -huh. and then the last thing that you're left with is you've got a hole in the middle which you need to fill right so let me show you how you do that if there's time well, we've gone over a little bit. We can, we can cut 30 seconds and we'll do it. Okay, well, I'll just describe what you yeah, do. Yeah, so the easiest way to do it is to grab some fabric, two layers of fabric, cut around your template, mm -hmm. okay? And then sew a quarter of an inch from the edge all the way around. Both of them. Both sew them circles, together, right? sew them together. So if they were patterned, they'd be right sides together. Right sides together, together yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then separate them out, pull them apart, and cut about a one inch slash in one side. Turn it through to the right side, smooth out the edges again with your little tool all the way around, give it a press, and then you've got a nice neatened edge, lay that over the hole in the middle, and then applique that in place. Okay, when we did this together, that was the last time we were together, it when, was. You, when you did that, because you taught me a brilliant trip, because I've seen the one with interfacing on the back, yeah. and you said, if you stitch them together with the glue on the outside. No, so when you do that, in, fusible interfacing, yeah. put the fusible interfacing side, the glue side against the right side that's of your yeah, fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sew around the outside edge, cut through the interfacing, turn it through. Now the glue side is on the back of the circle and you can iron it. And if you iron it down, it'll actually yeah. fix it. And if it. you do do it the other way around, you can still press it, but it'll just stick your two fabrics together. It will. So it'll make it into one unit that way. But your way with on the outside is brilliant because then you've got- No pins. No pins and you get it in exactly the right place when you press it on. That's right. exactly right. Gotta go Go, go, go. It was what? Jan, that was the 16th of May, if you want to go and check. 16th, a month, oh, no, not quite a month ago. 16th of May. What date is it today? The 29th. Oh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the Dresden first. Here's the Dresden one. So you do get both of the rulers in within your pack. You will get the V and the circle, 22.99. And it has all those sizes that Stuart mentioned. And it comes with... It does come with instructions in there, but also you can go to the Creative Grids website and see a uh, description on how to use the ruler as well. $22.99. And then just recap this one here, which was the uh, multi-size six inch flying geese and 45 degree and 90 degree triangle. Over half the stock of these went $29.99. Okay, go and Google it, Yahoo it or Bing it, you will find. Okay, I look at different options, I can't see it, I'm afraid. 32, 34. Oh, there you go, I've got it now. 33, 25 plus tax. Oh, that's, oh. that's eight in America. And oh. then 69 pounds with seven pound 95 post and packaging. Oh my goodness, wow. And how much is ours? 29.99. 29.99. Sorry. So I was building suspense. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hadn't get I hadn't picked up on that. I did not. I hadn't. That's not okay then. Right, thank you, Stuart. You're back in an, an hour's time for a cup of tea and a biscuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Uh, and any questions you've got, Stuart, because he says he'll answer any anything. questions you like. Anything. Anything. Well, no, you can ask me anything. But I may not necessarily answer, answer. Well, Hannah might not put it through if she's too embarrassed. Exactly. Okay, and uh, straight after break, it's Amanda Little, and we are going to be doing Oh, it's gorgeous, trip around the world. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Mm. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter 
or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Amanda Little's here, and look how gorgeous she looks. Wait to your camera. It's glamorous, isn't it? Yeah, you look f amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I've gone a bit blonder. I is that what it is? But I've you've also gone like very Hollywood bouffant. I think that was just a bit too much Elmet. <laughs> oh, other hair, other hair spray, sorry, Rachel. You look fantastic. Oh, give me a hug. Yes, I'll say we can touch. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not meant to. Uh, well, you look. Uh, she Thank arrived you. this morning, and I went, oh, you, you've lost a lot of weight. And you say, you haven't, no, but you I look think amazing. It's just, uh, <laughs> A dress, perhaps, that covers a multitude okay, of things. Okay, well, you're perfect. You're on biscuit day then, isn't oh, it, really? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you look lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, I also have to say, uh, guess who's in the building, right? I've just been given this gift. Right, we're not selling it. We're not selling it. Mad Irene's here, just so you know. She went, I gave her a hug. She'd love to see you. And she just went like this. And I went, what is it? She went, it's a pen that lights up. She's even written my name on it so nobody else nicks it. Anyway... We always love Amanda's uh, designs. I love Trip Around the World. I've got one that Jane Alcock made. Yes. In navy blue. And it's, it, it, I mean, I just love it. I just love it. Look at it. Look at it behind you. It looks so fun. And you, you've dressed 
perfectly oh, for yes, it. Yes, it wasn't intentional, but yeah. I think it <laughs> right. So we've got two bundles to show you. Now, we've got a bit of explaining to do because the, the fabric quantities in each are different and we need to explain about a couple, but we'll do that as we go along. Yeah. So I'll tell you what's in it and then Amanda will explain to you about the fabrics because we're, we're not confused, but there's a bit kind of a uh, uh, hoo-ha going on. Right, so what you get in this bundle for 84 99 is you obviously get the instructions. I'll have to hold it there because there's no cat. Beautiful, beautiful. So those instructions, right? So what you get? Oh, that's just what you get in the bundle is you get a meter of this very, very soft apricot. You get a meter of this beige. So you get a meter of that and a meter of that. Then you get half a meter of each of these. Beaut I've not seen these fabrics before. They're beautiful, aren't they? I think they were new out this spring. The, oh, they're, they're new. Yeah. They're brand new. They're brand new. What are you saying, Cat? Han? A deep sitar, I love a deep sitar. So you get, first you get half a metre of the, the, that one, you get half a metre of the, oh, they're little carrots. Oh, they're different coloured leaves, they look like little carrots, those, don't they, can you see? Then you get that one in the pink, then you get the lovely flowers, then you get the little berries, and then you get the gorgeous kind of Indian influence uh, flowers there. So you get half a metre of each of those. You get 40 centimetres of the green one, it's lovely, isn't it? 40 centimetres of that one. That's what we need to talk to you about later. Then you get long quarters. Now, long quarter is like, it's the, you get the same amount of fabric as a fat quarter, except it's cut full width of fabric, look. So you get four of those. You get that beautiful. I hope we have this. I hope we get to sell this by the half metre as well, because that is stunning, isn't it? And then you also get the red floral. Another that one with the with the taupe background and then that beautiful leaf one there. Message from Pauline. Amanda looks absolutely stunning. Even though I can't quilt, the trip around the world quilt is lovely. Wish I could quilt to make it. Pauline, if you can sew a straight line, it's, she can sew this. It's a really easy quilt. It's a great beginner quilt. Yeah. It looks like complicated, but it's not it's at all. Not, is it? no, not no. at all. So that's bundle one, and what it is, is you're separating your fabrics into light and dark, is that what we're doing? That's what I've done, uh, um, you can choose, you know, if you're buying the pattern and using your own fabrics uh, after you've made using the kit, you could, as long as you've got six cool colours, oh, cool, or, well, six cool or yeah. six light, um, six warm or six dark, yeah. it would work. Perfect. Half the stock's gone into baskets already, right? Half the stock, it's beautiful fabric. Now, uh, yours will be slightly darker than that one on the wall there, only because that one, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, that one's a, that one's, um, a printed panel, not that it's for sale or anything, but it was, and then Noanne just quilted it. Your color tones will be slightly darker, and there's a couple of fabrics that have been replaced by the two planes, yes. aren't there? So all of that is beautiful, isn't it? 84.99. Yours will be even richer than the one that Amanda's got on the wall. Okay, so that's that colourway, and that's the one you're going to see demoed in a second, right? We also have a blue. Now, we've got an errant fabric in here. So we've got the blue and the yellow range, right? So you get, what you get here is you get a metre of your yellow, a metre of your white, and a metre of your grey. Okay, and then you get half a metre of all these. So you've got your different blues, your mix of your blues, patterned and plain. Right, so we'll try to work out, it's up to you how you're gonna divide these, because there aren't six light and dark, there aren't six warm and cold, there's just a collection of blues and yellows, which are colorways I adore, because that quilt that Jane made for me yeah, is all blue and yellow, it's yellows. absolutely yeah. stunning, right? But then we think, um, whoever put this kit together, I thought that this one was gonna be blue as well. It's green, but it's called Misty Blue. It's called Misty Blue. Now, I think it'll be quite nice because you could use that as your binding, or you could use that as one of your feature colors, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's called Misty Blue, that one. And we think someone's just picked it thinking it was gonna be a blue color. So look at all those in there. There you go. 79 99 gets you all that now there's, there's, you're gonna have too much fabric in this one there'll be you? way too much yes yeah, so um, there'll be lots left over in this bun in this bundle what's the finished size of the quilt please i think it's 50 by 58 if just on the first page it should say first page. bottom left so 50, 50 by 58, 58 inches 127 by 147 centimeters who was that anyway there you go that's gorgeous now i've got the pattern on its own because you might be thinking, I'd like, you see, I, I, I'll be honest, right? I've got this one, but um, 
Jane, made, Jane Alcott made it for me right at the beginning mm. of sewing quarter. And I've got navy blue in mine. So you see where the pale is? I've got navy blue in mine. So you might be thinking, and then all the other colors are bright, not primary colors, but your bright solid yeah. sort of thing. Because I look, because yeah. she knew that I love a dark background. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful quilt. The pattern is here. It's 9 99 and so the little quilt house, long arm quilting and rental service. Rental? What do you rent quilts? <laughs> no, um, I've not done it actually since all the uh, the pandemic. Oh, of course. People would uh, come to me and do a two hour workshop. I would show them how to operate the long arm quilting oh, machine. Oh, wow. And then they could book it by the hour or by the day. To and when are you planning on introducing that again? I don't know. I've gotten so busy. And it does take quite a big chunk of, of time. Of course um, it does, yeah. Just so you know, if you don't know, Amanda, apart from being a quilter making quilts, she has a long arm quilting machine. So if you've, somebody messaged me last night actually and said, um, I've made this quilt, I bought this quilt from you, I've made it, I love it, but it's beyond me to quilt it. And I've just said oh, to get in touch you. with Amanda because she, she does a service where you can go, you can just send your quilt to her. She will send samples back of what quilting she thinks will look nice or you might know which one you want. And she will long arm quilt it for you. You can either supply your own wadding and backing or at a I've cost, got, you yeah, will I'll do wadding it. and backing as well. Yeah. Um, and so, so if you make it, so if you make this, you love the piecing, but can't bear, and it's it's not. I thought oh that's such an that would be so. I thought it would be really expensive. But I don't actually, think it is. No, it isn't for what you get because yeah. it's all done by machine. You don't sit there on a little domestic doing. It's all done on no, a long it's, arm. No, uh, it's sort of a giant sewing machine yeah. on, on rails, um, and uh, it's computer driven for the overall patterns like this one. I think this one is abundant feathers. I right. want to say, oh, which yes. gives a really nice texture. Yeah. Um, and the machine just makes one pass and I can quilt about 12 inches at a time and then I just, just press the button it goes literally yeah with the all overs but you also but you also can do if somebody wants, if a, wants a, a, a custom one. quilt yeah, yeah yeah then that's hand so driven. have a think about yeah. that because I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want a quilt especially the details are all on the pack right let's get on then so okay. we're going to be demoing in the Adita Sitar version we aren't are. we so, um, so it's not difficult. It's act I, I think it's a perfect quilt for a beginner because we're just going to be cutting with the fabric strips. We just it's it is just squares. Um, and if if you like, you know, sort of a bit of a jigsaw, yeah. um, colour by numbers, it's it's just a chart. So okay, it's so now really easy to follow. We we we've replaced two of the fabrics in there with these two, haven't we? Yes. Are they the two? Are they I these? I think they're the yeah yeah. Yes. I think perhaps there wasn't enough stock because those are the larger quantities of fabric. Yeah. And there wasn't enough stock of the berry and that. Sort but of you do leaf. get the berry in there, so you can still that uh, perhaps would be a binding. Binding. Yeah. But then there are other fabrics that's half a meter off, so you can before you, you start. Could, I think yeah. I would play with the fabrics and yeah, see what and see look which, at the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. and see what I want next to each other and everything mm. so that would work wouldn't it yeah okay so okay doke. where do we start so um what oh it's so simple I forgot now to do it so what we're gonna do um let's move the quilt essentially is two blocks a block A and a block B, which are just mirror images okay. of, of themselves. Right. Shall I hold? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that... actually, they'll see the diff the vibrancy of the the real fabric. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right, let's find the right spot. <laughs> so that would fit just Hang there. Hang on, just get Cat to come in and have a look at that. Shall I hold the other one? Uh, could you slot that? I think that just goes there, please. There. Hopefully, thank there. you. Yeah. So, because I was going to say, that's why I was looking strangely, because when you do the reverse thing, there's another one in between. There is, stuff. yeah. So we make block A's and block B's, right. um, and there are four, well, two of each on, on each row. Right. And then we just put some divider strips. Oh, that's why you don't get two fabrics just together. Two, you then put yeah. like a sashing. So that then would go oh, in nice. the middle, shall I? Yeah, yeah. Um, Here you go. Let let me, how are we going to do this then? Right. I'll, so do, this, I'll hold this one. Which one have you got there? That, oh no, you, that's yours. <laughs> so there, that's... There, there. Are we right? No. I'm here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there, oh, there, one. there. <laughs> and then that one go. Can you see that? All right, Bruce. And it is just as, as simple as making four blocks um, and five of these divider 
strips oh, okay. and sewing them together. Perfect. Okay. So what I did, um, or the, the way that I've written the pattern, I've been a bit wasteful, really. Right, okay. Um, just wanting to make it uh, really easy for the beginner. Right. I've, let me grab these. I've used, now these ones I've already taken some bits off. Right. Um, but I've used full width of fabric strips to make my strip sets. Right, okay. I would suggest um, that the quantities of fabric that you've got are more than enough to, to do the quilt, but perhaps you don't want to just go and rush off. Oh, so a, you've sewn them all together, but actually you only, might only use you that only need, much of yeah, it. Yeah. So what we're saying is don't necessarily just whip it all up and think, I've not got enough fabric. Yes, of course. Um, perhaps cut your width of fabric strips in half. Right. Um, and just you know sort of do half at a, a time so that would be these what the the, the um th was it this one here um there, was, there were a couple that we had that to keep uh, that that one should be i think it's perhaps was it that oh, one? no it was that one it it's was this one that's the one you need to be careful with don't don't just sew it together like that what you'll need to do is do shorter strips to be Short, but you yeah. can do it, it yeah. can, you can do yeah. it but you don't want you to cut it out and then go oh actually that bit didn't work so yeah. it's that one you just need to be a bit careful with yeah. maybe do half a length yeah. but read your pattern first and you'll be able to see that some of them some of the different fabrics you will only need shorter versions of you don't need the whole yeah. width of yeah i mean some of them you you literally need four strips oh okay. which would be so wasteful to so, you to know, do the whole of, lot, yeah. um, and then what I would do as well, if you um, you know sort of piece your first few strip sets, and when you've cut all the segments out that you need, whatever's left over, you know, sort of with that um, last time I was on, Bex used the stitch, I can't, the Bridgewater. Oh yeah, the stitch remover. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That yeah, fantastic yeah. tool. Um, just whiz along, and you can reuse as long as you're careful and don't overhandle the yes, fabric. Yes, yes. Um, you can reuse that strip uh, in things. the next. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, there's just a lot, and this is such an easy project. So you you go ahead and cut all your strips out. Um, I would press the uh, fabric with a bit of starch before I cut. Okay, best, best it back It just, stock, it, yeah. it is, like all fabric, when it's cut on the straighter grain, it is just going to fray a little, fray bit, a little yeah. bit. And the more you play with it, the more it's yeah, going to fray. Yeah, so um, a quick um, spritz of, of starch and press them all nice and flat and then cut them out. Let's start with this one. Cut them out. Now, is there, <coughs> is there a, um, which of these have you called warm and which ones have you called cool? Is there an order that we're doing? They are. In? So uh, these ones are the warmer ones. Right. And then I've gone with the greens oh, and the oranges now, yeah. for the, I mean, that one crosses into both. Yeah, but, but just in case people at home are thinking of getting their own fabrics, you, yes. you do have to do a section yeah. of warm and a section of cool. Yes. Um, if you follow, I think probably the pictures are better. Um, so... Uh, well, there's a lot of pictures in I'll there. Say I've, I've tried to... So these are sort of your, your warmer fabrics. I mean, there's more than one there. And those would be your cooler. Yeah. So cooler fabrics and warmer fabrics. Okay, just move you from yeah. there. You okay. Um, but yeah, if, if you just, you know, sort of sit and decide what your, you know, sort of, you, you've picked your six warm, you've picked your six cool, yeah. and then you can just slot them in. Of course. Um, but, I mean, you, you might want, you know, sort of darker colours on the outside. Well, that's what mine's got. More mine, of an see, ombre, mine's got yeah. navy blue, there, two times of blue there, yeah. and then it's got rainbow colours in these, but I've got, like, that obviously done in their yeah, sections, sort yeah, of thing, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you you know, you, you can play yeah. um, sort of endlessly with, yeah. with colour combinations. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... Do you oops. know what I might do? I might photocopy that on the front yeah. so, and then colour it in with my different yes, colours. Yes, you could do, yeah. yeah. Or even, I don't know how fancy phones are, you could take a photograph and probably there's some sort of filter that you could... What, change colours? Change colours. Oh, I can only just find my camera. I can't be changing colours. <laughs> right. I'm sure there is. Um, <laughs> yes, so uh, I'm not going to, because, it, it, excuse me, sort of if it isn't, but it's fairly straightforward to strip piece 
Okay, right, um, just, just so, talk me through it. So yes, you've cut so, strips so of, of we've, how wide? They're two and a half? Uh, they're two and a half. So we've um, starched and pressed, cut the strips, and what we're going to do is first off join two strips together along the long edge yeah. with a quarter inch seam. Right. And then I would take that strip um, to the pressing mat. I would press the seam flat to you know sort of set sink, the seam, yeah. set, set the seam and then I would press the seam to um, th there are in, in the instructions of we're pressing way? in yeah one way on one set one on the other so that they nest do we only ever sew four together is that the most no we sew there, there will be a bigger um, strip set coming up um, towards the end right. but I would sew two strips together and press you knew where I was going with that yeah, didn't you? <laughs> yeah and then two strips yeah, yeah. so into pairs, into quarters, yeah. um, and then just be as careful as you can just to, you know, sort of stop them twisting and yeah. stretching. Um, I don't think it matters, to be honest, which end you sew from, and I don't think you need to go, you know, sort of... From oh, yeah, because some people go up right and then back let, down. Yeah. And I've never had a problem with with that. Um, I've just started, I've, I've tried to get the salvages level, you know, sort of at the beginning. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've got one that I haven't cut into, but they did end up slightly staggered. Which they will do, because yeah. that's the nature yeah. of the fabric. Isn't uh, it? But and, don't worry about that. And when that. you press it, you're not pressing it like you're pressing your shirt no, or anything. No, you, you just literally... literally I, mean, I just, uh, you know, sort of, it, it is just a yeah, push your iron and, a, a, and do you are you a no steam or are you a steam girl? Ooh, it depends. Um, if I've starched, I would, um, I wouldn't use uh, steam, right? Um, because sort of the, the starch has, has got the moisture in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, so you best press it, and then use a dry iron. And a dry iron. Okay. Before we go on, I've got the best press. I've got the uh, lavender one here. Just, oh, and lavender and vanilla mix this one. Yeah, <laughs> Hannah has trouble with that one. 11 99 We haven't had this for ages, because Wendy Orlando usually buys all these. Yours will be full, obviously. This is, our, this is our sample from the studio. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's carry on then. Okay, so we're going to... I'll do this as I show you the different strip sets. Yeah. So strip set one, I'm just going to make uh, one, you know, sort of a, a block A and a block B, the mirror image. Yeah, of course. So, um, we're just going to line that up. Yeah. So, at, at this stage, um, you'll, you'll know if you've distorted your strips, because in a perfect world, you, um, your markers on your ruler will line up at each segment course, yeah. if that's the case sometimes you can just sort of encourage it to to come back to <laughs> encourage it yeah <laughs> um so we're just going to cut two strips so have you have you have you uh sent not sent off what's it called when you when you get the edge nice and straight have you, have you oh yes sorry so um to begin with i've just squared off squared the off, edge it, before be um i start then cutting yeah. my uh, segments and how big are these pieces these are two and a half Oh, so, you end up with, uh, inch, so a two and a half inch strip and cut into two and a half inch segments will give you a two inch finished square. Yeah. So there are strip set one. Pop those to one side. And so it's not difficult. So you just need two just, for a block. Um, two of so, those. Uh, just one per block. Oh, if oh, I okay. bring where have I put them? Uh, so if. I put this out, you can see how it builds up. Yeah. There we go. Oops, sorry. Let's move that ruler out there. So that is that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And That's then we're just going to carry on. Okay. So, so are there one, two, three, four, five strip sets that you've made? There are five strip sets for the blocks. Yeah. And then there's a strip set or two more strip sets for those okay, dividers. Okay, so for these blocks here, all we've done is own four strips together. Together. And then you do five different, f five different versions. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, I see. So that's why they're labelled. Yes. <laughs> no, that's right. It's good. <laughs> they were labelled, but I'm already... Uh, 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 Getting into a pickle, so yeah, we just now. I um, I'm just chopping them up. Yeah. But you know, sort of at home, just take time and just check that they are all 
level and square but obviously for speed and also on a quilt like this and i know i say it every single time is just use the same machine all the time yes. because you'll have sewn those strips together on your machine at home and we'll get a slightly we'll different a slightly different quarter inch even if it's the same make of machine lifting sometimes it's slightly out so uh, this is why because you've, you've got squares to match it's important that all of your all of your seams are done on the same sewing yeah. machine and because each, as we've made each strip set, we've pressed the seams in different directions. Hopefully, when we come to uh, piece them together, they'll nest really nicely. Getting lots of lovely messages Number coming through four. for you. Jan says hello, Zahida says hello, oh. Donna says hello, Lulu says hello, Cousin Susan says hello. All saying you look, look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I thought um, embrace the grey. <laughs> so you've dyed it blonde. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I used to it, colour it uh, my, my natural colour, but um, it what? got to the state mostly brown. Okay, mostly <laughs> brown. Um, but it just became you know it grows quite quickly, yeah. um, and there was just constantly regrowth. And I thought, oh, stuff it, we'll go blonde for the summer and oh, see how that works. Oh, it suits you. Thank you. Okay. So last one. So would you do all your sewing of strips and then do all your cutting like this for all your blocks? I, I would. Um, I found uh, that this was really, you know, sort of quite mindless sewing. Um, so I'd got the iPad. Mindful, not oh, is mindless. It, is it the right one? You mean mindful? Mind, it mind, oh yes, yes then. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> It is a bit mindless, but it can be mindful. Mindful, yeah. 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 So uh, I just set my machine up, um, iPad next to me, and just watch either, you know, sort of sewing straight on catch up or a uh -huh. vlog or something. Yeah, yeah. Because you've, you've really not, as long as you, I, I like the quarter inch foot with a little guide. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. As long as you sort of keep that up against the guide. Yeah. Um, you've not really got to um, to do so much else. I can't else. have any noise on. I can have like yeah, a, a, a name music like Radio. I don't yeah. mean Radio choose a name, but you know what I mean. Just music yeah. on the background. Uh, when I was used to be a pattern cutter in theatre, I used to have Radio Four on, so there was just talking the whole yeah. time. But I'm, I'm, as I get older, I have to have like shh, shh, yeah, I'm concentrating. I am, I am a bit. I can't take it all in. I can watch it. Oh yeah, yeah. And, you you know, but yeah, there's no. I don't retain anything. So all the all my <laughs> pearls of wisdom. You've forgotten all those by the end of the show. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to piece these together, and because we press them in different directions, She's when we were, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, so we've got up, down, up, down. Uh, they'll nest. But it's automatic really nice. because of the way you stitch them together. You're automatic. There's not because I looked at that and thought, oh, I know this. You do your strips and then you move them up and down like you do a bargello, yeah. but you don't. No, you you could do it that way, but I thought this was perhaps no, no, no. Uh, this is much beginner friendly. Yeah, because yeah. because if you start with the bargello, it's all great fun. But you sew them all together, sew them to cut them, and then you unpick one between one and two, two and three. The amount of times but it was when yeah. Jane was on, I'd be like, I'll unpick that one for you. We yeah. don't pick the wrong one yeah. and things like that. This way, there's no there's unpicking, no unpicking. Like that because they're all going together in staggered order, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, So I'm pinning these together. Yeah. Um, I've got, am I in the right place? So I just yeah, literally perfect. roll one fabric against the other until you, it locks. And then I like to put a, a pin in just before that seam, just so that when it's going through the machine, um, the, the, we come to the pin before the, the intersection and in theory it yeah. should or shouldn't shift and you could put a pin afterwards but I, I can't really see the point because you at that point you've already sewn through the yeah. intersection uh, what size stitch did you use to sew them together with so I like to use on, on my machine at home I've got a piecing stitch which is you know sort of a press it once kind of thing and that always gives me a two millimeter oh it's like mine if i go to quarter inch seam on mine it automatically takes it to 1.8 yeah, yeah yeah 
Um, so I, I ought just sew with the two because that's what the machine does yeah, for me. Yeah. Um, you could sew, if you were a, a, a little bit unsure, perhaps a 2.4 or a 2.5 yeah. because they're slightly easy to unpick if you did go wrong. They are, but also there's more likely that, because you're cutting through seams, yeah, you'll end up with a open, a open bit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to take this now to the uh, the machine. Um, quarter inch seam starting at the top. I've put my pins in perpendicular so it lessens the chance of, uh, you know, sort of them shifting. Yeah. And I like to put the ends on the left. Yeah, so you can so pull them out So that I can pull them out on. as I go. Yeah. And I'm going to try my hardest not to sew through with pins. I should hope. <laughs> So at this point, you're not saying any huge, you're not, you know, no huge lengths, like we say. No, it all becomes quite small and manageable yes, exactly, once you've yeah. done that big. Yeah. And as I say, to get the best value from your, your fab, you know, sort of, I, I know sort of you, you can cut at half a metre, but sometimes it's like, well, what do you do with the 20 centimetres yeah, that's left exactly, over? Yeah, exactly. Um, if, if you're sort of savvy with your, your fabric, yeah. you've just done a project and you've got no wastage that's yeah. saying like, oh, you've... Yeah, <laughs> I'm wasting yeah. So I'm just getting as close as I can to that pin and just remove it. Uh -huh. And hopefully it should just feed through. There shouldn't really be any, you know, sort of pushing or pulling. Uh -huh. But the starch does help, I must admit, the starch is a real good thing. Um, You're loving the um, lavender and vanilla back in stock. It is nice, it just makes the room smell nice, mm. doesn't it? The best press. I like the, uh, we haven't had it, I don't think, for ages. I like the linen fresh one because it's really like walking into a hotel yeah. laundry cupboard or something yeah. like that. Um, so, again, same as we did when we were making the uh, with the fabric strips, I'm just going to sew two and two, oh, okay. join them, and yeah. then I would, you know, sort of press these. I'll perhaps come back and do along. that, yeah. So in, in, if you're at home making this, you'd sew two together, press it, sew two together, press it, or would you wait till all five are together and then um, press it? Okay, <laughs> if you were teaching a class... If I was teaching a class, I would do it, um, so two together. I would strip piece, so yeah, yeah. I would, you know, sort of have a big bundle of them and yeah. they would all go through, but yeah, I would then press, open, press, open, or to the side yeah. uh, and then come back uh, and add on that yeah. one and join them. Okay, but, but what at you home, really do... I wouldn't use the iron, I'd uh, use the thumbnail. <laughs> like Stuart does, does it all yeah, the time, yeah, exactly. Would, yeah. But it's whatever works, you know, there is no right or wrong. Exactly. It's, um, it's whatever gets the finish that you're happy with. Did you say there was a question? Two questions now. First one. Hi John Amanda, can you do these quilts with a jelly roll? Oh, um, yes, but you wouldn't have enough jelly roll strips of the same fabric oh, to get the effect. Oh, so it would be a complete random... It would be a scrappy one, yeah, which would look scrappy, lovely. You could do it, but you wouldn't yeah. get that effect because you obviously need... So in the jelly roll, you normally get two of a colour, don't you? Yes. And you might need three of one of the colours yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So you wouldn't get the, the, the full effect from a jelly roll. OK. And... Uh, hello, I love the phrase nestling. Please can you explain about the pressing the seams in different directions? Such a lovely, calm demonstration from Julie. Yeah, sure. Um, so let me uh, whiz this one through. Pattern on its own there in the graphics. Very, very popular. Half the stock has gone already. I thought it was a bit slow then, it's... Uh, well, I thought, for you, I thought you were saying... I, I thought yeah. she's obviously being a bit more deliberate today because she said no. it's a beginner's quilt. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so I would then take these to the um, pressing mat, um, press them flat to meld the stitches yeah. into the fabric, yeah. and then I would press them. For, for, in the instructions, I've asked you to press all the blocks to the right, right, and then we've got a strip, you know, sort of the strip with that floral middle, accent, yeah. that's going to go to the left, okay. again, so that when we sew all the rows together, uh -huh. they nest. So, yeah, let me show you on this one then, we'll just sew this together. So the seams on this piece are all going up. Yeah. The seams on this piece are all coming down. Yeah. So that means that when they're placed right sides together, uh -huh. those little, you know, sort of ledges, if you like, yeah. um, will, will just lock into place. Yeah. 
and then just give you hopefully a perfect intersection where you know sort of as one fabric stops the other one starts There's well it no gives you that ridge for them to butt up against yeah. each other which yeah. is why it's called nestling you see yeah. so they nestle together um and it, it just makes you you can press your seams open if you prefer um that's not a problem yeah. although perhaps you don't get such a strong seam when the the seams pressed yeah. open yeah. but if, if that works for you then that's fine Perfect. Um, but that does make it tricky then an open seam i think is a lot more tricky to nest together mm. than a seam pressed in one or the other direction well it's a bit like well you know the add a quarter inch rulers where they have that little bit of yes, it and kind it just of hooks, hooks and, yeah. and then it kind of one goes that way and one goes that way so it's sort of Links in together a bit like a jigsaw, really, yeah. doesn't it? Because I suppose if you had them both going the same way, you can have a, you can have one, two, three, four lots of fabric. You could almost jump off, and it could yeah. make it not match. Sense, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so <coughs> on these first two seams, um, I've got my uh, downward facing seam going through uh, through the machine so, so that there was no chance of the seams flipping up so yeah. I've not explained that very well yeah um, well, basically what you're trying to say is when you're when you're sewing through them some are going to be going this way when you're sewing on your machine some are going to be facing that way and some are going to be facing that way the ones that are facing that way you just have to make sure they don't catch on the feed yes, dogs yeah because that then they'll bend back almost you'll stitch them. Yeah. it's not the end of the world no, is it but when but you come to quilted it means there might be a bit of a bit, a, of, a a bit of a bump yeah, yeah. Um, first two seams are fine you, you can get that seam to go yeah. down Woods, but this last seam you're just gonna have to um, yeah, just, be careful. just be careful but it's, it's, it's not the end of the world if you um, get one that flips in the wrong direction no. it just depends how you want to quilt it if you're wanting to quilt if you're wanting to stitch in the ditch ideally you do want them all facing yeah. in the right direction yeah, oh yeah definitely um, you don't need but um, if you're just doing an all-over quilt design it, it yeah. really doesn't matter you see, I love, because your quilt is all squares, I love the fact that you've done a feathery, swirly quilting Just to on top of it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it would work equally well if you've not got a long arm. You could... Oh, yeah, just do straight you lines. You could diagonal. Oh, oh, you could, uh, you know, radiate. Yeah. You, you've still got lots of options with the domestic. Yeah, definitely. I always expect that foot to lift up. <laughs> oh, yours at home, don't you? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, standing there waiting yeah, for it. Yeah. Um, right, sorry, I'm there. Uh, no, no. Don't so we're just going to quickly sew this one. Remember the p pattern on its own, 9.99, very, very thorough pattern. And uh, it means you can do your own colourways, really, can't you? You don't have to go with the colourways we've chosen. Even though we love both of our colourways, you might have a room or, like the one Jane made for me, you might want navy blue in the background because you saw how beautiful that the... Um, the one with the black background was that Stuart just had on the wall there. If you like that brown, and then have bright colours, like bright, I don't want to say primary colours, rainbow colours, rainbow colours on the front, it would really jump out at you, wouldn't it? I think L Lulu said she was going to make one for her daughter like that. Sally Ann Harrison's watching. Oh, she's back from her holidays then, everyone. Uh, loving the demo with Amanda, cheering you on. So there's our block complete. Okay. So I'll just quickly. Press do I need it. to bring the. No, no, you can do it. Just do I'll it. just go through yeah? the. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Is Hannah back yet? Okay, don't worry. Okay. So. Um, actually, actually, yeah, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. Sorry, I thought Hannah was back. Yeah. So. So ideally, you would have done this one, as you know, as you've sewn each yeah, seam. Yeah, yeah. So I just press to meld the stitches yeah. and then just she's saying meld, meld. not melt <laughs> it's um what that uh shearing or shearing oh, oh no do you, what do you say shearing i say shearing i say shearing and no no i do tight it's spelled tight as spell. 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 mate <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled it's spelled shearing but i've always said so shearing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um and, uh, and you know sort of all my um well my mom and all my aunties they would all say Shearing. Yeah, they'd go up the rag market for some shearing elastic. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh, the rag market. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you do them, you know, as you sew them, it's not as fiddly as them making this look yeah. because you're only dealing with yeah, exactly. one strip uh, or two strips, sorry, at a time. Okay. So. 
So you would then carry on and, you know, sort of, uh, I think there's 24 um, segments that we need to cut from each strip set right. uh, to make 12 blocks. So once you've got your blocks, if I just whip those away, we can carry on to the next bit. Got some here I've already made. Oh, so yeah, a bit blue please. So literally, me? you're just making, how many serve each, 12? I think there's 12 of each. 12 uh, A's and 12 B's? Yes. Okay. I think so, so yeah. I would need to check, but I'm oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? I think, yeah. Wrote the pattern and I can't remember. Create a total of 12. 12, <laughs> so you'd, you'd, 12 you'd make 12 A's and 12, 12 B's. 12 A's and 12 okay, B's. Okay, so that's all your mind full sewing yes. to get your blocks done. Yeah, right? no, this is the, if you like, your, uh, your jigsaws, this is the, uh, the interesting bit now so we're going to put a strip set so now it does there's, there's, there's are the strip sets in blocks or you just make okay. strip sets so, separately so strip sets yeah sorry i beg your pardon no 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 don't so apologize. we've got um a strip set six now which right. is and is that just one you only make the one so we're, we're only making one and this is the one where you could easily get away with half right a okay. strip you're only using because half. Yeah, yeah yeah um so yeah if we cut and this is the only variegation of it we do, is it? We're going to do a strip set seven as well, which is this one. So we've got a strip set. Oh, so set. there's a warm and a light. Yeah, there's oh, a, yeah. Uh, yeah, six and a seven. Okay. So, yeah, if I just chop those. Ladies, Single so. figures of this bundle now, of the Adidas sitar bundle, when the graphics want to work. And then this is strip set seven. Bruce, Bruce pressed a button while you weren't there, Hannah. <laughs> so this is the cooler. He pressed the button. Yeah, this is the cooler The one. cooler version. Cooler. Cooler. <laughs> so how's the family? How are the... Um... Really, really good. Um, Barry's home. Um, he came because he's still, you know, this Egypt job it's still going on no he's been doing that for ages well it, it was delayed at the beginning of the year of course um and then because it's civilian transport but to a military base yeah. there's been a lot of oh, problems oh, with of course, logistics yeah. and i think it even went to turkey at one stage um, fine. <laughs> um but um hayley's going to turkey on holiday next was it next week or the week after yeah yeah um, so yeah, he's fine. He's home, and I've left him puppy sitting because we oh, had a new puppy. I wonder where he was. Uh, yeah, he would have, <laughs> he would have come, but um, I the think dog. he's had a <laughs> shock of his life actually that puppies need to go outside so often oh, okay, and need so fine. much attention. Oh no, he wouldn't want his car oh. tinkled in, would he? <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, he's fine. Uh, Liam, he passed his driving test. Brilliant. So he's got, um, he's bought himself a little uh, Fiesta. Uh, oh, I had a um, Fiesta. Yeah, I, I had a them, Fiesta. Yeah. Um, and then he's sticking whatever he can on it. Oh no, <laughs> he's like customising it. Well, he took it yesterday to have it de-chromed, which, you know, sort of around your windows, you've got the, the silver chrome. Yeah. Tri he wants that to be matte black, apparently. Oh, chrome dear. is not the, uh, not the look, yeah. no. So is he, is he doing an apprenticeship? What's he doing yes, an apprenticeship? Yes, he's doing an apprenticeship um, at a place called Railability, which is uh, like plant equipment for, you know, when they redo the rail tracks yeah, and yeah. stuff. Um, I think I've got one of those in my village. Is it, it's nationwide. There's something like um, that in my possibly, village. Possibly, yeah. Anyway, that's Bright fine. yellow plant machine. Okay. Um, so he's doing that. Um, and Neve is still teaching at uh, JCB. Um that, she that's, oh yeah she absolutely loves the the standing up in front of the kids and delivering the lesson yeah 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 and and she i think because she's so young herself she can connect with yeah, them yeah, yeah. but you wouldn't believe the amount of work she'll do 64 hour plus weeks oh yes yes yeah um, because all the extra yeah. work yeah she yeah. goes out the house at about quarter past seven she comes in at six you see people think those school teachers they work nine till four no, and then they have all those holidays yeah. but they don't do every they? yeah every night um, <coughs> she'll eat her tea and then she's at the table marking uh, and the same at weekends and what age is she teaching uh she teaches year nine to year 
um, is it 12 or 13? I, I, I don't so know. It's sort of high school, so I think they're about 13 up to oh, six four. Oh, like me, I did that, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, she, she absolutely loves it, yeah. apart from she's you got see, no... I loved it. I love being in the classroom yeah. with the kids, but I hated the staff room. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't the extra work, it was the staff room I couldn't bear. Um, right, okay, so what you've yes, now so done is those, those dividers so shall you I just pull made, these pull out, them so down. Yeah. And let's hope get Bruce. Are they in the right place, Bruce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we pulled them down okay? there. They're the ones we've just made. So some of them have got the same fabrics in, because that, that yes. one hasn't got the same fabric in, has No, it? because that one is the start of that of the smaller, central square. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where's that one? Where's that one then? So that one is a different strip set. Oh my word. <laughs> this is all in you. I'll say it's all, It's all yes. in your instructions, so don't worry about it. So. Well, it's a big one. It is. Um, so strip set eight. This has got 12 Strips segments in it. In it. Um, oops. Oh, I see. So you're doing these to go between there. And, and now we'll you can do a long, long one, one to go across when you've yeah. all joined them all together. Yeah. So I would do, if that was me and I was new to it, I'd do all the little ones, all the little ones. And then when I've got used to sewing strips together, I'd then sew yeah. these strip sets yeah. together after I'd got used to sewing all the other ones together. This, uh, th these ones, the divider ones, uh, you're only going to need four of each as well. So, oh, so again, you don't, don't need strip, to be manhandling all yet. this. Yeah. So, so this time we only see this one. That one's featured around the centre, but we've yeah. only seen that one in the middle yes. of each block. So you're going to hardly use any of, of the really fancy that one. one. Oh, yeah. no, that one there at all. Yeah. And where's your pink? Have you got a pink big The pink flower? one is there. Oh, yeah. I'll turn it. I'll turn yeah. it. Yeah. So, oh, I see. So that's yeah, so the centre of the beige pink, ones. Yeah. And that's the centre of the coloured yeah. one. Got it. Yeah. Right, so yeah. I'll leave those for now because I've already... Yeah, don't worry because we're back to an cut time, anyway. Okay. So, yeah, we've got... So, those, so then basically you sew all of this together, do you, to do yeah. your four blocks, your A, yeah. then a strip, then B, then yeah. a strip, then A, then a strip, then So you yeah. just made your, your rows with yeah. that, yeah. And then these now, um... There's more people got this in baskets than we've got stock of, just so you know. Okay. Uh... Have I got this in oh, the right oh. order? Or is it the this? pink one? Well, hang on. So you... <laughs> you need the one. You haven't got another one to go across the bottom. What we need to do is get the, what, what's the equivalent across the bottom here. Then that'll, get, that'll make it more obvious. Um, okay. Did I put any numbers on there as now? I've got it here. Let, let's have a look then. So the top, <laughs> the top strip you need. Here you go. Let row one. Here you go. So that's row one. Then you need. Look. So that's just that's your foot. Uh, no, I've got that going the wrong way. Haven't I? You get that one there. Is row and one. And we want the floral. No. What have I done? Yeah, then? I'm going to keep going right the way across, Bruce. Don't worry. So that go on goes in the. Hang on. Oh no, that's the, that's that's why I've got the wrong way around, look, because that's I want one with a uh, four red ones. No, here I'm looking at the wrong oh. one. Looking at the wrong one. So I want a strip, or with the big flower at the bottom, with the pink flower at the bottom. Then I need the red one going that way. Then I need a strip with that going there. I think it's that way, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, so that's one, it. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. You want three red ones coming down like that. Is, is that is that fabric no, there? No, that's um, there. We go that way. There. We there go. you go. There Perfect. You that's it. <laughs> then you need the strip set with the gold at the bottom. Then you need one with two green ones going that way. Oh, that's we're, it. We're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. Then we need one with dark red at the top. <laughs> oh dear. Then we need this this no, one with on. the oh. I've gone wrong there. That's it, start yeah, at the yeah, top, yeah. yes. Then that. we need one with the three going that way. Don't worry, don't worry, we can do it. Have you got, oh, you got one? There you go, there you go, that one goes there. Can you see it now? And then you need the one with the pail at the top. Right, stop there. Then the strip, we need one with... That's it! That's it! it. <laughs> it's dead easy. That's it, teamwork. <laughs> and then... You then have the equivalent of that going underneath here, which we haven't yes, obviously got yeah. here. 
Um, so I don't know if we've got enough. No, they're the only strips that I've I've marked. Actually, we could put that one across the top, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, so we're that going. One in. Oh, you're going to confuse me now. Yeah, there we no, go. No, 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 no. We're running out of time. That's fine. So then you place it to create your, and then that yes. gets in the centre. Yeah. That one there is in the centre, and that one there. Mm. It, if it yeah. was a centre, because that's only half, yeah. would then get in the centre. And then you literally just, just sew all yeah, of so them together. So just sew them, uh, those into a row. Yeah. These are obviously already in a row. Yeah. Uh, and then just join the rows together. And you're done. And you're done. It's gorgeous. I really The effect like is it. really good. Obviously on yours, your your cherries and your sprigs are replaced by the two planes. So that one and that one, we're saying are those yes, two, aren't yeah. we? Then all the others, you've got all the others and everything. You do and your binding will be that your binding will be that cherry one. Well, it doesn't have to be, it could be one of the I'll others say, yeah, yeah. Or you, you could pull in yourself. a fabric from um Brilliant. From stash, yeah. Right. Uh, oh, the message quickly. Uh, to me, to you, to me, to you. All right, Jennifer, all right. <laughs> it just shows you, uh, you, don't have me in your work room because it'll just confuse the matters. <laughs> uh, now, you're not going anywhere because you're coming back for a cup of tea I in a am, minute, yes. aren't you? But then you're back on at 12. 12 I think. They've spread you all out today, see, yeah, haven't they? I didn't realise it was 12. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, it's fine. But a great I, I probably would have gone home. <laughs> 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 I'll go home, I haven't finished that. Uh, so you're back at 12 and you're going to be doing the oh yeah, oscillating but in lines. the William Morris. Yes, it's gorgeous. Alan, you William love Morris, that William yeah. Morris fabric. I'll tell you more about that later. Yeah. Right, let me just recap all of this then. So in the bundle A, you get all of this. Now there's too many people got this one in their baskets. So you get the pattern, you get a metre of the pale apricot and you get a metre of the beige. You get fat, long, long quarters of these four fabrics here, right? You get 40 centimetres of that one. No. Yeah, I think yeah, that one. Four, no, that's right. That's right. So you, and then, yeah. uh, and they get half a meter of all of those. Now, what you need to do is, when you get home, don't just do what Amanda and just sew all the strips together and start contact. You'll most probably find there's not enough of this one. What you need to do is do shorter ones, and you'll definitely have enough. You've definitely got enough, but. Amanda was just being like, oh, I'll sew all these together and everything. You can't do that with yours because otherwise you'll run out of that one. Because if you try and do that, you'll need 64 centimetres of that and you've only got 50, 50 centimetres. Yeah. But if you do the short strips, you'll have plenty. Just saying. Right, so way too many of you got that in your basket. Pattern on its own. There's also the blue bundle underneath those on, but we've got to run, we're run out of time. 9 99 for the pattern on its own. Loads of great baskets. So you can do it all. Or remember, you've just got to have six, six warm. Six warm or light or six cool, cool or, or dark. dark. Yeah. There you go. 9 99 Right, don't go anywhere. Get your questions in because after the break, it's going to go Irene, me, Manda, Stuart, all here having a cup of tea, having some biscuits. And we're not going to sew for 15, 20 minutes. We're just going to answer your questions. So make sure you get your questions in. And then after that, Mad Irene will be showing you her needle threader and her glasses holder and her magnetic pick up your keysy things and there's one other thing oh lamp little lamp little lamp then Stuart's back doing a uh, lovey duffy and then you're back doing your patterns at the end of the oh it's a jam-packed day well, we've got jammy dodgers that's why i'll see you in four stuck for ideas for the perfect gift why not get them a gift card you can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping!
Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? A TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. He just said, who's the blonde one on Loose Women? I was just looking at you thinking, she's not aged well. I thought I'd be Carol McGiffin, actually, my friend Carol McGiffin. <laughs> yeah. Who would you be then? This who's, is, who's the young, pretty one? There is a one. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're so chatting away. I'll move this in case you can't see her behind there. This is lovely Irene. Now, she's really called Irene Colesby, but she's changing her name by deed poll to Irene the Needle Threader Lady. Okay. I just call her affectionately Mad Irene. <laughs> but that's, okay. you'll meet more, uh, meet more about Irene during the chat now and also later on, because she's got some things to show you. What would you like, what, what do you want to do? Would you like a biscuit? Not another one, John, thank no. you. I can't be done. Not another one. <laughs> now, is Jaffa cake a biscuit or a cake? Because it's National Biscuit Day, we thought, you know what, we'll have 15, 20 minutes where, 
we don't sew anything, we don't sell anything, we just chat. They didn't give us stools or anything like the loose women all sit down. We have to stand up. But um, so that's what we're going to do. So I've got Irene, me, him, and Amanda at the end there. Uh, now we've asked you, uh, we've asked <laughs> you to send in questions and things like that. So if you want to, you can either email them in, and the email is. Studio at SewingStreet.com, studio at SewingStreet.com. You can send a message on Facebook Live if you want to, which I'll just go and get these. I'll put Irene in charge of that. Irene's in charge of Facebook Live. And you can also, um, what's the other one? Oh, send a message in uh, via the website. Right, okay. So the first question, Hannah, was for Stuart, I think, wasn't it? Oh, one well, for all of us to start with. Uh, good morning. This wasn't a good idea. <laughs> and who's it from? Sue said, we'll go we'll start at that end there. Oh. Where did you when did you find when did you first start an interest in sewing? When did you first start realising you love sewing? I was really small. Um I can remember a uh, preschool. Uh, my mum and her best friend used to make hoodies, velour hoodies, mm. um, for all the kids you know, on the street and at school. And so we'd get dragged around the rag market. <laughs> and then on the way home, we'd have to walk because our push chairs would be piled high with black bin bags full of. Velour. Oh no! Um, so and my mum had a treadle sewing machine, which I've now got in our living room. Oh. Um, so yeah, from. From an early age. Yeah, really early. Tiny yeah. top. Drag around the rag market. Drag, yeah. I love the rag yes. market. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Well, you're only at home there, aren't you? I am. <laughs> yeah. I am. Oh, so I love it. Where did you start sewing then? When did you first um, get interest? My mum taught me to knit first of all, so it was sewing up knitting, which I never really enjoyed, to be perfectly honest, and still don't like at making up knitting now. Did she make you do this? My nan used to make me sit like this for hours, and then she'd wind the walls, they'd unpick a jumper. <laughs> it was anything it. to keep you quiet and still, John. That's what it was. It was... See, I turned up this all the, all the time, I mean. Right, go on. But I suppose, properly sewing, it was after I left university, bought my first house and I made things like the curtains and the blinds and cushions, that sort of thing, uh -huh. which is what my mum always did at home. So I kind of just followed suit. Yeah. Oh, and you still got them to this day? Well, I've got one or two of them yeah. actually, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. nice. I ended up, the, the curtains, I bought a sewing machine to make the curtains and then I ended up hand sewing them. Who hand sews curtains? The whole lot? The whole lot. Because mm. I didn't want the sewing to show on the oh, outside. Okay. I didn't think I could do the job. Yeah. So how fantastic. And do you sew, Irene? It has been no. I got the lowest mark in school. <laughs> well, in those days, with well. the blackboards and the chalk and everything, I suppose it was a yeah, bit difficult, yeah. wasn't it? No, we also had an old treadle that um, you know my mum taught me. It wasn't the best, I have to say, but uh, mm. I sew when I need to. Okay, and so I did embroidery more yeah. than anything, yeah. but actual sewing, no. Oh, and mine was, and mine was right. I had no intention of doing sewing, and then I was on one of those drama courses that Hannah goes on about the whole time, which I loved. And one year we, we always used to do during the daily classes like makeup and improvisation and dance and all that sort of things, and it residential summer course and everything in oh, Cheshire. Sorry, you were taught to put makeup on. Oh, I'm sorry. I, got... <laughs> I shall bring in my my award winning pictures for you. Anyway, uh, one year we would at the end of the course we put on a play at Chester uh, Gateway Theatre, and this year we we're doing Royal Hunt of the Sun, and we all had to do auditions and everything like that. And I wanted to be uh, at a uh, Walpa. No, I didn't want to be at a Walpa. That was oh. already Julian Ball. And, and him. but anyway, I want uh, the part I wanted went to Ricky Rouse, and I don't know how because it was playing the child and he had a beard. But that's by the by. <laughs> And then they said, well, the only parts that are left are Atom Wilper, it's men. And I went, oh, I'll be one what, of them. both of them? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be one of them. No, because it was hundreds of kids. It was like, listen to it. Anyway, I said, what are they wearing? They went, oh, a loincloth. I went, I am not appearing <laughs> at Chester Gateway. So I said, I'll work in costume. And that was it. I started. I went to work in costume and I started. Wow. That's where I started. Saying, so in loincloths. No, I was doing all the flamboyant <laughs> Atom Wilper. Yeah. Can, we have another, can we have another question, please? <laughs> Julie, who's going to be at Festival of Quilts? I'll start this and this. Are you going to be at Festival of Quilts? Yeah, it's been everyone since it, the very beginning. Well, you, did you go last year as well? Because I didn't yeah. go last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. Literally so, since the... So you got your own little stand. Not little. Your tiny, own stand. There. Tiny stand, yeah. And there's always a huge crowd around it. And you can have your friend there helping you out. The, the mad one, yeah. No, no, <laughs> that's you. I <laughs> get confused. But you and your friend will be there yeah, together. Yeah, she'll be there, yeah. So you're definitely going to be there. I'll be there on the Sewing Street stand on the Saturday and the Sunday, <coughs> and I'll also be doing my talk in the theatre 
uh, tickets still available uh, on the <laughs> Sunday at one o'clock. I'm there every day. Yeah, I've got my own stand, so I'll be there every day. And also on the Thursday, I'm hosting the award ceremony. So come along and see the awards being given out. It's always really lovely to see who's done the top pick uh, quilts um, and actually to sort of see the quilts as well. Lovely. So yeah, doing that. If you've never been to Festival of Quilts mm. before, somebody said, <coughs> somebody said, Miss Jane, oh, I'm only a beginner. Will I be all right at Festival of Quilts? Anyone can go to Festival of Quilts because you walk around two of the halls and there are just the most astounding quilts. Mm -hmm. Hang on, and you look at some of them and go, how have they even done that? Well, Bruce, our director's coming, isn't he? Yeah, he he's is. not a quilter, no? but he's going, he's really looking forward to seeing all the quilts and seeing how they're made. Bruce is going to be there on the Saturday, so if you see Bruce, we'll put a picture up of him the week before so you recognise him, because some of you might not recognise him. Are you going this year? Possibly, I don't know what day, um, but yes, I think it's probably the first time we feel safe, isn't it, to, to get out and about. So you'll be going as a, as a punter, uh, as a wandering round. So stop, <laughs> and also, what, what we always say, right, people message us all afterwards, go, oh, I saw you, but I was too frightened to come and say hello. Please don't be, please don't be, with, he might smell at the end of the day, but you know what I mean? Um, oh no, he's got the most gorgeous, he wears the most incredible scent. It's just gorgeous. It's um, just soap and water, John. No. It's the smell of freshness. The amount you squirt on in here <laughs> in the morning. That is true. That is true. But also the other thing, just about safety at Festival of Quilts. Last year when it ran after the pandemic, they had an extra hall and double wide aisles. And they have kept that for this year. Oh, yeah. So yeah, if you're true. concerned about, is it going to be really crowded? Is it going to be all sort of tight? sort of corridors it, they've kept the wide mm -hmm. spacing so I'm really looking forward to that and you, you can go uh, there'll be people like Mandy Shaw will have a stand loads of people you know will be there doing uh, Jenny Jackson is on the Juki stand or the Juki boys will be there Mark will be there everyone will be there so there'll be loads of faces but please don't. the only thing I'd say is wear comfy shoes and bring a bottle of water and bring a pack lunch that's what I'd say anything else Bis um, biscuits for your favourite <laughs> presenter. You see them. I got brought a lemon drizzle cake last year. I've got to say it was a highlight. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. I have to say the year before I got a few bits and bobs, but I wasn't there last year. So that's a fantastic question. Next, Ruth. Morning all. Oh, crack! That's a big question because we're here for ages, with Stuart. What's your favourite thing that you've ever made, and what's your biggest disaster? You can go first on this one. Oh, okay. Favourite thing I've ever made. Oh God! Do you know? I think it's got to be, or the thing that sticks in my mind most is the tulip pocket skirt on sewing bee because it was a turning point for me on the show. It was the point at which suddenly everyone went, oh, "Who's?" Who's he? Oh, yeah. Kind of, you yeah. know, I won Garment of the Week with it. And it really did save me, I think, to, to get me into the semi-final. And it's the one piece of sewing that everybody remembers and reminds me of. Um, my worst sewing disaster ever. Um, can I can, can we come back to it? Back? Come back to it. What's your favourite? Let's do your favourites, favourites then. You've got um, a favourite quilt you've ever designed. Ooh, uh, I don't know if I have, you know. I you think, just love them all like I'm children. <laughs> I think I just like the one that I'm working on at the time, <laughs> and then I just move on. Of course, um, yeah. Ooh, I, I suppose it would be a Christmas quilt. Well, probably. Oh, the, I know the, it's the, the one the in best, the attic. The best and worst yeah. would be the Christmas quilt that never was, yes. and then the Christmas quilt that did become reality. Yeah, because you've got a quilt that you made for Neve. Oh, do you make it for Neve um, in the original? Yeah, at, at the time, um, we went to uh, a shop and I knew nothing at all about quilting mm. and I bought, you know, a Macawa Christmas range. I'll have mm. it in red, blue, green and cream, all the same pattern, no large scale, no small scale, but I knew what I was doing. Um, <laughs> a really um, complicated and perhaps old fashioned pattern in that it was pre-cut triangles, not you know, sort of half square, mm. fast pieced ones. Mm. Um, and yeah, machine chewed every piece of fabric up. It just went in the rag bag. Um, but then, however many years later, we've got now sort of the, the Christmas heirloom quilt um, that comes out and, and we Aww. watch the Christmas films under. And if you watch the John Scott show, we had it on there, didn't we? You didn't brought we it did, in, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Favourite thing you've ever made? I'm searching. <laughs> Are you searching? I thought you said I'm 30. I was going to say, are you trying to kid? You won't see 30 again, love. Uh, we're friends, American. by the way. Don't be thinking. Don't be thinking. We've been very rude to her. No, that would be fine. She's used to it. That's fine. 
I have a think about it then. <laughs> Mine was when I when I worked in theatre. I used to love making all the theatrical costumes, but if you work in theatre, you never you can't make enough money to ends meet. So I used to make wedding dresses, and I started off and I made my friend Dawn as her present. I made her a wedding dress, and from then on, I just went on and made wedding dresses for people, and I absolutely loved. What, what would end up happening was I'd make the wedding dress and then I wouldn't make, I say, I don't do bridesmaids, but I wouldn't make the bridesmaids, but I'd kind of create the whole ambiance of the day and I'd, part of the deal was I'd turn up on the day and I'd dress the bride and get her ready and I just loved being part of all of that sort of thing. That'd be my favourite, my favourite thing to make. I've had so many disasters, we'd be here because we're going to run out of time now, but I've had so many disasters. I was just thinking of my sewing disaster. It wasn't exactly the sewing, but it was the second time I was ever on a sewing TV, well, a TV shopping channel channel and uh, I was making a Christmas present sack and the presenter put the bag up on the finished bag up on the table while I was sewing merrily away after about 10 minutes I smelt burning and I thought my sewing machine was on fire or at the studio lights and then I looked at the bag and the presenter had put the bag on top of a clover mm. mini iron which had burnt its way uh -huh. through the bag and had set fire to the faux fur cushion that was being used to pad the present oh, sack. so the whole no. thing was on fire so I just said, oh, anyway, I think everyone's seen enough of that bag. Took it down off the table and kind of stamped on it under the table. The presenter didn't even notice that. At the end of the show, she said, now we're going to give away the bag that we had on the table earlier. <laughs> and I said, I don't think we are, actually. I think we'll give the one away that I've just made oh, instead. Oh, and it was just blackened charcoal mess. Oh, my goodness. That's a brilliant story. Right, next question. Look at the time already. OK, right, graphics are coming. Oh, ignore that. That's just so I can put the questions in. That was all. <clears throat> uh, what is the last thing? Hang on. What is the last thing each of the panel made for pleasure for themselves? Derek, I love that question. Oh, that's from Derek, my to know. Um, a frock. Oh, a frock. oh yes, because you do. I'll um, say, I'll, I'll quilt for a living. Yeah. But the passion is is the dressmaking. Um, yeah, so any, anything for me, any any garments. But I'm struggling at the moment with the old waistline. I've got some gorgeous fabrics, um, but I don't want to cut into them and sew them. Because there's a YouTube channel where you can go and watch you making your dresses, yes, isn't there? But yeah. it's not yours, is it? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, isn't it? Uh, or is, is it yours? Uh, no, it was. It, it's my little oh, quilt house, but I've, I've just not been able to, to find the time to, to edit rather yeah. than um, to, to, to film. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of dressmaking tutorials on there. But I do really like the dressmaking for myself. Uh -huh. it's, yeah, it's just a pleasure. The last thing I made for myself for pleasure wasn't sewing at all. It was I did some baking, oh, and yes. I, we've got the ducks now. So I decided to do some baking with Jemima's eggs, and I made some cupcakes, and they were delicious. Well, Charlie said to me, I put the rest in a tin, and I said to Charlie, there are cupcakes for while I'm away. And he looked in the tin and he said, well, why don't you take some of these for your colleagues on sewing yeah. industry? I said, oh, no, I'm not taking them and wasting them on them. You have them. Oh. I just stole some flapjack from my hotel this morning. And well, yeah, you did. They you. Were, he arrived with flapjacks in plastic bags, sealed plastic bags. Right, very quick question. I'm going to go off kilter because somebody mentioned earlier saying, you talk about Charlie, not a lot. You mentioned, don't put that in your mouth because you can do another question. You talk about Charlie Lott, is he, is he in the um, kind of sewing and quilting industry? No, not at all. He trained as a farmer, he was brought up on the farm, trained as a farmer, but also um, has run a, a millinery business for about 25 years, um, designing, manufacturing and retailing wedding hats, fascinators, bags, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, so he does have a very creative side but he's also very much at home on the farm. Isn't that funny? Because that's two very different ends of the spectrum, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, kind of looking after sheep and then going home and creating a frothy Abs But our, our second day ever, we went to, he took me for lunch to Hazelwood Castle, which was rather nice. Saw Hayley from Coronation Oh, Street. I was just talking about our Hayley, yeah. <laughs> um, and um, she was very nice. But Charlie said to me halfway through lunch, so pushed a napkin across and said, would you draw me a few fascinators? You know, just some ideas for fascinators. So I drew them. About six weeks later, he pushed a, boss, a box across the desk to me. You went still out for lunch. No. <laughs> and when I opened the box, he had had these four drawings made into oh. fascinators, which I thought, oh, this is so romantic. And I said, oh, did you make these just for me? And he said, no, I've had, I've had 1,200 of each made. He said, and then my next fascinators. <laughs> I, need, like, I need a royalty yeah, for this. Yeah, exactly. Imagine so 
Uh, well, I've got, I've got two Irene's saying for pleasure. Have you done anything, have you done anything for pleasure recently? Sarongs. I can make sarongs. <laughs> you can make a sarong. That's <laughs> no, nice. No, I, I do. Yeah, I'm they're doing quite straight. Yeah. Straight edges. Straight and, straight time edges off. Yeah. and you got lots of beach holidays to wear them. If only. And mine really <laughs> was um, making my... Uh, during the lockdown, the first lockdown, I was doing... Um, uh, we did the scrubs bags and the scrubs and everything, and I did my Sunday morning sew-alongs. And then, from Jane Alcock's design, I made a Bargello rainbow, like a quilt, and so many ladies and gentlemen made it. And we hung them in our windows, because we were putting rainbows for the NHS in the windows. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, when we stopped the clapping and everything, everyone took them down and made cushions out of them to see all the cushions. It must be like you when you do a design and you see all the ladies on Facebook, men mm -hmm. and gentlemen on Facebook, putting their pictures of their versions up and everything like that. And then just more recently, I did my, um, heart for Ukraine which I thought was lovely and then this mm. week I've done my for the competition I did my log cabin for the competition I'm kind of enjoying that sort of thing I've given them all away I haven't got any of them myself right Hannah says one quick more question what's the one skill skill you don't yet do in oh in the world in the world of, you can't do you can't put your contortion lessons in this one uh, of sewing and knitting and he's done burlesque. Burlesque was years ago. I can't do the pole, though. I can't do the pole. Oh, no, when well, you haven't got the muscles, have you really? I, I, I haven't got the breath. I haven't got the clack. <laughs> um, I, can't, I can't crochet, really. I can't really crochet. Because? And I'd love to learn. <laughs> yeah, everyone's so disappointed. Sorry, I've let, every, I've let an <laughs> Asian down. Um, I can basically, I can do a granny square, but that's all. And I would so love to be able to make amigurumi teddy bears and I've you know. got Mr Parsons amigurumi that's another story that's he's a what that's acting no that's Mr Parsons the chameleon that's how they great. walk great yeah I was looking up there <laughs> things, <laughs> sausage okay. who knew who knew and what what can't you do oh, I can't crochet either oh, but I'm also a really cag handed knitter oh are you okay a really then. slow knitter Guess what? You can't knit. <laughs> I can't crochet. No, I, can't I can knit. sort of knit. Yeah, I used to knit. Uh huh. Um, I'd like to do felting. I felting. Like genuinely would. Now, if ever you're up my way, well, we do felting. Delphine does felting, but there's a place that does classes of felting. Really? Every time you go, it's, it's a garden centre, and they do different kind yeah. of sewing. Class, and they, uh, whenever there's a felting class on, you know, because they've got hundreds of chairs in, and they're all there, yeah. making their squirrels and all that sort of thing. What can't you do? Loads. I just can't do Narrow those. it down. Uh, crochet. Knit. <laughs> can't do any of that. Oh, yeah. No. I could teach you to knit. Well, they, oh, no. I've, well, uh, maybe I will, because, uh, yeah, maybe mm. maybe I will. I just always, I did it with my nan once. I just remember it getting tighter and tighter around my needles. <laughs> and then I think, just, well, I, I might have been doing it wrong. I definitely was doing it wrong, Hannah. Uh, OK, right, we need to stop. Uh, we're gonna, oh, we're going to go for a break while we get ready. So thank you very much. That was our Loose Women edition today. Maybe we'll do it again one day soon. Uh, don't go anywhere. Two minutes time. I'm back with Irene and her needle trader. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? A TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Irene is here. Lovely Irene. Wave to your camera, Irene. I'll explain. Hello. <laughs> uh, when we were at Sewing Quarter, Irene used to be a very regular guest, and I hope she's going to be here again today. Now, uh, Irene is like the gadget queen. That's what you are, really, isn't it? Well, that's kind. Well, that's <laughs> what you are, isn't it? Right, I'm going to take you through everything we've got, right? But then Irene's going to do demonstrations on everything, right? So I'm going to start off with the needle threader. We have a bundle. We haven't got them individually. To, I'll exp oh, I'm going to explain, right? There was a mistake made upstairs, wasn't there, Ian? And basically, that we've only got a few here. We've got them available today, but if you watch tomorrow, if you don't get it today, watch the show tomorrow with Stuart and Hannah tomorrow, and they'll have it again tomorrow because they'll be in stock tomorrow. We have got some, uh, but we haven't got any individually today. We've only got the bundle of three. That's right, isn't it? Three? Three. There you go, three for £20. I'm not going to demonstrate it. Yours will arrive with that inside the box. Irene's going to demonstrate in a minute, but you can buy three for £20. Three for twenty pounds, and you'll wonder you, when you see how this works. You're going to wonder how you've ever threaded a needle before. And if you're like me and your, your eyesight's going a bit, they're fantastic. They're absolutely brilliant. Right. Okay. Now the next thing I've got to show you is this. So you can put it in your pocket, like like a pen or something like that. But look, right? It's an extendable. What do we call it? Magnetic pickup tool, right? Magnetic pickup tool. Look, there it is. And I'm going to show you how to extend it now. Like that, it's quite long, doesn't it? Right, ready? Now you're thinking, yes, John, you can pick up pins. Right, you need to go over there, Cat, to know where the pins are. No, sorry, the camera, not you, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Cat was, oh, I'll come round, I'll come round. Right, okay, like what, look. I would take them off for me, would you? Mind your fingers, mind yeah. your fingers. Right, but, I'm not going to do all of them, take away the... But Irene's keys... Now, I just practised this, and I got it right the second time. Irene's keys are really, really heavy, right? Look, 
Now, if you've dropped your keys down the side of the sofa, or if you have trouble bending over to pick things up, I, I need to warn you that, that we should have weighed those before we came in. They're really, really heavy. So if you've dropped your pins on the floor and you don't want to bend over, you drop your scissors on the floor, you don't want to bend over, drop something on the floor, you can literally uh, just, you know, if you're a bit lazy, thinking, oh, better lock the back door, pick them up like that, go and lock the back door. <laughs> 5.99. Okay, Hannah would use it to trick people with. Like, because she's a witch, really, you know what I mean? She is. 5 99 that is. £5.99. There it is. That's what it looks like when it comes. Then, now, what do you want to do next, Han? The light next. Uh, Irene will show you around this. This is a lovely flexi light, rechargeable, standalone, or clip on, with 360 degree flexible arms. That's Hannah. 16 LEDs and three light levels, 19.99. I'll show it to you out the box. It's very lightweight, 19.99, good price. All the LEDs, Irene will show you around this in a minute. All I'm doing is I'm showing you all the product to begin with and then you'll get the demo uninterrupted. And I've got what? Oh, lot of needle thread of love coming in apparently. I have won the pickup tools. I found needles and pins. I didn't realise I dropped, said Sue. Uh, Michelle said, love. Uh, oh, she loved all the chat. Oh, there's lots and lots of you messaging in about how much you love the chat. Right, okay, 19 pounds and 99 pence, the flexi clip lamp. Last but not least, now I've got these, haven't I? You sent some of these to me, but mine's got rainbows on and... Cats and dogs, maybe. Uh, pl plain colour first. I'll just show you, right? So um, Irene will show you how they work in a second, but you get two in a pack, right? Three? Oh yeah, three in a pack, three in a pack. I'll take them out then. So you get one, two, two, three. Oh, the, oh, right, so this one's like a kind of white opal. Oh, will you these three colors you get, or are they gonna be random? No, they are. They, they, they are, are the colors like you three get. Three different sets, which yeah, we yeah. ought to show. So look, so you get the what I call the white opal, the opaque, and then you get this one here, which is kind of, oh, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's, uh, there you go. No, no, sorry. There you go. Look, so there's the three colour. That's the opaque, and that's what I call white opal. You get three for £20. They are, if you don't know what they are, they're for holding your glasses in here. I'll show you. So just, oh, no, I'll let you do the demonstration. That's what you're here for. No, because I've got to unbutton my shirt, otherwise. So they're the three colours. Then I've got the golf ball or I've got the uh, de decorative golf next for the, well, I was going to say for the manly life, that's very gender unfriendly of me, isn't it? Right, so you get uh, where you put the ball into, what's it called? On the it's green, a, yeah, yeah. the hole that you put the ball hole. into. Hole, you get the ball. It's nice, isn't it? It's not really round, it's just a picture. Right, I don't know what this third one's got to do with golf. In case the sun shines. That's called who? <laughs> cool dudes. Cool dude golfer. Excuse me, she's got them on her knickers. I hadn't noticed that on the bit. Oh, the lady on the phone. Oh, I thought you meant Hannah. No, not Hannah. <laughs> Hannah doesn't wear knickers. There we go. <laughs> She's got lovely red bras, though. Yeah. Anyway, last but not least, these are those. So you get, what's that one? That's sort of grey. Grey, <laughs> okay. Okay, limited this range. Then you get this one. Fancy. And this is my favourite. That one's my favourite. No, Hannah. Can you come in close? Because Hannah thinks those two are the same. Oh, it could be. <laughs> no, they aren't. <laughs> uh, 20 pounds, they're very limited, the fancy ones. Uh, sadly, we don't sell this, but I love it. Right, so Irene, let's say, well, first of all, first of all, for people at home who don't know you, how did all this begin? Long, long time ago yeah. in the olden days. 20 something years ago a friend of mine was selling a tiny needle threader from South Africa of all places then and that went quite well and then she moved on to a British made one which is the key I don't know if you remember which was wonderful and I sold that for some time 
and then that went defunct. Yes. And I, another friend, found this in Italy. Okay. Where it's made. Oh, I, oh, it's Italian because yeah. uh, Julie Vaughan just messaged in. I think we, I love Irene. I was her first customer at the Islington show, and she gave me a free gift. So there you go. Got me on a good day. Yeah, see. obviously. <laughs> yes, obviously. Okay, the needle threader will sell out. There will, like I said, there'll be lots more stock tomorrow. They'd definitely be here tomorrow if it sells out today. So we're still going to go ahead with the demo so they can cut and, cut and click. No, cut and clip it to show you tomorrow. So Irene, would you like to do the uh, demonstration on the threader, please? May I? I'm going to put it in its little box okay, to say brilliant. how it comes. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. That's how it comes with the instructions neatly folded. Right, you know. But, but I, move I've actually ironed them just oh, to show. Okay, I'm fine. A, but that would be folded inside the box. Yeah. So there is actually a groove into which we sit the sit the needle threader there. Uh huh. And what we need is thread and needle, I guess. Please. If it's a, do you know, Can you without, find them? Without, my, uh, <laughs> without my glasses. But you had two I pairs of glasses a minute ago. I know, I've already mislaid one. I want to do this um, demonstrating without my glasses. Oh, okay, but you but need to find the needle first. You need to find the needle. Can you not find it? That'll do. Yeah. Right, I think I've taken a, a um, quilting needle, but it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to thread it before you put it in. Worse. Yes. This is getting worse. So, Thread lies there without any tension. Right, in okay. that Let tiny me just do this because you've got a lot of fluff on here. Have I? Oh, because yeah. I've been doing the wool, I guess. Yeah. Now, the needle needs to go, obviously, with the eye at the bottom. Yeah. And it needs to be straight, but it doesn't need to go in a particular direction right. because the okay. tool is hopefully going to find it. Yeah. The top button, we're sliding to the right hand side, and there should be a loop there. If it, I have to put my glasses, glasses I'm afraid. On. If the loop hasn't come through, we do it again. Oh, okay, the loop of thread coming through. A loop through, of thread, yeah. I should yeah, say, yeah. yeah. We're releasing that, and I don't know if you noticed, the needle is actually nudged and turned around because there's a, a, a mechanism inside that turns the needle okay, around. Okay, perfect. Yeah. We then drag that loop through unt only until the shorter side comes through. Yeah. And then take out the needle. It's and magic. Thread it. It's close to magic, yeah. So again, yeah, 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 please, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. One side short, one side longer, yeah. slide the button. If it misses, move the thread, do it again, pull the thread through and take the needle. That's single thread. Okay, but we're working on the white side of the machine, aren't Only we? on the white side. Yeah. The, the black side's for the large needles. Okay, which will needles, come through in a minute. Cut, yeah. One quick question for you. Uh, would the threader be able to cope with the needle and thread for EPP, says Nikki? So a, a fine needle with fine thread. Yeah, well, we've come to beading needles. Oh, okay, yeah. well, that's finer than EPP still, needles. Yeah, yeah. still yeah. limited, though, yeah. only down to an 11 and best on a 10, but it will do it, and yeah. I'll quickly show that. Okay. Just to show um, for double thread, there's actually no need to double it. A customer showed me this, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, equal length at either side, yeah. exactly the same, release. Yeah. This time we're only pulling it a little way, and you then take out the needle and you have yourself double then double threaded. Thread. So that means if we want to use that for um, casting on, you know, to do the loop method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually, oh, I should show that at the front, shouldn't I? Yeah. You actually go through the loop. Hang on a second, we'll come to that now. Yeah. Hold that, hold that. No, shall no, I, hold it there, I'm sorry. Shall I show that on a piece of material then? Yeah, yeah go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So we'll maybe do that again then, the whole thing? Yeah, go on. Ever so quickly. Equal length at either side. Yeah. Needle There's in, another way, eye but down. This is definitely the easiest way, I yeah. think, or the quickest way. Sliding the button, didn't catch the thread, do it again, still didn't catch it. Sorry, now if that keeps happening, we would double the thread. So I am going, it's a very, very thin thread, so I'm, going, oh, okay, I'm okay, actually okay. going to double it, right. which is the other method for yes, doing yes, it, yes, right? Yes, yeah. And then we have double threads. Oh, there. that was right. easier. So the, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. find that, that easy? You see, I find the other way yeah. easier, but it's whatever we used to. Then so you we still have the double thread, double, right? Yeah. Yep. So there's the loop to actually put onto okay, the material. Okay, hold that there. Cat will come to that. There you go, yep. little loop there. Yeah. Loop there. And then the needle goes through the material underneath the material, through the material, and into the loop. But I'm sure that most of you Well, most no, 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 it's that. there already. Irene wants to point out as well, she hasn't got a dirty fingernail, it's... Oh, 
it's printer ink. Printer ink, and she can't get <laughs> that from days. it. Right. Many dirty fingernails. So that's, uh, but again, most of the people who sew, they know. Yeah, it, okay? yeah. Multiple thread. Yes, please. Yes. Any particular colour? No. <laughs> Two. And just for effect, I put or attempt to put. So you put a double. Have you put a double yellow? No, you put, put a pink, a single, yellow, and a glitter. Yeah. Now this is a tiny eye, so I won't be able. I don't think to do it at one hit, but I'm going to do it in stages. Right, you have. So have I got one? Yes. Oh, I have two. And then we're just going to realign the thread. So right. in other words, move the thread, bash the button. Uh, pardon me, slide the button. Yeah. And pull that through. Now it's highly unlikely that it's missed. We hope, it's very rare that it misses, but there is a way of checking, John. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to you. Right. There's a metal bar inside that actually d turns the needle and finds the eye. So by holding that, that bar, that button across, yeah. the bar is extended. So if the needle doesn't come up, we know 100% that oh, that's okay. gone through. So okay. if you've taken the time to put three threads, it's a good idea to quickly check it. Yeah. And then we have then all three all through the three needle. through that same tiny little eye. Fantastic. Okay. Yep. Um, same old story about the invisible thread, John. You've lost it. And it's genuinely not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's around. I don't see it. I think you it's carry fall. on. With I you. think it's fall. I think I'll do the the other side. Shall I? May I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an invisible thread in. This is invisible yeah, okay. thread. Here. So we'll, if we find the invisible thread, well, I've we'll found some invisible thread, thread too. Right. So let me show that um, better. The bottom button is for is a, is a wider gauge, and um, that's the black that's the black side, and naturally that's for large needles. So the needle goes in. Give this. Th this is really. I don't know what it's called, but it's a, it's a braid type stuff. So we have to push it a few times to make sure that we have it all through. Okay, all threaded. of today's all of today's have sold out, <laughs> but we'll have three hundred of them tomorrow, ready for the show tomorrow. So keep watching <sighs> and make sure you tune in tomorrow. It'll be on pre-order from half past seven tomorrow morning if you can't watch the whole show. I've got myself an upholstery needle yep. here. Not that I'm an upholsterer, but I just thought I'd like to show. Yep. But again, be persistent; otherwise, you would end up splitting it. But yeah, Just imagine how long that would time. take Hannah saying yeah, in real life. Through. And the ends are always ragged and difficult to yep, get yep. through. Um, ribbon, ribbon. organza, suitable needle. So, again, if you wanted to, you check it. Personally, I don't because I like to do everything in a hurry, so I yep. just assume that it's done it. But how so brilliant that's an is this, yeah? Organza. Then this is silk ribbon. And it's excellent on silk ribbon, but not good on satin because it's too stiff right, to okay. go through. Yeah. Okay. So, preferably not with wool. Yeah. I did tell you my eyesight is poor. <laughs> <laughs> so, needle in there, slide the button, pull it through, and take the needle. And well, I haven't mentioned double because realistically you'd only want no, that no, single. you wouldn't do double. Yeah. No, no. Wool. Wool coming. Actually, this is the same piece of wool I use wherever I go. I don't know why I don't get a different <laughs> colour. Economical, you see. Right, needle, uh, hold now, down. I don't know if you notice me looking at the needle. I actually can't see it terribly well, but in an ideal world, if you can see the eye, put it perpendicular to the, to the bar so right. you've got it in the right position. Yeah. But given that I can't see it, I just hope it is. Yeah. Now, we're going to be really persistent because this can be tricky. It's double knitting. And so keep, keep, keep going. Sometimes I end there up, it there it is, but sometimes you'll get only part of it. So okay. do it again. And that's wool. Lovely. Invisible thread. <laughs> you found the invisible thread. Have you got the beading needle? Oh, and the beading needle and a quilting needle as okay. well, a little quilter. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Where do you want can me to put help? it? Yeah. Now, this gets technical. Ideally, we double it. Not because we can see it better, but okay. just because it'd give it a bit more I didn't know that, so no, let me do that. Do that. Yeah, that's right, because we're going in the white one this time. Oh, I haven't done my shearing elastic either. Oh, uh, is it shearing or shearing? <laughs> shearing. <laughs> right, okay, so look, that's going double through the white one. Yeah, Right. in there. Thank you, John. Can I let go? Um, yeah, that's fine, thank you. 
and it might be a good idea just to guide it although having said you're that not going to see that i'm not going to see it but the tool's going to find it isn't it we hope am i allowed to lift it up yeah 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 <laughs> There it is. I is it can there? see it. I can see it. Right. Since we've got it there, I'm going to check that, that it's gone through the needle. So holding it there, check that the needle doesn't move. Definitely done it. Pull it through. And there is the invisible thread. Brilliant. And what was the other thing you just said? Sharing again? elastic. Oh, sharing elastic. Yeah. <coughs> That'll go through the black side, won't it? Yeah. Let's get rid of your fluff from uh, that. Yeah, that's all that, that oh, time. Oh, I haven't you mentioned put. about when it's in the work. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. John, it's so many months since I've demonstrated I've, I think I've forgotten now yeah from 7 30 tomorrow morning there'll be more of these on pre-order and there's the sharing elastic brilliant now an all important thing which I really must point this out yeah yeah the yeah. only downside of the product dare I say as a salesperson or it used to be when you're in the middle of sewing yeah and it, and it comes out it comes unthreaded yeah yeah there's no physical way. I mean, we can certainly thread it, but there's no way of, of actually pulling, pulling it out. It through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another customer taught me this. Our customers are wonderful, you know. Absolutely. Well, they keep <laughs> you in the lifestyle to which you become accustomed. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and how this Ethel from Glasgow, how she Ethel, worked Ethel, thank you, Ethel. We're so grateful, Ethel. She followed the seam in the tool and then she had the foresight to take the, the, the cap off. That's, yeah. Everything is the same, except this time I've got two threads, so I'm yeah, going to have to do it twice. Yeah, through. Both there? Yeah. Sure, John? Yeah. And then we're going to, difficult to see, I know, we but there's actually upstairs, a seam. See from upstairs, see from upstairs, There's a seam oh, no, you in see there. there. That, yeah. So we take the two threads and yeah. the needle, give a tiny tug. Oh, and it actually comes, comes out the, the seam. Yeah. So it's actually not a design feature. It's something that Irene uh, in Glasgow, not Irene, um, Ethel. Ethel in Glasgow discovered. And I've chosen to keep my, keep that off at all times. I don't actually put that back on because it works equally well. Yeah, but if you take them both it. off, you won't know which is the black one, which is the white one. Well, the lower one and all the right. bigger one. If it doesn't work on one side, it works on the Fantastic. other. Fantastic. Right, like we need side. to move on yeah. now. So tomorrow, I'm sorry, there's been a huge mix-up in the booking in and everything like that. So it's sold all of today's, but there will be another 300 on the website tomorrow morning at upper seven on pre-order. And will you show it during the show as well, Hannah, at some point? At some point during the show tomorrow, Hannah will also pl play that clip of Irene doing it. She'll edit it and put music to it and everything like that. Right, okay, so we're now moving on to the magnetic um, picky-uppy thing, please. Well, as John's already said, it's... Um, oh, sorry if I've stolen your thunder. No, I'm so grateful when you do that for me. <laughs> Just literally a magnetic tool, but an invaluable one too. Yeah. The, the obvious, you've, you've shown that for the pins and needles. And if ever you were to drop something on the floor, it's ideal or yeah. in, a, in, in inaccessible places. Yeah, behind um, the sofa did, and things, yeah. Yeah, you did show the keys. Yeah. Oh, um, I see that they, they, the thing to the key is stab at it. Not oh, I, I was. I, you you were stabbed, I just did it gently. Maybe. You see, well, so. maybe I, I don't. Know, maybe I take it onto a key. I guess I don't know where I took it. There you go. On the ring, which is the most heavy. Magnetic. That's a really heavy bunch mm, of keys. I that. need to keep meaning to uh, slim it down. Yeah, declutter it. <laughs> what else can you can you pick those scissors up with it? Oh, certainly. That's why they were there, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, how much is it? Uh, five ninety nine. Yeah. Magnetic pickup tool, five pounds and ninety nine pence, and, and it telescopics yes. in, and then you can have it in your pocket like a pen. Exactly. If you wanted to. Now, do you have to be careful which pocket you put it in? Because when you, if we sell jewellery that's a magnetic fastener, you say don't wear this if you've got a pacemaker. So if you've got a pacemaker, I wouldn't put it in your breast pocket. Yeah. Only, only, right. I'm not you're, a doctor. No, I don't right. know what the reason is. Right. And yeah. funnily enough. That we you going to say that with the, the next product. Oh, okay. That, that I hadn't thought of. So Go thank, on to the next you. product Thank then. you. Oh, must be posh. Must be too cheap. No, too, I was going to say posh. <laughs> right, okay, message on the bottom. John, I bought two of the pickup tools when I was on quarter. One in the car, one in the house. I dropped my key. Oh, do you know what? I'm always dropping my car keys down the side mm. of my chair. Uh, car keys fell down a grid. They, oh, they went down a grid. <gasps> Alicia. That's and it saved her. A, a brilliant. That's a brilliant. Yeah, because mine always... I just happened to drop them and you can't, my hands are too fat to go down. I said, this would be perfect. Right, what are we moving no, on really to then, do you say? Light, please. Light? Next. Light, please. Pickup tool is very, very popular. Good. Am I allowed to say good? Yeah, you can say <laughs> what you like, as long as you swear. So, oh, no, would yeah. I? Would I? Well. Okay. 
the great thing about this light, and I, I really have promoted so many lights over the years, this is actually designed by one of the exhibitors and he's specially, especially done it so that there's no glare. It actually has um, a concave top or whatever, would, what would we call the top? I don't we call top. it top. <laughs> That'll do. Shade. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Right, so now, you've charged it up on a USB. You've charged it and it takes about four hours. The first time you get yeah, it. Yeah, but and then you can use it for five hours without being plugged okay, in. Okay, perfect. But the good thing about this one, you can actually use it whilst it's plugged in. Uh, Many of them you can't. Yeah, lots of them you can't right? when it's USB, yeah. And it was modified as well in that it now has an on-off switch. Can so we that see if you that, are Kat? transporting oh, it. Oh, hang on. Cat's not in here. It's a good idea just to quickly switch it off. So because don't it's worry, don't worry, don't worry, no. don't worry. There's a little switch on the side. It, if it, you buy native yeah, light, and you'll know. You it's it's She's back now. She's back now. Right, and it's um, a touch mechanism. So if that switch was accidentally left on, and you did have it in transit, or you're taking it on your holidays, yeah, <laughs> if only you could actually waste, you know, accidentally. Switch oh it off. right, okay. So that's why we, we suggest that people switch it off. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So, oh, so I see. So you, there's a side yeah, of the switch yeah, to switch the whole yeah, thing on. Yeah. Then you've got a push button, not a push button, touch, a touch button on the top. Yeah, yeah. So if you're traveling or you're throwing it in your bag, switch it off, off, then you don't just skip. Exactly. Or oh, for cat, if it, my cat came in, could switch yeah, that on and be on nice all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he'd be reading, he, you know, he'd be reading all night long. Okay, he? switch yeah. it on right. then. So it's on. W quickly, just to yeah, say, yeah, whilst, yeah. It's whilst it's charging, the red light stay, there's Hang a red light staying on. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Right. So there's a red light illuminates whilst it's, While it's charging. charging yeah. And then when it's charged, it switches off. Okay, lovely. Now I need the glasses on to know which ends are on. Oh. <laughs> it's getting worse, isn't it? Right, so. You need to start selling magnifying glasses. <laughs> I think I do. I need to change them, I think. So 16 LED lights yeah. with three intensities. So first, okay. second, so Whoa, it's bright. I mean, it's bright. difficult to show there, but do you want to show it on? So, a, yeah, on if a, we show it from upstairs. Oh, sorry, Anna. Oh, and I didn't mention about it clipping, did I? You didn't mention about it what? The clipping. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the fourth, the, the fourth touch is to switch it off. Okay, so, so. Oh, we've got, remember, we've got bright studio lights in here as well, but can you see the difference? Is it off yet? Yeah. Right, there you go. Can you see the three? There you go, there you go. Two, one, three, off. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And clipping. Okay. And clipping, this is a tiny bit deep. Yes. But it will precariously sit on there but that has it's just because that has a bar underneath preventing it from from going further but that is really really very good for yep. better than most uh, clip lights in yes, my exactly. experience perfect and that's it lovely only available in white only available in white and this bends as much as you yeah, want it to yeah, bend yeah yeah oh, yeah forgot to mention thank and you, it stays ahead. where you've bent it Indeed. so if you want it artistic or up against a picture on the wall or something like that Round your sewing machine. Imagine having that by your sewing machine. Yeah. Bend it right the way around to go onto the needle and everything. Nineteen ninety nine. That. And then last but not least, we've got Spec Mates. Hang on, I'm just seeing what, what, what where she goes shopping. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll have to do. I'll get back here. We have to do which one first? Fancy is sold out, and the golf is very limited. So the plain ones here are. Yeah, I th I'd call it um, white opal, opaque, and then darker colours. Black hole, maybe. <laughs> you got all three for £20. How do they work, Irene? Like this. Okay, oh, I pop my glasses in there yeah. first of all. So like, there's actually, um, I'm going to show how it works, but that's yeah. just glasses already. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just move that box yeah. out of the way. I'm not on the right camera. Where am I supposed to? Where's my little box? There's your white line there. Sorry. Why have you got your silk blouse on today? You normally have a different colour for a different day. That's my uniform. That's my summer uniform. Oh, sorry. This is you my haven't winter. gone into summer uniform. This is yet. my winter uniform. Okay. Right, how does it work? So, four particularly powerful magnets. And, John, let's mention that about the pacemaker. Yeah, because don't that wear really this. Because really is yeah. important. And that is actually on the, on the instructions and on the packaging. Right. Anyone with a pacemaker must not use it. Yeah. So, four magnets, two on either side. And this is effectively is a brooch with, right. a, with a hook. Yeah. So that's it can now, be. Worn did they as a used to have point? Didn't they used to have? Have they always been magnets? Didn't you have one with a pointy bit? Because I used to have a pointy one. Drill a hole through your clothing. Yeah. yeah. But not on this. No, your clothes aren't damaged at all on this one. Yeah. I mean, that's the, the pin one is okay for uniforms. Yes. Yeah. Well, but not for blouses. When somebody else is paying for them. Yeah. No, but I mean, <laughs> you know, on a really, on a really, you know, nice item which I don't have. No. 
Um, so what can I say? Take it everywhere, holidays, you know, sunglasses, of course. Wear it on your pants. They have bikinis, I meant to say to you. They're meant to be a bikini. Well, that's a bikini. Is it you? Is it you wearing them? I don't wear bikinis. No. Oh, I see I bikini, bikini bottoms bottom. and blouses, yeah. Yeah. All right then. Yeah, because when you used to bring them, you used to have a man in swimming trunks, like about six men in with swimming trunks with them on there. Yes, yes. Where are those pictures gone, Hannah says? I'll bring them in next time next for time. you, Hannah. Next time. <laughs> but Irene, it's always a pleasure to see you. you. Now, let me just re recap, right? So, the uh, these spec uh, mates we've got in stock. The, the fancy ones sold out. The golf one's about to sell out. The uh, needle thread was sold out today, but Stuart will have it on tomorrow. Uh, Irene won't be here, but they'll show a little clip. And uh, they'll be on pre-order. I'll just tell you. They'll be on pre-order from 7.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, and the um, elongated um, thingy. Very, very, very popular, that one. Well, especially when you see the size of the weight of what it can pick up. We'll try and pick up Stuart's purse with it later. That's always so packed with money. Five ninety-nine, not five ninety-nine. Yeah, all the moths, Anna says, yeah. She's so rude, Stuart. Don't take any notes of it. You put a t shirt on underneath your shirt, don't notice that. Oh, it's not kind of not notice. Thought it was your hairy chest. Five ninety-nine. <laughs> right, and then last but not least, the click up click click on like my words aren't working today, are they? <laughs> sleep. Sleep. Last but not least, the flexi light. Nineteen ninety-nine. Thank you. Irene, wave bye-bye in your camera. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Safe journey home. Indeed. See you at Festival Quilts. But you're doing another one before that, are you just saying? The end of June at the NEC also. Um, stitching. I, I just call it stitching. Oh, I don't know about that one. You run by that ICHF. One. Shall I give them a plug? No. International Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Irene, thank you. It's always a joy to see you. Uh, next, it's Stuart making the lovely, lovey dovey quilt. We're just going to show you the picture. He goes, you know, it's lovey dovey like that there it is there it is the lovely dovey quilt uh, Stuart's going to be making that after the break oh Irene's just wandered off uh, is that what I'm supposed uh, to do I'll see you and Stuart <laughs> what you're going the wrong way what, I didn't want to cut the four minutes I'll Stuart and I'll be back see you in four keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters for Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet, and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, 
They'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We have got the most gorgeous quilt for you now. It's using the Love Note fabric. It is just stunning. It is the Moda Lovey Dovey. Uh, look at the size, 72 by 72. It is gorgeous. The colours are, well, if you've got it on your bed, I was going to say the colours are just those tranquil colours, aren't they, that just want to send you to sleep. 179.99. <coughs> excuse me, three split payments of 59.99. Oh, before, before I go any further, before I open it or anything, Hannah wants me to tell you that elsewhere, and now we've had an American, American, we haven't found an English one, an American one. How much is it? 200, 230 dollars. Converts on today's rate to 182 pounds. Right, 182 pounds in America. We, if you're buying American, you have to pay duty on it coming through as well, aren't you? So, so already, we're already like four, a couple of pounds lower than that. No duties or anything like that, and 3.95 post and packaging. Oh, are you? Yay! Well, she didn't say that in the break, did she? No. 169.99. That's Hannah just being Hannah. 56.66 on split pay. Now remember, when you pay your split pay, you don't pay any interest whatsoever, and it is dispatched as soon as you've paid your first payment. You'd have to pay all three payments and then get it sent to you. <clears throat> Here's the box. Fantastic price and beautiful, beautiful quilt. There it is. It's basic. Well, Stuart will tell you, but it's basically nine blocks, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Right. I'm going to open it. And I'll show you now, we're having an upstairs camera fitted on this side soon, so I can't wait for that. Right, so in the box, you do get your full instructions, right? Full instructions there. The finished blocks are 20 inch squares. The finished quilt is 72 and a half by 72 and a half. <clears throat> Once you've made it out of this fabric, you've also got your materials needed, your fabric needed, and all the different sizes that you need to buy of the different fabrics. But this is the best bit. We open up. Oh, blimey. There's a lot of fabric it's in here. It's a big old watch of fabric, John. Isn't that? It's a big old quilt. Loads of fabric in here. Here we go. Oh, 
Well, that's nice. That's must be their equivalent of misty blue, must not it? Look. So I'm going to start at the bottom. So you've got your green solid. If you already checked out, you will pay the lower price. You will pay the lower price. So there's your green. Then this is white on white. This has got little love hearts on it. I don't know if you can see that from there. They're little love... They are hearts. Yeah, yeah, they're they little are. love hearts. They're little love hearts on the white. There's a lot of that. That must be your background fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. There's the same fabric in the green, so you can see that it's little love hearts on there. Then you've got your herringbone fabric. This is all... Oh, this is lovely. Mm, isn't that nice? It's gorgeous quality. Well, you don't yeah. expect anything less from mode of doing. So that's herringbone in stone. Then you've got your herringbone in the same green that you had your love hearts in a minute ago. Then look at all these. So you've got your heart, pink hearts on taupe. You've got pink hearts on apricot. You've got cream hearts on pink. You've got the lovely pinky terracotta herringbone. You've got the love hearts on green, that lovely green. Then you've got your broken stripes on apricot, dark or coral, I'd say. Broken stripes on the green. Then you've got these beautiful daisies, look, on the dark green, on the lighter green, and on the soft coral. And then you've got the big roses on the coral, the dark green, and the white. And then you've got the writing rose in bloom something deeper than gratitude um, on the green and on the white and on the ecru so you get all those fabrics plus your instructions 169.99 and 395 post and packaging if you haven't bought anything else today but remember posted packaging covers the whole day so it doesn't matter what you've bought how many items you bought it's still only three pound 95 from midnight last night to midnight tonight also don't forget if you buy today you do go into the May Day competition. All you have to do is buy something, and everybody who buys something today, their name will go into a hat, and then tomorrow, Stuart will be reading out the list of names, including today's, uh, of all the winners of the previous week. Message on the bottom. What a beautiful quilt. I'm glad to see the comedy duo back. 88, two fat ladies. <gasps> two, two fat ladies, T. Is that what you meant to put there? I wonder where that 88 came. That's me, 88 Two Fat Ladies. Hannah thought the same. <laughs> Didn't even cross Stuart's no, mind. He's pure, didn't. you see. Yeah, pure. I always had this on. Not that colour. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, I had it on earlier on. Oh, OK. I've sprayed, by the way. Oh. Safari. I can't smell it. Oh, you've gone heavier on that side than you have on that side. That's because it's further away from you. I'm going to sit down now. You, I've just, I've just watched the, 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 the other day on Facebook. It looked like she came over and kissed me. Me? <laughs> it just looked like you walked over and get like that. Very continental. That'll get photoshopped. That'll be on, on tabloids tomorrow. Listen, my friend Lucy Benjamin, you know my friend Lucy Benjamin, right? She went out with Phil, the actor that plays Phil Mitchell for, for many years. But anyway, I was reporting from the red carpet of We Will Rock You when I worked to this morning, right? And I went after the show, after the show, I was chatting to Lucy just on um, Tottenham Court Road. We were just standing, chatting. The next day in one of the tabloid newspaper, it was like, who is Lucy's mystery man, right? And they'd cut out, they'd cut out all the people around us and they just had me and her like this, right? Phil Mitchell will not be pleased. I was like, first of all, we've known each other since you, I worked with her when she was a little girl, but all, honestly, things could be taken so out of, um, did I was Phil, more offended. Did than Phil didn't. Mitchell hunt you down? No, because I went to a swim in his pool the next day. Oh. But, 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 I was more offended. They didn't know who I was. Mystery man indeed. I am not a miss. Well, I am. I'm a conundrum. Shall we go on and make it? It's gorgeous. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, you only made it. one then. Right, so. You only made one. <laughs> cheeky. Well, the deputy's been very busy. Has deputy she? Joan. Deputy Joan. Deputy Joan at the helm. Um, yeah, so I asked the deputy to make one of these blocks okay right. so what you've got is nine of these blocks and the sashing and the nine patches that make up your 72 inch square quilt but even one block looks spectacular Doesn't it? has in... she made that one wonky 
It's not wonky. It was hung wonky. I've now hung it straight. You are cheeky this morning. I know, because Deputy Joan just messaged in going, oh, I hope I haven't made that block wonky, or is it just the way it's Joan hanging? Joan knew it, she hadn't made it wonky. Yeah. No. Um, but that's one block. That's one that's block, That's one it? block. Yeah. That's one block, plus the sashing. Yeah. So imagine how beautiful the nine block quilt is going to be. And this is all piece. Now, I just want to make it clear, this is not foundation piece. Right. This is regular piecing. But just to reassure you, this is mostly stitch and flip. Right. So there's no templates. Everything's rotary cut. It's all strips and squares, the whole thing. Wow. And I'm going to piece the dove today, show you <laughs> how straight I'm going to piece the dove. Didn't that win the Eurovision Song Contest one year? I think it did. I think it did. I was about 11. Um, All right. Did you report on it in London <laughs> with your friend Lucy Benjamin? Yeah. And what's that loud noise? Oh, it's John dropping another name. Says he, who name drops every day of his life. <laughs> anyway, carry on. So um, you've got 16 little heart blocks around Aww. each dove. You've got this little star in the corner. I mean, it's really gorgeous. It is definitely something to take time over yes. and to enjoy all of that piecing. It, it, there's a lot of piecing. It's straightforward piecing. It's easy piecing, really. Uh -huh. um, so committed beginners, this one's for you. Intermediate and advanced sewers, yep. you're going to love it. Now, you're if gonna you're making it. this at home, yep. Would you make it block by block, or Absolutely. would you do all the swans and then all the love the hearts? What? Swans. <laughs> Don't rename this quilt, please. It's called Lovey Dovey. <laughs> Lovey Dovey. Lovey Dovey. Oh, sorry. They are doves. The dove of love. Yeah. Well, um, I think of swans like that. Do you? Yeah. Good. Anyway, keep moving. I was once pinned to a <laughs> bench by a swan. Were you indeed? It was in Scotland. It was about 30 years ago. Yeah. I won't give any more details. No. But, um... Wasn't it a rugby team, the swans? <laughs> Boom, boom. Anyway, carry on, carry on, carry on. <laughs> okay. So you wouldn't um, make the dove? No, one, one block. Make one block at a time. I would definitely recommend you make right. one block at a time. And order of piecing that Joan did, Joan made these heart blocks first of all, did the cornerstones, the nine patches next, and then worked on the dove block. Right. But really lovely to make. Um, and then we had a day in the studio together. I finally revealed the true identity of Deputy Joan. Yes, she is oh. only, it's a partial, it's yes, a partial. Yes, 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 yeah. For legal reasons, I can't show her entire face, jo oh, John. Oh, okay. she a wanted woman. I'm, I will say no more. Fine. I will say no more. She's shy. Um, mm. Not. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then I, I long arm quilted it and bound it. Um, you can quilt it yourself at home of course but I quilted this with swirls and hearts which I thought was very appropriate I'd, I'd make it and then send it to Amanda to look you, you, could don't, you don't do, long do that I don't do long you do it for no. pleasure don't you but I would send it to Amanda and get her to long it. can you quilt as you go as they're sashing in between uh, yes, you could, but what you would have to do is you'd have to put pieces of wadding in between as well. With standard quilt as you go, the joining strips are so narrow that the block butts up to the next right, block. Okay. So you would you would actually put a piece of batting behind the, the sashing strip as well. Yeah. But if you've got Wendy Orlando's quilt as you go instructions, she also shows you how to put wide sashing oh, okay. in as but well. But don't give it to children. Because they'll learn to look at the back. Don't and... let children memorise no. it because they will literally clean out your bank account. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. <laughs> right. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? And every block's different. So it's all pieced the same, but it's but it's almost a sort of scrappy project because you've got all oh, those different yes. fabrics. All the stars are different colours, aren't they? And the then stars the, the are hearts are all the different hearts. colours you go round. That's right. That's right. So let's I'll do a little bit of piecing, John. Okay. But shall we just kind of flip back and forth? Yeah, have the doves got different coloured wings then on? They yeah, have, they have. They? they have, they oh. have. And that's a good segue, John, because I'm going to actually start by piecing the wing. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. So when you cut it out, I'm going to get the instructions. Does it say cut three strips at so many inches? And let me have a look. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yes, it does, yeah. Okay, so I've cut out my strips, or in fact, 
Joan will be shouting at the TV now. I cut those strips yeah. out. <laughs> Joan cuts these strips out, although I have substituted. I wanted to use this little floral here. <gasps> so we're, we're going to start with the wing. Okay. So this is a nice, easy bit of piecing. Now, the strips in between are three quarters of an inch wide. Right. So they're not wide. They're only going to finish at a quarter of an inch. So definitely before you start piecing your dove slash swan, yeah. check your seam allowance, make sure you're sewing with a nice accurate seam allowance and you will be good to go. Now at every point as I'm making this, this wing, I'm going to finger press my okay. units. All right. So we'll pop the next one on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work from, from the top down, but I'm going to take it to the pressing mat just occasionally just to make sure everything's staying nice and flat nice and true lovely you want your edges to match up we don't want to start trimming blocks down we want them to piece to the right size lovely. so just just watch yourself as you're doing this try and stay on that straight and narrow path yeah. i know it's hard mm -hmm. not anymore so, no so a little bit of setting of seams you can't see him over there, he's under the graphics. Sorry. That's all right. Well, it's not great though, is it? Just disappearing like that. Well, we can hear you. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> we know you're still here. Oh, jolly good. Lovey dovey quilt. Lovey dovey. There's the block. There we go. So I've got my first little strip in place there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how it's going to piece down. It's going to piece down to a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to sew these next three pieces together and do exactly the same. Did you enjoy your biscuit earlier on? Did you have a biscuit earlier on? I had the gluten-free biscuits that Hayley, no, that Hayley bought and it was disgusting. Was it? <laughs> then I had a real-life Jaffa cake and I'm beginning to regret it. Oh dear. I'll be Did all right. They, does it make you gassy? <laughs> Tell me putting my secrets away. Yeah, I, I told you the story, didn't I? About every morning for my breakfast, I have a boiled egg and some cucumber in the dressing room, right? And Derek walked in the other day, you know, Derek who works on, on uh, gems, he on the overnight gems. And he came in, he saw me eating my egg and my cucumber, and he said, do you have that every day? And I said, yeah, why? Have you not seen me eat it before? He said, no, but I followed you into the dressing room the other day, and I thought, oh, John's got an upset tummy. <laughs> So now I'm convinced everybody in the building, if they go in the dressing room after, because we're, we're all in the same dressing room together, it's a bigger dressing room, they've gone and go, <laughs> oh, John's been in. Yeah. But did you hear about Ruth? Did you hear about 12 foot tall Ruth? No. I came in in the break the other day to get my biscuits, right? And, and my microphone pouch, and I was like, where have they gone? She'd thrown the microphone pouch in the makeup bag, they've got a big makeup bag. And I said, where are the biscuits? You're after them, in the, in the bin, they look mouldy. And then she couldn't believe what she'd done. She was mortified. So the next day, she thought, I'll go. She'd looked to the packet in the bin, seeing where they're from. So I'm going, I'll go via Tesco's on my way into work and buy him oh, some more. Oh, did she buy you more? No, because there was a crash on the Birmingham Road. Oh, no. She was stuck in yeah. traffic for an hour and a half. Oh, no. Trying to get me, so she didn't even get me biscuits. She was late for work and she couldn't get me biscuits. Was that because you'd thrown such a big diva strop? I didn't care. I just opened another packet. You didn't care. <laughs> Now then, I just want to show you. So I've pieced those together. Yeah. Um, but the the strip at the bottom is wider. Okay. Oh, so that's, when yeah. you piece it together, just make sure you get that wider strip at the bottom of your block. Why is it Why is it wider? Well, it's just to do with the the shape that you're creating. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the lower part of the wing. This is sort of in between the wing feathers. Those dark bits. Okay. So this is actually this piece here. Oh, okay okay that i'm making and i must admit john when i first looked at this block i thought foundation piece yeah yeah but i would but it's not. little beak and everything that's imagine, right yeah. but actually it, it would be it would be a faff to do it that way it's not necessary no. um it's done it's done question from alison lovely uh good morning john and stuart loving the show could the lovely dovey hand and uh, could it be hand stitched Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely hand stitch. You could definitely hand stitch it if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, it's no need take to take a long time. time wouldn't it would it? take a long time, but yeah. if you enjoy hand stitching, what's the, the, the Japanese lady that that hand stitches or say we've got the fabric, the Yoko Sato. Yeah, um, she hand stitches all hers. Doesn't she? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right then, so the next step is that I'm gonna put on the um, little triangle that right. goes over the edge. So, so where it looks like um, sort of very complicated piecing, templates, that kind of thing, it's actually literally just a square with a diagonal line drawn on it right. that you're going to lay over the top and then we're going to sew on that line. You just have to make sure you get it at the right corner, don't you? So you lay That's it down right. with, the, with the chubbier one at the bottom and then it goes on the left hand side. But it's all, in draw, it's all drawn in the um, instructions. It is, it? it is. Now just make sure when you're doing this um, that you use a centre needle position. Yeah rather than your quarter inch, um, just so that everything fits together nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not cut oh, my thread. Attached. There we go. Right, and then I'm just gonna press it. I just used a friction pen just to um, put the, the mark on there, that diagonal line. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do there, I've flipped it back. Now, top tip here, when you're doing stitch and flip, it's a really good idea to flip it back before you start trimming anything away. That okay. way you can line it up with, with what you've laid it on top of. If it's nice and square and true, then flip the corner out of the way and then you can just trim off that corner. Using your scissors rather than your rotary cutter? Definitely, it's much faster. Okay. It's Becky's watching, Becky Floor's watching with her mum Trudels. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh. Becky Trudels. We're just looking at your arm there, so that's fine. Uh, hi guys, loving the show. Is this quilt for beginners please from Alison in Anglesey? Well, I think it's definitely fair to say that if you are a committed beginner, I mean, you, you'd need to be a committed intermediate or an advanced quilter because this is definitely a quilt which is going to take some time to make you know there's lots and lots of piecing in the block mm -hmm. and um you know which is fabulous yeah. it's wonderful but it's not a quick quilt no but it, it's not a quick quilt but it's not a complicated quilt either. no it's not a complicated quilt either it really isn't so it if really you can isn't. a straight line we're saying you're, you're all right aren't we? exactly right exactly right yep Okay. Okay, lovely. We're just uh, we're just discussing uh, f future shows. Hannah's decided. Oh, that's lovely, that's right. excellent. Uh, so, so um, did you? Were you just looking at something then? Oh no, we're all right. We're just just the checking the pattern. Yeah, yeah. Just checking the pattern. Okay, right, so next step then, you need to sew on, you've got a strip of fabric which you're going to sew to the side. Right. Just trim that little bit off there. Okay, so that finishes off this edge of the block. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that my edges are matched up. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, actually, I'll pin from this side. What's that easier. blue thing on your desk? It's a little thread cutter that Irene has given to me. Oh, yeah. So you've got a thread cutter. Yeah. And I got this. <laughs> Lovely. Is that for when you're out partying? When you go to a rave club? <laughs> okay. A rave club. Sure I don't think rave... they're in clubs, are they, raves? They're more like in barns and warehouses. Oh, I don't know. You see, I never went to one. Oh, didn't you? No. You don't love it. No. No, Jenny Cleary used to tell me about them. Bang! Mm? Oh! <laughs> what? You said Jenny Cleary. In my brain, I saw Jenny the comedian with blonde hair. But you mean Jenny Cleary used to be on Jewelry, Jewelry. Maker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, she's having a lovely time in London, is Jenny Cleary. That was very Pavlov's dogs, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Clearing. Why did I start dribbling? No, it's just the way you suddenly shouted out. Jenny and Claire, I thought you, thought you, thought you said, Claire. when I went clubbing with Jenny and Claire, I was going to say, okay, Jenny though. Jenny and Claire, exactly. Message on our bottom for us. Lovely. Oh, can I have some graphics in, please? Thank you. Good morning to you both. Could you please say hello to my mum, Angela, who watches all the time in Kent, from John. Of course, of course. So who is it? John. Oh, no, hang on. John says, hello, mum, to Angela. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, of course. Good morning, Angela. Lovely. Oh, she did it. He did it much better than me. Oh, sorry. Hiya. Oh. <laughs> right then. So I've sewn that um, rectangle onto the edge there. Yeah. So I've created my wing unit. Okay. So there it is. Uh-huh. There's my little wing. Lovely. So I'll pop that to one side. 
Nice. Lovely. Now then, the instructions then take you through to the next step. So this is creating the lower part of the wing. Right. Okay. So to do that, let's grab down those pieces. I have to just make sure I get the right pieces. Here we go. I should not label them up properly oh, for you. Look. Lower, lower wing. wing thank Lovely. you and actually you may recognize these little from the sticky street calendar calendar exactly right I've joan was mine, most not. impressed by the oh uh, the see-throughness yeah and we all got one someone obviously nicked yours well you were allowed to take one you had to actually take oh, one get it if out you the wanted box. one you just had to get it yourself you had to get it yourself. At the beginning, admittedly, at the beginning, everyone in the office was just given theirs. What's uh, the matter? Oh, I'm just... <laughs> Joan, <laughs> we need to talk about cutting. Now, you know what? Because <laughs> Hannah said, oh, I thought that said wine on the label. So she's obviously written, low one cut out when I've drunk a lot of wine. <laughs> Let me just have a look and see. What's so that is shape V. So... Go on, message, while you're looking v. at that. Uh, I oh, have no, a rare Sunday me. morning on my Baby. own. I'll be at work and what a way to spend it watching John and Stuart, my dream team from Kath and Carlisle. Thank you, Kath, my lovely. Ah, always here for you. Well, that's a fib. You're not always here. We're not always here. You were in Scotland here. last weekend. I was what, sorry? You were in Scotland last I weekend. Was, I was, I oh, was. Oh, we've got more X picture. We'll Galloway. show more X picture as well, yeah. Yeah, I was in Dumfries and Galloway and it was fab. And I was teaching, um, one of the classes I did was the messenger bag from... Oh, well, that's um, what we're going to see, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but, but Mo wanted to make it as a backpack. Oh, OK. So she said to me, is that all right? And I was like, Mo, I'd be thrilled if you make it into a backpack and I'd love to see. So, so she did the most amazing job. Here the you most go. amazing job. Oh, we haven't got it yet. We haven't got it yet. Oh, and what oh, there it is. Here it is. Here it Morning, is. Bloy, boys. I want some matter to me today. Morning, boys. What a pleasure it was to meet Stuart last weekend. I enjoyed his talk and his bag making class. So many compliments about my rucksack. Hope you're visiting Dumfries again soon. Lots of love from Morak Mo. From Mo, lovely Mo. Yeah, brilliant. We had so much fun. It was ace. Oh. And I'm not going to Dumfries, but I am actually in Stirling. Oh, are you? In June. Oh, okay. For a retreat. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that. Brilliant. Right then. So next part of the wing. So we're going to be working on this, this unit right here. Lovely. Okay. So I've got my little square cut out, got a diagonal line drawn on it, got my background, and then I've got one more piece to add on this side. Lovely. So again, stitch and flip. Now just make sure when you put this on, yeah. he says, <laughs> put it in the right place. Note to self, yeah, get the diagonal going in the right way. Because yeah. once that's trimmed off, it needs to flip up that away. Okay. Now, little tip, when you're doing stitch and flip, especially yeah. with smaller units, I would recommend that you stitch a needle's width to the corner that you're going to stitch that you're going to stitch it towards. Right. Okay. Pat's messaging with a sad message. Morning, oh, John dear. and Stuart. My little dog passed away peacefully early this oh. morning. Thank goodness for your jolly chat helping me through the day. Lovely show, says Pat. June says, oh, June's feeling poorly again. Still in bed, but you two are really making me laugh. Such a tonic. And then Lo has got her telly on in her caravan park where she's parked up a motorhome thing. She said, someone's just come to the door and asked me why I'm watching Rainbow. So she said, they could only hear us, they couldn't see us. <laughs> Love it. Rainbow. Not quite sure who be who. John, I dreamt about you last night. Oh, switched off, switched off. What did oh, he say? Oh, I say. Nothing. Oh, I said doing. I thought he said doing naughty. No, nothing naughty, you'll be pleased to know from Norma. In Perth and Kinross. I want to know what it, what was I doing? Well, I want to know what you were doing. Yeah, nothing naughty. We know it was nothing naughty, but what actually, oh dear, sorry. What have you done? Oh, I'm making a mess of this. I blame Joan. <laughs> Let me do a kit roundup while Stuart's sorting himself out. Right, so this is the box, it'll all come in. It is beautiful, 169.99, half, over half the stock's gone already. Okay, now half the stock has been checked out, the other half are all in baskets. Now we don't know if it's really baskets or it's that weird thing that Hannah always has when she gets all these people. Okay, she's gonna test it, she says. I don't know okay. how. Okay. Don't know how she's gonna test it. Oh! <laughs> Stuart, look. 
Oh. That's oh. 20 pounds she's taken off in total now. Now. We more affordable than other places we found on the web, right? Right, 159.99 split pay of 53.33. Um, now, people who've got it in their baskets, if you all check out, it's gone. So now that we've reduced the price, more people are going to come in. So it'll be interesting to see who checks out and who doesn't. And if you've already checked out, if you checked out when it was at 179.99, you still get it for 159.99 because the money's not taken off your account until it goes through, until it's dispatched, basically. Okay, loads more people have added it into their basket. <laughs> you need to check out if you want it. It is beautiful, it's huge. It's 72 and a half by 72 and a half, um, or 72 by 72 of the quilt. All this fabric comes in there. You get the instructions for the lovey dovey. <clears throat> we saw it at $230, which is £182. Pounds. Uh, 159 now there's your instructions. It, oh, now that's a bit misleading, isn't it? Because it looks like there's only six blocks. Where? Show Look. me. Oh, I see. Well, well you so can it's just actually about nine see blocks. It that's what in. it looks like, yeah. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? They've only put six on the front of them. That's weird. That's suspicious. Right, people who had it in their baskets are now being overtaken. People are coming in, putting it in their baskets and checking out. So if you're so now we haven't got enough to go round now. So some of you will get when you go to check out will say, sorry, sold out. So please be careful. What you get fabric wise is this beautiful beautiful green it's like what, what the, the misty blue isn't it it's that lovely mm. green color funnily colour. enough they refer to it in the pattern as blue oh do they and joan and i both laughed about it and said you know it's not blue at all and i said well it's a bit like our misty, misty blue, blue yeah at sewing street yeah. we call that blue but it's green isn't yeah. it beautiful 159 times so you get that you get the love hearts on white you get the white love hearts on green you get the herringbone uh taupe on or beige on white you get the green herringbone then you get all these lovely fat quarters so you get your um pink hearts on taupe pink hearts on uh apricot white hearts on coral uh coral herringbone hearts of green broken line on coral broken line on green beautiful daisies on dark green middle green and pale apricot or coral then you've got your big roses on your pink on your green and your white and then you've got your writing on your green on your white and on your ecru 20 pound saving today now price goes up at midnight if they haven't all checked out remember oh no on the telly it looks sage green. No, yeah. I'd say this one was... Oh, yeah. I'd say this one was more of a sage. But, yeah, it's a pale sage. Mm. It is. It this is a pale sage. It? Look. Yeah. Gene. Yeah. I'd so say don't that was be more confused when it refers to blue. I would be don't confused. Don't be looking in your box thinking, where's the blue where's fabric? Where's the blue fabric? Although exactly. I totally get why you might think that. Yeah. Now then, I'm just making the next part of the body. Just to show Lovely. you where I'm up to. Yeah. So I've created the wing, the main part of the wing. Um, and then I've also pieced onto that the lower part of the wing yeah. and the side strip. Okay, so now I'm going to create the lower body. Okay, this is a nice easy piece of the the whole the whole dove. Uh -huh. So it's just a large square of white. Let's get a better pin. Let's get a pin that's sharp. Yeah. Definitely. I did that classic thing, though, that we all do. I put, put the blunt back pin in yeah. back in. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to sew on that line. Take the pin out now. Didn't really put it in with much purpose, I'm afraid. <laughs> but sew directly on the line. There we go. And then same thing again. Flip it back. Make sure that the fit is right. And if the fit's not right, you're not happy with the fit, You've got an opportunity. You haven't trimmed anything away. You can unpick. You can have another go. Yeah. And get it right. If you want, and I would recommend this, uh, you could always piece the block using some of your scraps first of all. Yes, have a practice. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> exactly. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. So this now is that sort of main body yeah. of the dove. Okay. So if I just refer to the dove itself. So now on air already, I've pieced all of this lower part of the dove. Lovely. Okay. And you can see, not difficult. Yeah. The thing I didn't do, which I should have done, 
Sewing on these small stitch and flip units, use a thread saver, a little scrap of fabric, run it through your machine first so that by the time it gets to the bit that you're sewing, it does, you know, the machine doesn't start yeah. gobbling it up. Right, then I'll pop that to one side. Hannah now, calls her as a donkey. A donkey, exactly. I think she got that from Wendy Orlando, but when she was hiding the she stitches from the children. She does call it a donkey, yeah. doesn't she? Right then, I'm going to piece together now the eye. Right. Okay. This is little, it's little bits, okay. So I'm just gonna pop this out of the way. So first of all, we've got our little green eye. Now it's only a three quarter of an inch square, so I'm definitely gonna be using Wendy's donkey. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna sew this to this, okay, first okay. job. Okay, so right sides together. And I'll pop the donkey through first of all. <laughs> donkey. I don't know where she got Let's that Let's just from. make sure we've got it on a quarter of an inch stitch. Yeah. Well, I don't know where donkey comes from, but it's quite fun, isn't it? And then we'll just line that up and carry on sewing. Hannah said, it's obvious, you lead a donkey. Right. A don yeah. What, you lead and the donkey follows? That's not always right. the case, Right, so the it? leader, because in America they talk, call it a leader and an ender. Oh, yes. I would have thought the leader was the person, not the donkey. Anyway, anyway. we digress. So, We're confused, yes. We are. So, so I've sewn that on. Yeah. So next up, and I like how the heart's right in the centre of the square. Perfect. That's quite cute. Um, I'm going to now sew this to the square and to the rectangle. Okay, so right sides together. Hopefully everything will fit together. I think it will. Oh, I haven't used my donkey. Oh, tough. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. There we go. So I've stitched through that. Let's sew the next little bit on. So the thing is, it's just slow and steady wins the race. Um, if you're making this for someone you love, what a lovely way to honour them. Yeah, it means you've still got to be with them in about a year's time when you finish it, though. Well, there is that. Well, you've heard about the, the curse of the boyfriend sweater, haven't you? Have you heard of that? No. So... Yeah. Well, is it a film? Is it a song? It's often talked about in knitting circles and it's the curse of the boyfriend sweater. And it's if you really want to ruin a relationship and guarantee that the boyfriend that you've got together that you're blissfully happily with will, will sling his hook, just knit him a sweater because you never finish the sweater and still be with the boy. He'll have gone. Yeah. <laughs> So it's the curse so if, of the if you've got one that you don't want to keep, knit think, I'm going to knit you a jumper, hope they'll leave. Yeah. Get the message, will you, mate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it's Not quite Not that we're fun. bitter and twisted. It's an urban myth. Oh, oh here we good. go. I think it's called a donkey because the donkey does all the hard work from ah, Jan. I like it, Jan. Like Apparently it, Jan. Jenny Raymond calls it a donkey as well. Does she? Yeah. yeah. But then she says a lot of things, doesn't she? She does. I once right. went onto her Facebook page, there was a picture of in like high leather platform boots, boots. and like little cami knickers and yes. tops. And she was at some retreat and she took all her clothes off, apparently. Yeah. Oh, and on the clarification oh, of Norma's dream. You were visiting my house with two others from Stone Street. I gave you hummus from the fridge. <laughs> it was out of date and you watched a red squirrel in the garden. <laughs> Now that's a dream and a half, isn't it? Living the dream. It's funny, I saw a red squirrel recently. What do you think of hummus? I love hummus, but not out of date. <laughs> no, because it goes fizzy, oh! doesn't it? You can actually feel it fizzing yes, on your yes. tongue. Ooh. Right then, so I just piece that together. This is little eye. Oh, Good no. Little eye, little magic eye. Yeah. Cute, isn't it? Right, so that's that. Next job, we're going to put a little square on the corner as a little stitch and flip unit. So you can see how this builds up. Yeah. None of this is hard stitching. I say committed beginner because there's lots of pieces. It'll take you time. But, yeah. But, you know, use baggies, use post-its. Be, be methodical. Yeah. Only do one block at a time. Yeah. And label everything as you go. But yeah. that advice, John, is the same whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced sewer. These are all good skills. 
Now, one of the things that I would have done ordinarily yeah. under normal circumstances, but I had run out, is I would have best pressed all my fabrics. Would you use lavender and vanilla or do you use scent free? I like lavender and vanilla. So we'll do that one first. Personally. It's back in stock. Oh, the issue with the graphic. Oh, there you go. Mary Ellen's best press for lavender and vanilla, eleven ninety nine. This will this will sell out very quickly. Eleven ninety nine. Hmm. What does best press do to the fabric then? <clears throat> it's a sizing alternative, so it's starch free. <laughs> extra large, extra large, small, small. Like that, you mean sizing? No, so Americans call it sizing yeah. rather than starching something. And um, it just adds a bit of extra firmness to your fabric and makes it easier to handle. Mm -hmm. So if it's small pieces, if it's fray fabric, if it's very fine fabric, you know, things yeah. like K-Facet, it's a lighter weight cotton. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you're working with a lot of bias edges yeah. on, on your block or on your fabric, it's also useful for controlling them. Yeah. And also when you buy fabric that's off the bolt, um, you often, well, you always have that rather definite and annoying crease the fold right down, down the yeah, middle yeah which and, can be an and absolute, sleeve and that sometimes can always be a devil so the thing to do is or if you've had fabric folded up in your drawer for years fat quarter bundles are another one yeah um give it a spritz just a light spritz with best press let it sit for a few minutes and then steam press it um and it will come out beautiful okay use on all fabrics no clogging no waste no flaking no residue no spotting makes ironing easier relaxes su stubborn wrinkles oh give me give me that bottle here now yeah uh, now i like this one safe for storage doesn't attract bugs that's nice to know isn't it, it is nice to know acid free and then guards fabric against soiling that's been, and also, if you're using a That's very, very... Against what? Soiling? Soiling, yeah. Oh, well, I do... We well, see, I starch my shirts yeah. when I wear them. And it's not because I want stiff shirts, but starching, like, the collar and cuffs repels dirt, Yeah, oh, doesn't right. it? So, well, I'm, I'm saying this to somebody who's a wardrobe well, yeah, mistress. Got, you know this better than me. Yeah, the thing is, on a film, right, white and white is always shown up white. So if they've got makeup on the collar, we just got to get some white chalk and colour it in. Oh, gosh, is that what you do? So, like, on Poirot's collars, you know, the little stiff collars you used yes. to wear. If you've got makeup here, yes. you just go in with some... While the film rather than them changing their collar all the time you go sure. in with chalk and do it How um, cool. anyway that's the that's the um lavender and vanilla i have also got it in scent free which is here very quickly show you that one very quickly well it's got a hole in the bottom that's why <laughs> 11 no, no. no yours won't yours won't you see this one just fell on the floor just before we started the show <laughs> Eleven ninety nine. Yeah, well, being mean to you today, aren't they? Did they, they say something rude? Well, just generally, I think. Was it's it Bruce? Generally, a bit, a bit unkind. Uh, wait till I'm, wait till I'm, we're on that tannoy at Festival of Quilts, Bruce, and you walk in. Oh, he's getting all oity toity now. Yeah, he's getting defensive because he's starting to worry now about the repercussions. Yeah, see. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Look, there he there is. There he is. Hello, you. It's like watching the Muppet Show, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, Hannah's now deliberately then. not looking towards the camera. She's just sitting there pretending she's producing. Okay. <laughs> so, let me just recap where I'm at, John. Yes, if you don't mind. Oh, here she goes. So, there's the wing unit. There's the front body. Yeah. Here. Now, all I did was, I've, I've, so I've sewn the little eye unit yeah. to a little rectangle of fabric. And then I'd made a half square triangle. Easy peasy. Yeah. Okay. That's so, that gonna... one's a half square triangle rather than a stitch and flip, that one. Yes. Yes, yep. that's just you, you, you actually, um, you just cut out the square, yep. you know, uh, two triangles rather, cut them down the middle so and good. piece them together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that part. Um, now, the only other thing that we need to make in terms of the actual dove is the beak unit. Right. So I'll do that last. Um, what, I've, what I've done actually, if I just come back here for a second, yeah. is um, in the actual block itself, you've got the star block that goes up in this corner, right. in this top corner. Uh -huh. And what we did was just for, for clarity six, I'm not making the star, is I've just cut a square that will Oh, okay, that would be there. the finished size of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So I'll just, I'll take that out for a second yeah. and we'll do the beak unit. Because this is another, just a, a very small unit, but nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. 
This so, is the bit I thought would have been foundation, because normally when you do little beaks and things like that, it's all done on the foundation paper, isn't it? That's right, that's right. But, you know, not, not necessary, uh -huh. not necessary. So um, what we've got here is a long rectangle of fabric for the side of the block, and then we've got a little square in this gorgeous little herringbone, which is going to create the beak. So I just need to draw a line on the back of it, corner to corner. And I'm using a friction pen for this. You could use a pencil, uh -huh. that would be fine, but my preference would be a mechanical pencil if you are going to use a pencil. Oh, yeah. So that the line remains very thin yeah. and consistent. So I'll just pop that in place. I'm going to grab my little uh, leader and stitch through. And then I will sew on that diagonal. Okay. All nice and easy. Have you sewn the instructions instead of the fabric? Oh, she's laughing. It's more ag. Thinks she thinks this bit's part of the instructions. <laughs> it's cute though, isn't it? I love any fabric with writing on it. I've got a particular love of kind of script fabrics. Uh huh. The girls in the mills in Leek used to call it a donkey. Sadly, all the mills are now gone. Oh. There is still in in some areas there is still a sort of thriving um textile industry yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. when i wrote my first book i one of my chapters i did in conjunction with abraham moon right who are in um yorkshire yeah 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 and um they were just expanding their their facility by about 40 percent they wow. were extending it and while i was there john it was so wonderful it felt it was a real privilege and they brought me a ledger off the shelf yeah. while we were having our meeting and uh, leather bound ledger and they said we think you might find this interesting so have a flick through it they said well it should be in a museum really for people to pour over and enjoy and it was little rectangles of fabric pasted into neatly drawn columns all through the book and then little sort of fine spidery inked writing next to it what this sample was and the oh. date and technicalities about it but I mean, about 30 pages in, you had got samples of wool that was used for uniforms in the First World War. Oh, wow. And then you go right to the back of it and you find samples of tweed, which they wove to do reupholstery in the White House. Oh, my God. While goodness. President Obama yeah. was there. So, um, you know, there are some areas of the British, te British textiles mm -hmm. industry which are really thriving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the things we've always done very well in this country is wool. And it's really funny because when you watch Escape to the Country, they mm -hmm. always, about three quarters of the way through, Nicky Chapman goes off to like a hat maker or something like that <laughs> but they do they often go to a lot of mills and things like that and there's one there's a denim one in Yorkshire which is young entrepreneurs have decided that they're going to take over this or they have taken over this, and they make their own denim and then they've got a factory to make your jeans and everything like that and it was just fascinating is that Hebtro Co yes that's yeah. it yeah oh yeah. brilliant guys yeah, yeah in Hebden Bridge yeah. yeah really cool again it's that sort of same part of Yorkshire yeah it's the vast running that, water yeah and it's the woolen industry yeah. that was there and you know it's still it's still where a lot of the UK yarn companies mm -hmm. are so Stylecraft is also who I work oh, with okay. is based over in that part of Yorkshire yeah Okay, so I've done the beak unit. See, nothing complicated about doing that. Easy peasy. Um, and then it's literally a case of just sewing a few. There's a strip that goes across the bottom of the block there. Uh, there's another strip which will go across the top and then your star block fits in there Brilliant. and there's, a, there's an order to putting it together but none of this is difficult sewing it all comes from squares and rectangles you don't even cut a triangle perfect right Jean said I knitted my boyfriend a sweater and I married him oh well done you broke the curse yeah oh, that would be a long time ago curse. lovely show boys enjoying whilst I turned through a hundred bunting flags how much bunting have you sewn? 150 metres. 
and I almost gave up the will to live <laughs> while I was doing it. Oh. But I can't tell you how quickly that last lot of bunting went through the machine. Oh, I can imagine. It was pedal to the metal, I'm telling you. And what are you decorating, the farm or the house? No, it's actually for the village. Oh, you're better than I am. It's I did for it for my house and that was yeah. it. Yeah, no, it's for the village. Because actually, Charlie and I are having a barbecue at the farm. Oh, are on, you? On, on the actual... my invitation in the post then? It's just the two of us. Oh. It's just the two of us. Oh, no, it's not that bit down at the bottom. Yeah. The romantic yeah. bit. Okay, fine. And what day is On that? On the wings of love. Oh, oh dear, the two of us. Uh, not me. I'm not invited. Uh, what day is that then? What day are you doing that then? You're not turning up, No, no, John I think Scott. I'm here. No, 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 I think I'm here. That's it's on the actual Sunday, the 5th. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you'll be waving your flags. and You know, one of my proudest things I ever sewed was a block that went into a quilt that was given to Her Majesty the Queen on her 90th birthday. Oh. And it was taken to Buckingham Palace and given to one of her ladies-in-waiting. Who will have been in their bedroom, back bedroom Well, I'm right rather now. hoping that, that, that Her Majesty has it over her knees at Windsor, because I know... Well, she might that, do. Yeah, she does have blankets and quilts yeah. and the hot water bottles. Do you know you Hannah know. used to work at Buckingham Palace? I did know that. And did you know she took up? milk float over a piece of grass that nobody's walked on since set 1474 and she drove her milk float over it well it and doesn't surprise me margaret sent me a picture of the day of the queen getting into a golf buggy this week right to oh. be, and she went oh look where's hannah so i forwarded <laughs> hannah going hannah they're waiting for you i thought that was very funny uh, jean has been married for 39 this years is the jumper still going jean oh well, that's uh, and lovely then there's a steam mill in columpton they made all the putties for First World War. Yeah. Oh, and the billiard and tennis ball cloth is made in Stroud. Fabulous. It's in Fiona. Yeah. Fabulous, yeah. Bays. Isn't That's it, it Bays. Green yeah. Bays. Right, anything else to say before I do my round up, Stuart? Well, I was just going to grab this down and just show you the quilting, really. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me just... Also, are the hearts done stitch and flip as well? Uh, they are, they are. And I mean, literally, yeah, let me just show you that. So the hearts, it is, you cut Ooh, out a rectangle. Run a yeah. You cut out a rectangle of your heart fabric and then three tr uh, squares. And you stitch and flip, stitch and flip, stitch and flip. Right. And then you make a the mirror half, image yeah. and then you sew the two together and that's your heart. So that's nice and easy. If you've never done stitch and flip before, I'd start with the heart blocks. Yep. Exactly the same for the little star that goes up in the corner. It is a rectangle of green fabric, two little squares. Again, use your leader and ender. Yeah. So if you have two, put one through as you start, one through as you finish, and then snip everything off, just leaving the ender under your machine. Uh -huh. And Which then you're ready the to go. Yeah. That's right. Um, and, then, and then that's really it. You sew the whole block together, sew the hearts around. Now, of course, to make sure everything fits neatly, and obviously adding a pieced border to a pieced block, you want everything to fit. This is all about making sure your seam allowance is an accurate quarter of an inch. Now, one of the best take homes I'd like to think for my students last weekend in Scotland yeah. on our patchwork piecing day was I got everyone to cut out three rectangles of fabric, two and a half inches wide by four and a half inches long, three of them, just yeah. from scrap fabric. And you sew two of them side to side like a number 11, okay? And press it. And then your third piece, you fit on top of the number 11 going straight across. Right. Now it should fit exactly. Right. If there's an overhang of that top piece, it means that your seam allowance is too big, You've taken all the fabric in too far, which means the piece you're trying to add is too long. So your seam allowance needs to be a bit bigger. If your top bar is too short, then your seam allowance is too small and you need to make it a tiny bit bigger. I promise you, if you do, in fact, everyone did that in my class. Everyone made a slight adjustment to their seam allowance. They moved their needle over a bit using their stitch width adjustment yeah, yeah. or they move where they place their fabric just a little everybody got a more accurate block when they came to do their actual How sewing brilliant. so so don't be afraid and there were people in the class who've been patchworking for 20 30 years it's just it's just a reminder to yourself that accuracy is really 
a friend. Mm -hmm. It's our friend because mm -hmm. everything's going to fit together beautifully. Okay. And what we can tell me about the quilting? Just the quilting. So if you wanted to free motion quilt this or some other ideas for quilting that you could do. Um, so I would definitely, if I was just quilting this on a domestic sewing machine, I would quilt around the outside edge of the dove. Right. Okay. And I'd probably go in and out in between the wings as well. That will make the dove really pop. I'd also do the same thing around the star block. I'd stitch around the star itself. Again, that will make the star pop. And then what you could do is you could just stitch around the outside of this block. That would be enough. That mm -hmm. will hold it together. Um, but you could also do like a sort of a small little vermicelli wiggle in the background to flatten the background. That will really make the, the dove pop. You could even, if you wanted to, trapunto the oh, dove. Wow. So to do that, just an extra piece of batting behind the dove. When you stitch around the outside edge, okay, then you're going to trim away. So before you layer it, you put a piece of batting behind the dove, you sew around the outside of the dove, and then you trim the batting back as close to your stitching as you can get yeah. it. Then you do that on every dove, then layer up the whole thing with your whole batting, yeah. and then you're gonna stitch around the dove again. And, and that that's got a double, double layer, layer. Perfect. Perfect. really pop. I've got really a quick pop. question for you here, yep. or comment. Across the bottom. Uh, what does it say? Hi, John and Stuart. Trying to find info on Stuart's visit to Sterling. I'd love to be part of it from Jill. Oh, thank you, Jill. Well, Jill, what it is, it's, um, it's a retreat organised by, I think it's Region... I know I'm going to get it wrong if I say it. I'm going to say Region 3, and I'm not sure it is Region 3. But anyway, that do Sterling and cover that area. So the best thing to do is have a look on the Quilters Guild website, find the coordinator's number that covers that part of Scotland, Stirling, Dumfries and Galloway yeah, around yeah. there. Give them a call. I'm giving a talk on the Friday evening. I don't know if you can get tickets for it. I don't know if the whole thing's just sold out, yeah. but get in touch. And so they go to the Quilters. Great to have you there. The Quilters Guild website. Quilters Guild website. Go and have a look on there, Jill. Yeah. Lovely. And when's that? In June, do you say? It is June. It, um... I can't tell you off the top of my head. So many things going on in his life. I anyway, you'll be back tomorrow because you're presenting tomorrow, aren't you? I am. You got the needle threaders tomorrow. And, and super important, we're launching Brother Sewing Machines on Sewing Street tomorrow with um, Tracy Dennis, who is an old. But you've also got mine. another pre uh, premiere tomorrow. You've got a debut book. I'm going to. It's, there's a debut book tomorrow and it looks amazing. I saw just a quick glimpse of it earlier. Yes. So it's a good show tomorrow. Really Not that today hasn't been good or anything, but you know. And we're not going yet because I've still got another hour with Amanda, but you have to go now because it's five past. Okay. Thank you, Stuart, as You're always. Um, remember, I'll just do a recap here. 159.99 should be 179.99. There's more people got it in their basket than we've got stock of. If you don't check out before midnight, it goes back up to 179.99. How many not checked out? Seven. Right, there's way more than seven got in the basket, but there are seven still available for you if you want that. 72 inches by 72 inches. Beautiful fabric. It's called the Lovey Dovey. Lovey Dovey. And if you did check out when it was 179.99, you still only pay 159.99. Right, after break, Amanda's back's never ending, isn't it? We're doing this, and that's William Morris. They're the, it's a, you haven't had it before, I don't think. The William Morris design roll, jelly roll from Mojo. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I've got some of Amanda's past ones, and I've got, what's the other one called? What's the one? Nosegay, Nosegay coming up as well. I'll see you back here in four. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our 
expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. More quilting, more quilting. Oh, you can just see the edge of it there. This is gorgeous. Now, we had with Susie the other day, we we had this um, fabric right this is the moda have done a collection of what they think are the best of the william morris i can't get into this one the best of the william morris designs there you go i'm in i'm in yeah look at this we i love this right so we had the 10 inch squares on friday um today we've got the jelly roll now it's absolutely beautiful now the thing is if you make this this is the bundle right i'll tell you about the bundle before i open it so you get the instructions you get one and a half meters of the, that looks like ivory, but I'll double check in a second. 
Then you also get half a metre of... Now, that looks like it's got a text. That's a texture, isn't it? It's like a shot. Circuit. This isn't our normal claret. This isn't claret from the Rose and Hubble collection. Because if you look at it, it's got slubs in it and things. It's beautiful. Look. Yeah, you go. It's claret. It's shot as a mixer. Uh, it must be new because also, look at the width. Hang on. The other one's Rose and Hubble, is it? Cream. This is 60 inches wide. This is 60 inches wide. It's new. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. It's shot. So that means, it means that the um, weft is red. Uh, well, no, the two different colours, right? You have the one, the up and down. The warp is black and the weft is red. So if you can see that there. So that's your, that's your weft going across from right to left. And then you can see your warp there going orp is black. So it's like a sh so got a, like a zoot suit fabric. Yeah, it's lovely. Shot taffetas. I used to make my mum ball gowns out of shot taffetas all the time. Oh yeah, it's quilting weight cotton. So it's it's made exactly the same way as not. So this will be cream going that way and cream going that way. Or is this the same as well? Hang on, no, this is different as well. That's normal, but that's your normal rose number. So the way they make that is they weave it with cream going that way and cream going that way right and that makes it all cream this one same weight same everything but instead of being cream one way uh, red instead of it being all red or all black it's red that way and black up and down that way gives that lovely shop fabric uh, shop finish and then the little slubs are in there because they haven't refined the, the, the threads right down so you get the odd little natural slub in there it's beautiful beautiful that right and then you get this as well as the instructions for 74.99 now don't open it, John. They said, I don't care. I'm opening it. <laughs> I love this, right? Look. So in here, these are two and a half inch strips, 44 inches in length, right? So you get the Strawberry Thief in blue. You get the, uh, is that Golden Lily or is that? Oh, no, that's still, there you go. There's the Willow in blue. Then you get this one here, which is Iris. Oh, can you see I'm at the wrong angle? There you go, Iris in blue. Then you've got Honeysuckle in the blues. Then you get Honeysuckle with the dark background. Then you get the, um, now is that one called Culloden, that one? Let me have a look. No, that's, that, there again, that's um, Strawberry Thief again. Then you've got Iris in the paler colors. Aren't they just, look at that Honeysuckle one there. Look. So for the size that's behind hang, hanging on the wall, you only use 21 of these strips, you only use half of these strips. You can make it bigger, but you'd need to buy more background fabric. Aren't they just beautiful? Look, that's Culloden, I think, that one, isn't it, there? Oh, look at that honeysuckle on red. Then you've got your silhouette on red. Then you've got your, oh, look. It's just beautiful. Then you've got your willow on black. Look, Strawberry Thief, I've not seen the Strawberry Thief in pink and black before. It's nice, isn't it? Then you've got the honeysuckle on black. Look at that, so dramatic. That's Strawberry Thief in the green. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you do get 42, is it all 40 strips in there? Hang on, I'll tell you now. 40 strips in there. What's the matter? No, I thought there was 42 in there. No, 40 there, 40, 40, 40, 40. Beautiful. I mean, even if you don't use this, I mean, they're just gorgeous. They're stunning. So the whole bundle, so I'll just do it again. A metre and a half of your cream, half a metre of your shot, red, shot, black and red shot, instructions and the design or jelly roll for $74.99. Now, like I say, if you see the quilt that's hanging behind Amanda, you can make that out of this bundle, right? But if you want to make it bigger, you're only using half of the jelly roll. You just need to buy more of the cream. And the cream is just our ordinary cream, isn't it? Normal cream from the stock. So do that if you want to, it's beautiful, right? So now, I've also got other bundles here. So before we go to Amanda to do demonstration, let me go through everything that we've got available here. We've got the pattern on its own for that one, which has been going very, very well which is there. It says in great big letters on the back, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> not subtle at all. <laughs> 9.99 is that pattern. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Very, very popular. Oscillating lines, that one's called. Now, the day we launched this, 
we also launched another one which I absolutely adored and it's called the concentric squares quilt and that's this one here again using a jelly roll that wasn't was it? the whole jelly roll that yes. was a whole jelly roll in fact did we not have to it's what that's about to sell out about to sell out was it the jelly roll plus um, a couple two, uh, two uh, strips two other strips of another color yeah so that's just the pattern on its own 9.99 it's lovely isn't it? I love that one uh, what size is that one hang on I'll tell you that's in the inside page that one's 62 by 62 now another kit now these are going to sell out this is beautiful look oh look at this how beautiful is this now I've got a bundle not in that colorway but in the blue colorway which is here so what you get in your bundle is you get your instructions is this a modern version of nosegay is it your own version of it it's just slightly tweaked um the i've put the pin wheels in normally it would be a half square triangle oh, so that right. it would look like the um you know sort of the hand yes 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 like a bouquet bit. yes 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 so i've just tweaked that and turned it into it's beautiful i love the way because i love it that you can do straight lines and when it's made into a quilt it looks like you've That's got circles movement, going and everything yeah. yeah so you get your buying your bundle you get your instructions then you get half a meter of your this is, is this dan morris oh yeah Dan Morris. half a meter one meter one and a half meters and one and a half meters so in this pattern that's obviously your background and then it's just did they you're just your three main colors so, in yeah, there i they? would perhaps use the darker blue in place of the um uh, sort of fuchsia magenta Th this one yeah. th this color here yeah, yeah. and then um, and then the green, the green one for green as the pinwheels right and, the and then the blue as, as the, rest. the yeah beautiful that looked gorgeous mm -hmm. that looked very very fresh did you make have you made that colorway or not I've not i didn't know that that colorway existed until i first did showed it? the quilt oh, that's lovely it's beautiful isn't like it what sea. date did we do it on hannah she'll just look it up for us 30th of april 30th of april was there if you want to see amanda making that but very very limited at 59.99 the finish size of that one is uh, oh uh 45 by 63 45 by 63 that one at fifth for 59.99 now i've got a couple of other patterns i'll just go through quickly if that's all right amanda yeah. uh do we have we got any um oh sorry no scale on its own let's go on its own handful of those left now we had this conversation the other day is the big handful or a little handful we she's got very small hands as Hannah not many okay now anyway you'd like to go next log cabin now beautiful there you go log cabin quilt and cushion now this one is uh, 60 by 72 that's a nice big size that one there is actually if they cut really carefully they could squeeze two cushion fronts from the scrap you know sort of the, the fabric so if you buy the fabric for it obviously this is just the bundle so yeah. buy what fabric it says them you could also get definitely one but maybe, maybe two. two you just have to do an eighth of an inch just to avoid the salvage perhaps. oh okay beautiful 9.99 what date was that one done on I could have done with this last week because I made my oh it's not here it's over there I made a log cap in the other day oh, right. but they haven't Thirtieth of April as well. Um, there's a Rebecca Reed launched last week a panel they can buy and everyone makes a quilt a block out of it yeah. and sends the block in and then the top is it ten or twelve twelve get chosen put in a quilt. In fact, you'll end up being making it. I'm sure <laughs> <coughs> they go and it hangs at festival of quilts oh, and those twelve people also get a hundred pounds of credit yeah. added to their. Um, I don't know how many she's had in so far. Ours aren't allowed to go in. She's got mine. She's done two herself and Paul did two as well. Right, okay, so that's that one. Pulse doesn't count because it's glued. <laughs> yeah, I said that. I said that. And then Yeah. Now this one. I'll talk about that in a minute. This one here, I wasn't in for this one. It's gorgeous. The triple French braids, $9.99. Now, if you buy this one, 
There's only 10 left of these, right? There's only 10 left. Inside it, there's a voucher. Which has got a code on it, right? It's just in this one. But you get a code. And what do you get? 25%. 25% off your next uh, lot. So if you make it and send it off to a man to have it long-armed, quote that code on there and you'll get 25% off. Oh, it doesn't need to be this quilt. No, it can be. But, but no, quilt. okay, okay. So you you have to buy this pattern for it to come to in, get the voucher. right? So so you buy this pattern, and you could have bought any of these and sent to Amanda, and you'll get twenty five percent off. Or any quilt that they've got. It doesn't necessarily need. Doesn't to have to be one of yours. Just if they want a quilt quilting. Uh, What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'd say it has to be one of mine. <laughs> So, so, so the one that Stuart just made, have you made that they one that Stuart just it, made? Yeah. Send it to you, because I said send it to you anyway yeah. to have it longer. But if you've got, if you've bought this pattern, now you see, I'd buy the pattern, no no offence, right? No, I'd oh buy yeah. the pattern just for the voucher. And I'd use it against a big quilt as well. And then do a great big quilt and get 25% <laughs> yeah. off a big quilt, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now the other thing is you do, I mean, it's like you're very busy at the moment, but you do long arm quilting, but you always look after sewing street customers, don't you? If somebody do, says yes, yeah. If, if, if it's your first concept, quilt, yeah. if it's your first yes, quilt, you'll be yeah. looked after. Yeah, you'll get 10% off. I wasn't going to say it just in case it wasn't standard anymore. 10% <laughs> um, off for a new customer. And right. I also do a loyalty scheme um, by where if you send me 12 quilts over a course of time, it can be, you know, if you, you fast over yeah, yeah. 12 weeks, if not 12 months or, or longer than that. Yeah. And the 13th quilt, um, up to a certain size, um, I'll quilt for free. Um, oh, so, for, so like buy 12, get one for free. For, yeah. you know, now, and maybe I shouldn't say this, but if you're a quilting group, would it work if you're a quilting group? Um, and I, one, I do tend to keep a note of everyone, okay. so it would be an individual. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. But, but, yeah, but, yeah, I, I suppose yeah, but if I had a quilting group, I'd just put all my name on. <laughs> but then you'll go, this one's sewn very differently to that one you read to tell. Yeah. Um, but that, that, that's fantastic. And there was something else. What did you say, Han? There was something else. No, no, right, no, you don't get 10% off your first quilt and the 25% no, off. It's one, it's or one or either or. So if you don't buy this, but it's your first quilt, you'll still get 10% off. But if you buy this, you'll get 25% off any quilt you want. So that's if that, even if they're a regular customer. Yes. Like yeah. Jane could pop round to yours with yeah. that, couldn't she? And get it 25% yeah. off. So that 10% is if you're a new customer. 25% off is if you've bought this bun, this, this pattern. And then the tw buy 12, get 13 for free to a certain size in negotiation. Yeah. Uh, that's for anybody, isn't it? Obviously, because yes, they've done yeah. 12. But not group, not quilting groups, because she'll know. <laughs> right, okay, she'll know. Let's get back to today. Right, the only other thing I want to tell you about today is I've got this bundle, but if you want to do a navy blue um, binding instead of the red binding, then we've just got navy blue cotton here by the half meter. You just need half a meter, don't yes, you? Yeah. It's not part of the deal, it's just 379. If you didn't want to use the shot red, and wanted navy blue, then that's at 3.79 for the half metre. But the main star of the show, sorry, Han. Yeah, the bundle here. So the bundle, you get the instructions, which are selling well on their own. A third of this bundle's gone already. Uh, you get this beautiful, beautiful. So Mode have taken their favourites of the William Morris collection and put them together. Now it's not available on its own, this design roll, this jelly roll, it's only available in this bundle. Plus you get half a meter of the shot, 60 inch wide shot red cotton, and you get a meter and a half of your cream. That's a good deal, isn't it? Right, should we make, should we do some sewing? Yeah. Do you need my help or should I just sit down and be quiet on this one? <laughs> um, no, I'll sit down. <laughs> I can take a hint. Right, it's okay. not difficult though, is it's, it? Again, it's another really easy quilt, um, perhaps even easier than the previous one. Right. Because um, you could just open your jelly roll and pick your favourite 21 uh, fabrics. Um, and I've, I've just actually gone with, you know, sort of, I opened the, the jelly roll blue. I've, I've gone in order. Right, you know. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just need to tell you the nosegay quilt sold out. The nosegay pattern is sold out and the French braid is about to sell out. Just so you know. Was that it? Was there one more? That was my update. Sorry. Okay. 
So we've selected 21 of our favourite jelly roll strips uh -huh. and we're going to cut each jelly roll strip into four segments. You've got a choice here now. So what I've done, um, just to keep it a bit more interesting and, and sort of make your eye go from, from side to side, I've gone blue through you sort of the, the, the greens. Yeah. And then come back blue through the greens. Oh, okay. But if, if you preferred, you could do blue, 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 all the way through to green. Yeah. Um, so just decide on the layout if you're going to go all blue or if you're going to go as I have and, you know, sort of alternate. Um, or you could, you could do it so it's blue, like do that, and then do the same as that underneath it so you've got your blues running through down that way yes yeah, yeah. um what did you say that already i think i thought that was what i said but okay no 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 because on this one you've got blue going through and then you've gone blue going back that yeah. way if you did um all blue starting at that end yeah. and finishing it's sort of a color wash yes color wash going yeah, like that that's, yeah yeah Okay, I'll sit down and be quiet. So, uh, we cut our jelly roll strips, each strip, into uh, four segments. And we also go through with our background fabric and cut that. All, all the measurements are in the pattern for you, uh -huh. into segments. And what we need to do is just add on... Am I in the right place there? Is that okay? We'll have a look. Oh, yeah, you're in, yeah. you're in that yeah. right place there. We're just going to go through all 21 in a row and we'll just add on the first background rectangle to each strip. Oh, so you do... I'll, I'll just do it on, on mass. So if, if you imagine all 21 strips are sewn, uh, are, are laid out. Yeah. And then I'll just add on a background... The first cream one. Yeah, the first cream one to the bottom of all of them. Okay. And we'll just repeat that. Um, three times over. Oh, okay. So to start with, they're not going to look like zigzag. No, they'll just look like look strips. Like, yes, of just, course. Yeah, just yeah. As, as that one is, just a, yeah. a strip. So we'll do that first. Are all the cream pieces the same size at this they point? They are at this point, And all the yeah. coloured ones, the, the pattern yes, ones, are the same yeah, size? Yeah, Oh, so there's no, none of that sitting there going, oh, was that meant no, to go by it's, that? It's, it's literally really, yeah, pattern, nice plain, quick, pattern yeah, plain, pattern yeah. plain, pattern yeah. plain. So pop a pin in, or if, if you prefer not to pin, um, I'll just pop a pin in just to keep them together. Mm -hmm. And right. So just quarter of an inch seam. Oops. And I would chain piece them so it really yeah. does become quite quick to put this quilt together. Do you use a header or a donkey or a leader? Um, I, I do tend to, yeah. Um, especially because of the, the thread trim yes. uh, feature. Sometimes that first stitch not fully made. Oh, okay. Um, but if, yeah, if you've used you, sort of a... And what do you call yours? I'd call it a leader or an ender, but I okay. have heard it called, called a donkey. Yeah. But yeah, I usually do. Plus it saves thread as well. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, in the long run it does, but you kind of think, oh, it can't be because I'm sewing yeah. across a, a leader or a head or yeah. a donkey, and you, but it actually saves thread, exactly. Yeah. Um, but they are quite nice. I don't know. <laughs> you know, so if you've sewn through it that many yeah. times, I don't know, there's just something quite... You don't keep them. Tell me you don't keep them. I don't keep, keep them. them, but I do quite like them. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Um, <laughs> Right, so at this point, I'll bring the iron over. Doesn't matter. Um, Did you not use your header? No, that's, that, that's another thing, isn't it? Without using the leader or the ender, you can sometimes get a bit of a bird's nest. Yeah. And if you've used the thread trimmer, you've got no thread to just grab hold yeah, of. And pull to, it through, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to press those. Is it not on? Uh, no, it's no. there on the floor. Sorry. No, it's all right. So the bundle, seventy-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. You get half meter of the red, one and a half of the cream, and that beautiful design roll, and you also get the instructions. And lots of these have flown out. It's coming through now. So we just press them flat first, and I'm going to press um, the seams towards the patterned fabric mm -hmm. just so we don't get any nasty shadows showing through on the background fabric. 
but you could you could pick um, a beige, uh, back in fabric with a William Morris. I think it would lend itself to a few colours, not just sort of. Oh a, yes, definitely. You could maybe definitely. not a pure white, but some off white. Beige. But you know what you could do if you're only using half of the design roll, you could make a double sided quilt you could use because it you've back, used yeah. you've used all your cream on this side yeah. to make this side but you could do a completely different yes have like a spring and an autumn yeah version, yeah, yeah yeah so you could do that the yeah. colors on the different colors on the back or you could do the stripes going in a different direction on the back yeah. or just have a few stripes in the middle or, or nine patches in the yeah. middle of it and all things like that so your back matches your front so you could yeah. flip it over yeah you need to buy the fabric but you don't need a couple of meters wouldn't you so um we go through we would repeat that three times over so uh, all 21 three times over just to add on that first okay. strip yeah and we then need to just um join them into a long row so i've got the red and then sort of the you know, khaki green so i'm just going to then add on actually i'll sew these two together first so we'll just put those end to end And again, this can all be done, you know, sort of uh, strip paste style. So a bit of story here. Bruce's wife has gone to visit her auntie today. The auntie's never watched Sewing Street before. So she, they put it on. As they switched on, there was Bruce going like this in his little cupboard. And he was more offended. He was more in this, in this cupboard here. Look, there he is. He's more offended that the state-of-the-art technology room had been called a cupboard. It's bigger than most galleries, that one, isn't it? Okay. So we just go through and join them into... Um, I'm, I'm going to alternate. So I've got red, khaki, red, khaki. Okay. It's just going to become a little bit long now uh -huh. for the table. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, she's going, still going on about it being a cupboard. <laughs> That's where uh, Philip Schofield started, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. The, uh, the, the broom cupboard, yeah. Okay. Right, is it warmed up now? It should be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you see, look how you, I would just put, shove my hand on the iron. Would you? I'm like, oh, it's on now. <laughs> it's really funny because I'm so used to um, demonstrating the lovely Beldre irons here that we've got in the steam shooting out. I did some ironing yesterday and I was like, oh, this iron's rubbish. I haven't got a Beldre, I've got a, a different make that I got from the Long River before. And um, I realised how good the steam on our Beldre ones really are. Yeah, we've got really hard water where we live. Oh yeah. So irons don't last long. No. It's, uh, but it would be nice to have the one, you know, the ones you get at college that are you sort of plugged in and constant steam. Oh yeah, 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 with the yeah. sucky um, ironing boards. Oh yeah. Bits. Oh, that was posh. We didn't have one of those. <laughs> okay. So we've got our strip. If we just ignore this one for the time being. Right but we've got our strip now joined. So red, background, green, background, red, background, green, background. And they're all the they're all of the coloured, the patterned ones are the same length, all the cream ones are the same they length. They are, yes. Are. Right. So we've got... Where's that Now, one? where are you? <laughs> right. Yeah, do you want the step ladder? <laughs> we've got that one um, yeah. at the moment. Okay. Um, so... Where are we? Okay. So what we need to do now is, I've just got some Get all your here. other strips. Yeah, the other strips here. I just happen to have. Yeah, which are just a little bit tangled up. Are they stitched together? I've, because I've chain pieced. Oh, um, of course, I've yeah. just, um, yeah. yeah, kept them. Still attached. Still attached. It was just easier to transport like that. And I've not pressed them either, so. Um, so the first one, and I have already put some of the end pieces on, just so you can see. So okay. when they're first pieced, is that visible? Hang on, we'll have a look upstairs. Yep, yeah, perfect. 
Uh, so next one is there. You not numbered them? No, I just thought. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the uh, there we go. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And then oh, what you going to lose? The willow. So what there. you're saying is oh, oh there we go. Travel. Once you've done all of your strips, they all now need a, a, a starter yes. and all the starter panels, that's where they're all to different sizes. To get the sizes, staggered yeah. Uh, effect, yeah. yeah, we need to, um, so if I try and lay them out without them disappearing off. Them. That one doesn't <laughs> want to stay, does no. it, that one? So when they're first pieced, they're all going to be level and the same. But we're then going to add on yeah. these top and end pieces. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have we not got little weights in here? Hang on, let me see if I can find a weight. As if I um shall I just You just carry pull, on pull them on there. The table. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, come in. I'm just using these to anchor. We're not selling these there, that's why I put them all back to front. For the time being, just till we get them all there. We do sell patterns, I just couldn't find them, that was all. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, they're all the same length uh, once we've pieced the segments together, but we just need then to add on the smaller um, background rectangles. At the top. Just to get that So standard. the first one doesn't have any at all? The first one doesn't have well, any. Um, actually, well, it will on the other... Go on, you can let... Oh. Where are we? No, I've, so I've done this one slightly differently. That doesn't matter. Unless, but yes, um, the first one doesn't have any. Well, so you, what you do is you've just, all you've done is change it and you, your reverse. edge of your quilt is going to be there. So that will be the start of yeah. it because that one hasn't got one on, has it? So you've got that one as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know eight. what it is, the quilt's upside down. Oh, that could be what it I'll is say, then. Fine. I'll say I thought I'd oh, yes, concentrate. Yes. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> no. There's no label on it. <laughs> But it, it, it works either way up. But yes. Um, Looks lovely either way. <laughs> you so carry on, no, you'll notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst story we've ever had. When we were at Sewing Quarter, one of the floor managers hung it with the background forward, and none of us noticed. We started <laughs> the show, a blank and turned round, and we were looking to the lovely backing fabric. <laughs> I'll be out of your way in a minute. <laughs> I'm sure this is breaking all health and safety rules, but there you go. There we go. Okay, so we need then. What do you need now? That's a, oh, no, no, that's lovely, thank you. So we need now to just add on the same. Um, I can see I've sewn this one on in a rush and it shouldn't be there, oh. so I'll just unpick that. I'm still using the same iron I was given as a wedding present 40 years ago. It lasted 34, year, 34 years longer than the marriage. Oh. <laughs> Obviously I live in an area with very soft water, or either that or never iron anything, says Roxana. <laughs> I get through irons like nobody's yeah, business. Yeah, we always um, struggle with irons and showers as well. Oh really? Our showers never last very long because, because of, the of the hard water. water. I'll just unpick these. Is the, the, the water made hard by the rock that it comes through or something like that? I don't know how it, how it works. I see him so because if, if it was something that they added you would just think that they wouldn't add it. Yeah, but yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't, I, unless it's, I don't know, is it the pipes or something? Or, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, when I stay over at my parents, their water's a lot softer, so my hair always, you know, I can just yes, comb yes, it through yes, and yes. it doesn't knot. Right, there we go. 
So we've got then at the top we go from nothing all the way through to a ten and a half yeah. and at the bottom we're going to reverse that so that when they're sewn together okay. they all come back up. So square. now that you've got it all on the table I can take those off because yes. they're not very attractive are they? There? <laughs> So that's what we're aiming for. Just reverse. Yes. Um, at, at yeah, so end. number one has got nothing, at, nothing the top, at the top. But at the bottom, it's got the longest, the longest one at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we'll just quickly get those Brilliant. on. Actually, I'll just pop them straight under. I don't think there's any need. Okay. So. Actually, the other thing that's brilliant about this quilt is there's no corners to match. Yes. Oh, there's not yeah. one, is there? There's, I, I'll, I'll show you in a second. I do put a little uh, line with a friction pen just so that I can maintain. Oh, that okay, even we'll see stagger. that in a second, yeah. But yeah, th there's no actual intersection. Um, and what's the name of that quilting? That's beautiful, that leaf quilting. Oh, uh, that one is Trillium Leaf. Oh, it's beautiful. Which, um, I think there's a more common name for it, but I, I can't remember it. But so if, it's a leaf that actually exists in... Yes, oh, okay. uh, I think you get three green leaves and then three um, either white or yellow petals on top and the petals look like they're sort of a teacup sitting on a saucer. No. But I, I can't remember... Does anyone the, know the what that is or is she making it up again? <laughs> that sounds like a Hannah tree to me. <laughs> you know the one with the three green leaves and the yellow ones that look like a cup of tea? <laughs> and then the pigeon that sits underneath. I remember Dame Hilda Brackett saying she felt it was very unladylike to see be seen up a ladder in public. You, uh, well, how come you know so many quotes from uh, Hinge and Brackett, Derek? <laughs> it's going to be a nice week this week. What's the weather going to be like this week? I thought it was turning cold. Oh, don't say that. I've got four days off now. Oh, oh no. Are you doing anything nice? Eh? Are you going to do anything nice? No, I didn't nice realise. I didn't oh, realise. Right. You know, because it's the end of one month and the, and the beginning. So I was looking at my, my calendar thinking, because I was meant to be in on Tuesday and we had to swap for some reason. Or, or Monday. I was supposed to be in on Monday. And we had to, oh, tomorrow. I was supposed to be in tomorrow. We had to swap the day. I think it's because Stuart is launching the singer, um, Brother Sewing Machines tomorrow. Whoops. The Brother Sewing Machines tomorrow. And she is a singer. Pearl was a singer as well. <laughs> um, and so I had to do... Anyway, I've, and so I looked at my diary and had two days, you know, the next two days off. I thought, well, that's quite nice. And it was only when I turned over the diary to June and went, oh, I've got the first two days off of June as well. And then I'm in for the whole bank holiday weekend, every single day. But... Will you be doing anything for the bank holiday in your court? Is it a oh, or it, or they're, is it... they're doing so much in the village. Yeah. It's unbelievable. There's a Royal, Queen's Rounders match and oh. there's a... Ta well, there was supposed to be a talent competition. I was supposed to be the judge on it, but I think only one person entered. <laughs> so, um, so that I don't. I, well, I haven't been approached. It could be Margaret be ringing me when I'm on air, going, "Where are you? Where are you? It's happening now." <laughs> uh, there's a, a, a picnic on the green opposite yeah. my house. There's all sorts of things going on. But the other villages, we're just doing it like ad hoc. Other villages have got like the what, the village where I went to Dulcie's party last week. They've actually got a brochure, like a hard car, like like this, like a pro proper brochure and okay. everything. We um, we've got a Facebook group for um, our the, the estate that we live on. Yeah. Um, and Stafford Borough Council have. Um, published a list of street closures you know, oh whether my they've, word they've formally applied for um, yeah. you know, sort of permission to hold a party I remember when I was in Twickenham something like this happened and our road both my road and the one next to us were both dead ends but mine went to the park and the one next door was just a dead end yeah. so they, we all had to have the street party in the one next door, they yeah. couldn't shut our road yeah. I got very drunk that night <laughs> and I stole um Christine, who lived in the next street, she had one of those little mobility scooters. <laughs> and I was found the other side of Twickenham, <laughs> racing one of these mobility scooters. <laughs> we moved into, or my parents moved into the house that they still live in now, in Silver Jubilee year. 
Oh, um, right. And I can remember one of the, uh, the neighbours you know, uh, that lived opposite. She came across and introduced herself um, and asked if she could string some uh, carrier bag, <laughs> Union Jack carrier bag bunting. <laughs> oh, very nice. Across from... 77, uh, you yeah. can't have been born then. I was, I think I was six. Yeah, I was 17. <laughs> but I do remember, it's strange, isn't it? How Virginia Wade stick. won Wimbledon, that's all I remember Jordan. from that year. Yeah, and the Queen wore a strange looking hat, didn't she? she looked like an orchid or an iris. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, we uh, not in our street because uh, that was quite uh, you know sort of the main run through. Yeah. But in some of the the cul de sacs, they had parties. Yeah. Hey. Right, sorry, I should have. Uh, it's fine. Press these before I. But yeah, it is worth pressing them just so that you get a crisp. Finish. Uh, hello, John. I sometimes use the water from the dehumidifier for my iron. It seems to be softer. Oh, right, once it's been through the... They've yeah. been through the dehumidity, that's Pat. Derek says, oh, the only reason he remembers about Hild at Bra Hinge and Bracket is that a friend of his was the understudy. Didn't even consider they'd have understudies. Right. Pale blue, sorry, I'll just... Oh, uh, Hannah doesn't even know Hinge and Bracket. Oh, <laughs> no. They were women, weren't they? They weren't men in No, they were men. Oh, were they? I can't... So I can remember the name, but I can't remember exactly... <laughs> they were like Edwardian ladies. They dressed up as Edwardian ladies and spoke with very posh voices and had glasses on chains and were a bit risky. Yeah. And one played the piano and one sang. Vague memories of it. I can remember... All right, um, all right. <laughs> Dick Emery, I can remember... Oh, yes, I did, yeah. used to do uh, stuff like that. You don't know who Dick Emery is either? So my, my f impression at 8 o'clock this morning is completely lost on you. Okay. Right, so there we are, we're ready to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... Um, Please just... remember to check out, by the way, I'm, I'm here. Please remember to check out um, the lots you've got it in your baskets. Right, now what's this line you're going to draw then? I'm just going to mark if I can find my little ruler. I've got, oh. I would let go, but I'm not going to. You found it's in yeah. there. There we go. She's found everything but oh, so Mary Poppins bag. So, um, just so that we've got even uh, staggers. Right. I would just literally mark down two and a quarter on that piece. Oops. No, so that it, I know it. sort of when they're together then. Oh, I see. That cream yes, yeah. is going to. Do you do lots of them or just the first one? Uh, I would just do the first one. Okay. You can, you know, you, you could go down, you could mark it. But they're all two and a half inches, they're are all, they? They're uh, all. They're going to be t the top ones are going to be plus you could top and bottom will be plus your quarter. Oh, okay. Because of uh, yeah. them just being round the edges. Yeah. But the interior ones are going to be two inch staggers. Okay. Um, so but you don't need to do that. You don't need to. It's just perhaps nice to. Yeah, because you're not because you're not ma normally yeah. you'd match a seam and a seam, and you haven't got any seams to match. No. It's just to stop it running yeah. off in. I mean, it shouldn't, but it, it would be awful if you got you know sort of a one that just looked like it was on the slant yes, when exactly. it was sewn together. Yeah. Um, but no, you don't need to. You can do as many or as few. And do you pin it on? And do you pin it on? Actually, let, I'll, I'll just pop those there. Okay. Let me just do this one. Um, do you just pin it? I uh, probably would pin it on every mark. Oh, okay. Um, just in case there is that little bit of stretch. Yeah, also you wouldn't have to mark it, Mark, I suppose, because you could just measure and pin as you went along, really, yeah. couldn't you? Got a question? So just on our bottom. Hi John, love this quilt, it's in my basket. Can you tell me how much extra fabric I'll need to make it larger? Cheers Lynn. Well Lynn, what I would, if you, basically, hang on, something gone wrong with my top back. Basically Lynn, to make that size, to, yeah, yeah, my, my, my top back is clucking on and off. Uh, to, to, to make that size, you only use 21 of your, or 20 of your strips. You use 21 strips and a metre and a quarter of backing fat. Okay, of, so uh, you don't, fabric. you'd only need to make it twice the size, you'd need a metre and a quarter. Another metre and a quarter. Yes, another metre and a quarter. Uh, but you would, if there are only 40 strips in the jelly roll, you'd need to find a, another strip that fits in. 
with it. Oh, you couldn't just stop. Oh, oh no. No, you, you could actually, but um, sort of. No, you'll end up with a few. What you'd have to do is not have completely the same. You'd have to just go one yeah. or a couple of strips with sm slightly smaller than yeah. that. But you, it yeah. doesn't matter because you're not matching the back. You're actually just making yeah. it bigger. So yeah. I'd safe, to be safe, I would order a metre and a quarter or a metre and, well, meter and a half if you're buying it from here. Uh, then you've got enough just to make almost twi it'd be twice that minus a couple of, of um, strips down, basically. But uh, collector in those days. Oh, Kate, uh, what a fab day today. Amanda is a joy to watch. So calm. And it's been so much fun all morning with Stuart and Irene. This William Morris fabric is gorgeous too. No mention you put it in your basket. She loves William Morris, doesn't <laughs> Kate? It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Especially... Uh, and it's Moda, so it's really, really good yeah. quality. Oh, dear. The love of my fabric heart, beautiful William Morris from Karen. Did you get one, Karen? Oh, no, because you bought the 10-inch um, charm pack on Friday, didn't you? She made a vow that she wasn't going to spend any more money yeah. this month. It's hard to resist the... Oh, Elaine's asked a question. Hi, Amanda and John. Can this quilt be made with the Moda William Morris 10-inch squares? By Elaine. Right, how big are those strips? They're ten and a half. Oh, no. So well, no, no, you, you could. could size down. You could. You, you could just make them all half an inch shorter. Yeah. And then it's up to you whether you keep your background uh, strips the same size or if you size down proportionally. Yeah, 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 exactly. So there's a pattern in the pattern, the pattern on its own as well. The pattern on its own. If you don't want to buy that, you've already bought the ten inch. I was wondering though, when Susie did her twist and strip, that wasn't a dance routine. Um, were they all two and a half inch strips? I can't remember now. It was only Friday and I can't remember it already. And yet, I, I was signing my photos just out to sign 1,650 photos yesterday. I saw you. Oh. Well, I got to 1,650 and stopped. I thought I can't go any further. Dramatic. <laughs> what? No, 1,650, and I've got to do 2,500. No, not six with left, right? But, 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 I had the radio on. It was that, you know, it was 1978, top 20 in 1978. Oh, I could sing with every single song. Yeah. Did you know there were four songs from uh, Saturday Night Fever all in the top 10 at the same time? That's how popular it was in 1978. Oh, I remember. Will you go and see Top Gun? Why? Uh, no, I just wondered if, <laughs> with all that. <laughs> no. no. What's that got to do with 1978? <laughs> Nothing, just films. It's Saturday Night Fever, the film. And I just thought, oh, Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise was in Saturday Night Fever. It's. Uh... <laughs> you get in mud with John Travolta. Uh, no, Top Gun. Yeah. Saturday Night Fever, four songs from the film. And I yeah. just thought, oh, film, Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> just. Like you do. <laughs> random. I don't think I will. Really. No, it's not your. Uh... I only like the only thing I liked about Top Gun the original was that "Take My Breath Away" oh, Berlin, that yeah. song. And when we did strippers at Colchester Mercury Theatre, that was the final number. No, no, I wasn't in it. I did the costumes. <laughs> but yes, you did. Oh, I can't even tell that story. <laughs> it's one of where where one of um, Rebecca Reed's favourite words came up. In. Yes. Oh, look at the time. That's the, I'll just get this one hopefully done so you get the uh, the idea. That's not what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah says, my husband and a friend dressed as hinge bracket for a party and called themselves ball and socket. <laughs> Margaret loved hinge and brackets. I'm the best one. Their one liners were brilliant. So I wasn't really into them in the, in, when they were around. It's just now I look at them and think, how it's like Dick Henry. How on earth did he get away yeah. with some of the things he said? And uh, who was the other one? Um... Here we go. Oh, Top Gun. Tom, Tom Cruise. Uh, no. What comedy duo? Com no, he was by himself. There was uh, the two Ronnies, weren't there? But there was another chap by himself. Not. <laughs> Not Mike Yarwood, it was Benny Hill. Oh, be oh Benny Hill, he lives at the corner to me. Yeah. Well, I wasn't living there then. Yeah. Uh, Seventy four ninety nine. this bundle. Be careful, because there's, how, many we got, how many have we got, Hannah? Okay, keep going through for those. Lots and lots of you there. Okay, so there's that first. 
I don't know. No, no, we can see it from upstairs, that's fine. So. Oh, hang on, there you go. Oh, yeah, so it just stacks. So, so you, you literally sew staggers. all the strips together. Yeah. And then and just keep going. Quilt it and bind it. Yeah, so. If okay. Just, like that. Brilliant. No, no, it's perfect. Okay. Uh, let me do the menu before we say goodbye to Amanda. Do you know when you're in next? I want to say the 25th of June. 25th. Oh, I'll, I'll be lying on the beach. So. Oh, will you? Right, so here we go. Tomorrow's menu with Stuart. Welcome Tracy Dennis with Owl and Sewing Cat. So hang on. Tracy Dennis is from Brother Sewing Machines. Oh, oh, okay. So she's not launching the brother in the eight o'clock. She's doing a sewing thing in the first hour. Second hour is Sarah here, but that's the book that you want to get. It's gorgeous from collage to quilt. Now, Stuart's taken our only sample home to read, to prep. So hopefully you remember to bring back. Then 10 and 11, there's the brother launch. And then at 12 o'clock, West Yorkshire Spinners with Danielle Deanne. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it Dean? Don't know her. That's a lovely day as well, isn't it? I wonder where Rebecca Reed is tomorrow then. She said she was in on Monday. This is Monday tomorrow, isn't it? Anyway, I need to just recap this bundle while you're here. So, you get the instructions. You get this beautiful jelly roll design roll for Moda. Uh, it is the um, William Morris. They've taken all the best designs, what they think are the best designs, done them in different colours for you. They're just stunning. Plus, you get a metre and a half of your cream. And you get half a metre. Now, this is new to us, this one. This is a shot, 60 inch wide, 100% cotton, shot fabric half a meter it's beautiful isn't it so it's wide 60 inches so you get all of that for your 74.99 pattern jelly roll meter and a half plus a half meter of the red please make sure you check out because lots you got in the baskets at 74 pounds and 99 pence pattern on its own it's under there somewhere there it is no no at 9.99 Okay, so you're back on when did you say? I think the 25th of June. Oh, very nice. I'm not sure what that is. I think perhaps that's the Saturday. Well, the 19th is a Sunday. Is that a Saturday? Perhaps? Yeah, it's Saturday because yeah. Bruce's birthday is on the Sunday. Right, so the uh, instructions from the quilt from 8 o'clock this morning. If you missed that, it's beautiful. Jip around the world, I, 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 and I want my <laughs> baby. I don't know why, I don't know why. So what's the name, isn't it, with the northern accent? Lisa Tarbuck, no. Lisa Stansfield. Lisa Stansfield. Lisa Tarbuck. <laughs> Nine ninety nine. We've got to go because then we can't crash. We can't go over because we'll we'll end up being in Hobby Maker at this rate. Not Hobby City, no. No, I'm not in again till Friday. Now they brought me in for a day, and I'm not in again till. I, I hate it when you do one day. And you have to, when you say to, you have to get up early just for one day. Anyway, thanks for your company. Make sure you check out your baskets. I'll see you on Friday, which is the start of the bank on... Oh, no, Stuart's in on Thursday, I think. He's in a lot this week. Sunday, Monday, Thursday. Is he doing Wednesday as well? Anyway, I'll see you on Friday. Take care, lots of love. Check out your basket. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.